Lift off and happy National Day one and all. Here we are. Day three of Aintree, it's the biggie at 5.15. We'll be giving you five live races here on Racing Post Live, along with our sponsors, Betfair, showing you how it all works, putting some trades in for you, trying to find you some winners, more importantly, and building up to what is the national. This is the front page of your Racing Post today. Who's your pick? This is an interactive show. If you're new to it, get involved. You can like and subscribe on YouTube. There's a chat bar that goes up also on Facebook Live and anything on Twitter, hashtag... RP Live. Not like Twitter was quiet last night, was it? Uh, OK, who's with me? You and joined by Ross Briley. Hello, David Orton. With your colourful pens. That's right. Um, I am, uh, I'm, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for the commentary, uh, the commentary job later on. We're going to be splitting it between us. It's a very important uh, task. Um, last year it was... Organised chaos, I would say, in the, uh, the we studio. We loved it, didn't we? It was a lot. Of, it was a lot of fun. But at, at one point, I did think I don't know which fence they're at, uh, <laughs> and who's supposed to be calling them. Home, Should we so. have a look at the map we've got? Because yeah. of course, if you bought your papers today, there you go. look at that. Lovely. You probably, I imagine, on the website ready, as well. Ready to go. And we are ready to go. And you'll see. You, look, just to tease this. Yeah. We have Orton. Quite why they didn't call me Dave, I don't know. But then Nat. Then Keith, yep. and then Ross. Yep. So we will be sharing the commentary on the biggie at five fifteen. I dare say this is the is this was this this time last year the last show that we did together live. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Why me? Because I be I become your. Uh, you become me, and occasionally I become you. I become the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I? Yeah. <laughs> so I step in for you. Well, listen, you, you do a grand job, man, and I'm delighted that you do it. Uh, Natty Green joins us back. I'm ha back. How's the week been? Ahoy, Senor. Yeah, I was absolutely delighted. Um, I was very, very warm on him. Obviously, I just thought everything was suit back on a flatter track at Aintree. I was just delighted for, for the team. And still, my pinned tweet, probably going to stay there for a while. <laughs> uh, no, it was brilliant. It was a highlight for me so far. And also Gina Andrews. That was quality, wasn't it? I absolutely loved watching that box under. I thought it was yeah. really, really great. Um, again, this is a, a lovely um, meeting about the stories, the narratives. And I thought Gina's one was just awesome. You know, she's had a fair share of bangs, knocks, bruises, and she's a leading female point-to-point -point jockey, and I just thought it was, um, yeah, it was a really fun race to watch. I'd suggest she's, David Max Stanley also did so well. Oh, Max, he, he did came so close, didn't work. he? Yeah, close. all right, great. What, so we'll talk about your week. How's your week been? You just want me to tell you about my, my weekend, don't you? Oh. I'm, I'm, on, I'm currently on a horse camp, so it's like a training camp, and I used to do it with X race horses, but they were specific specifically ROR, but now I've got this Irish cross warm blood thing, so it's like all sorts of horses, and you go and camp out and then you train your horse in the day, but I can't believe I was in a tent last night sending Dave Orton a photograph going, oh my God, it's minus one tonight, so I basically <laughs> haven't slept. Oh, my heated mattress didn't work. Because yeah, you, you could be forgiven for thinking you're in Glastonbury, look, you've even got the band on, look. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> active rider. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't have this band on, they basically don't feed you <laughs> in the canteen. Horsey Hogwarts, I was calling yeah. it. So you prepare, yeah. Are you preparing for the National or the Apocalypse? I don't know what, <laughs> what you're for. <laughs> We're going to have some fun today because the Quizmaster joins us back as well. Betting editor of the Racing Post, Keith Melrose. This is our day. Oh, it is. The National is just one of those races, isn't it? it just it gets you going every time. It's... You have had a spring in your step this week. I'm not saying you don't every week, but I've watched you bouncing around the office. You were in the pub last night. You are enjoying life. I suppose I am, yeah. yeah. Is, it your, is, it, is it your second <laughs> favourite to the Ida? Uh, well, no, we, make, we, we did joke about it, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's the Gold Cup's gone ahead of the National, yeah. if I'm perfectly honest these days, but the National is just, it's, it's well, that was what David Jennings said on another show this morning. He copied the Des Lynham line, the day the nation goes racing. It yeah. remains the case, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so it, you just, uh, what I always think with the National, you watch those 40 horses circling at the start before the race and you think one of these horses is going to be immortalised in 10 minutes, you know? Mm. Mm. We don't know which one yet and it's, it's, you know, it's always a, quite an emotional thing watching them down at the start. Four miles and a bit then at 5.15. It feels like we've walked the course this week. Barry Orr, the big hitter himself, let's go into Dublin. Yeah, it's been a fantastic couple of days so far. Looking forward to the third and final instalment. Obviously, all eyes on 5.15 for a race that transcends, you know, it truly is an international sporting event, isn't it? What's racing on the front pages for the right reasons. So it's a very important race in the calendar from both a business perspective in terms of uh, getting new clients and, and um, you know, profitability and, and also for, for bringing a wider audience into horse racing. Uh, very much so, and uh, we, we, we've had a good week so far, Barry, haven't we? You know, we've been, we've been sort of knocking it out of the park a little bit. You had a really good first day. Of course, Nat mentioned the ROR. That's the charity of choice for April. 
Yeah, that's correct. Uh, any charity winnings were 250 quid up so far for the month, and, and we'll be donating to re uh, retraining of racehorses, which is an important charity. Yeah. Um, we already this year have donated a thousand to Racing Welfare and fifteen hundred to, or actually two and a half thousand to the Injured Jockeys Fund. Whoa. So um, that's pretty decent figures already. Like you say, Dave, anything we do showcasing the functionality of the sports book, the Betfair sports book, and the exchange, and any bet we have, um, any proceeds, profits go to uh, retraining of racehorses this month. So looking forward to hopefully getting a few quid for them. Fingers crossed today, Barry. We've been getting the top four from the panellists that have been in thus far. Keith saved his up for today. I've saved mine up today. Barry has saved his up for today. Roscoe and Nat are also going to give a top four as well. People love a top four. Um, you know. As if finding the winner is not hard enough, you want to pick the second. <laughs> yeah, I know. And fourth yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, Barry's point, you know, Barry said, well, I'm not going to have four bets in it. Some people will, yeah, true, won't they? Yeah. You know, and yeah. sweepstakes and things like that. But yeah. people, this is the one race where you're asked for a top four. Four is, four is low as well, isn't it? it well, uh, am I, is, or am I, is, it, is that just me? I'm normally on about seven or eight by the time the race goes off. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree with that. And people, because people want to either have something that hits the fray or the winner. Yeah. So that is ge the general both. people... I'll, I'll settle for both. Yeah. It, well, that's true, yeah. I mean, the, as I said today in the paper, the first goal is to get one of them that, you know, that when they cross the Melling Road for the last time, yeah. one of those sort of six or seven that are still there. Yeah, still, yeah. Because if you're not there, you feel yeah. a bit flat. Like, this, not, it's, you feel like it's happening without you. Yeah, and, and all of your bets are gone. You're like, oh, yeah, God, exactly. I don't want to do and I've got none of them. This yeah, is the holy yeah. grail, this race of winner finding, isn't it? Yeah. What's, what, what's everyone's record like at it? I mean, I'm, I'm look, trumpet time. I'm, I'm pretty a, good. I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty good. Time. <laughs> Dave Orton's trumpet time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are you good? Show. Yeah, there you go. Are you good at getting the winners? I, I am. I normally get them always in the frame. I never get the winner. A lot of people will be out there going, Just to no, give you confidence. I've generally got quite a good record, yeah. My first ever, my first ever national bet won, party politics. Uh, 50p. Grandad went down the uh, the shop. He said, yeah. what, 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 "He spread out the paper in the middle of his his uh, uh, living room and said, right, what are we doing?'" I was like, "I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just looking at right. it, thinking, oh, okay, right. I'm like, oh, I'll go for that one.'" Everyone's got childhood memories. Of that's the why yeah. I think that's why I've got. Let's hear your today. childhood memories of the national. What's the best winner? What's your favourite national? And who's your pick? Let us know. We've got an hour, 4.15. It's a famous hour, this, Barry. You remember last year? We had a hoot, didn't we? We were going to mention every single runner, maybe a word, maybe a line. But talking about every single runner, have we got a lucky 15? Let's get some housekeeping out of the way. Yes, we do. Yeah, we'll do a lucky 15. So it's 15 bets, six doubles, four trebles, an accumulator, and four singles. We're going to do it for a quid each way. So it's going to cost us 30 quid. Keith, we're going to start off with North Lodge. It's four places on the Betfair Sportsbook there. So out of the seven races today, five of them, you have additional places on the Betfair Sportsbook. So we'll avail that. North Lodge is our first leg, four places. Sorry to Burleigh then in the Stairs race. Our next leg is going to be Espoir de Romanet, which is uh, five places on the Betfair Sportsbook. And our fourth and final leg is in the big race, Longhouse Poet, where it's six mm. places on the Betfair Sportsbook. So we're going to do that for a quid each way. It's going to cost us £30. Pounds. Okay. You highlighted this yesterday. You've made Rod for your own back here. So highlighted it. The, Actually. No, the, <laughs> Sorry, carry on. No, the, 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 what is it? 21,000 for the ROR. 200 and... Twenty ten pounds more than yesterday. <laughs> okay, I, I think right. Longhouse. Po I, mean, I mean, I yeah, I think there's a lot of Longhouse poet fans, isn't there? Yeah, there, there really are. Tom Segal, of course, price wise is leading the way with that. And there it is. You got time then. Barry's lucky fifteen on National Day. North Lodge. Also, Barry does like side of Burla. Important to stress that's an each way lucky fifteen, guys. Yeah. That's important to stress. You know? We've hit the crossbar, yeah. Barry, haven't we? We've, we've got some place money out of these. We need the biggie. I know, the dream is alive on National Day. Listen, I'd settle for a place, uh, lucky 15 at the moment, because there's it wouldn't be too shabby. But, yeah, hopefully we get a couple of winners in there as well. But it is an each-way lucky 15 every week. It's not just a win. You've got some classy warriors on your side there if you want to go in. And, again, safe gambling. It's a big, big week. No matter how you're doing it, you don't have to play in every single race. We just put the trades up. We could have some fun with us as well. This is the place to find out where your money went straight after the race. OK, and we'll be giving you the best previews around as well. Raucous reaction. I'm quite looking forward to that commentary. You're looking forward to the commentary. You're looking forward to the commentary. Yeah. Nat? No, I'm not. When the fun stops, <laughs> stop. You don't want to do the commentary, do you? I want to Hence do, we're making I want you to do, do it. promos and... 
and, and, and raise awareness about ROR commentary absolutely terrifies me. You've pressed me. the buttons before. We've got over that hump. You're doing a commentary. Yeah, all the things we'll I said today if I'd ever want to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he's... <laughs> You're doing it. You're doing this. You're doing that. I'm yeah. like, You're coming on National yeah, Day yeah. out of Horsey Hogwarts. So you're, um, you're great you're to have that with presenting us. presenting next year, I think, I've heard. Yeah. yeah. It's in Swap the pipeline. Yeah. It's in Swap the pipeline. Seats. There will be an all-female panel one day, won't there? Absolutely. We're, we're building well, our, I hope not. We're building our portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to take? You'll be hosting that. Too much of a good thing, Dave. 225, another grade one, as I bring it back down to earth. Racing Post Live. If you've just joined us, myself, Dave Orton, what a panel we've got for you today. It was lively yesterday. I think we're going to ramp it up a bit today with Ross Briley, Nat Green. Keith Melrose and Barry or all the way. They are in the paddock. The sun, does it continue to shine at Aintree, the sun? I'm imagining it does. I don't it's know, fine, in between it? hailstones and sunshine, it's, yeah. that is strange. We've had weather. one race, haven't we? Mm, Talking yeah. of party politics, it was party business that won the first. Ian Williams came clear with a Gav Cromwell train. I like the way you're thinking. That was miles clear in the three-mile handicap hurdle. And it was slow by 12.54 seconds. What are we making of that? Uh, I didn't see the early stages, so I don't know how well it was run. But, you know, anything that's 12 seconds over... If it wasn't much of a pace, you're still assuming that's that's decent ground. I mean, it was it was, it was run at a really strong pace. Was it really massively strong gallop? Yeah, felt a bit to race. Okay, mm. right. Okay. So yeah. maybe we are looking at ground that is a little bit on the soft. They put three mil on the mile May course and five mil on the national course, I believe. Overnight. Five mil. Mm. Yeah, because they'll always over they'll always overdo it rather than sure. overdo it on the national mm. course. We've well, got no problems with that. We yeah. said that yesterday, haven't and we? And it was very simply three mile. The uh, the Sefton yesterday was very similar. Similarish time, similarish kind of race in terms of, uh, you know, a lot of them were absolutely out on their feet. So mm. um, whether we're taking the three mile hurdles as a, as a guide of the ground might well be, because that, that, was, that was significantly the slowest yesterday, the three mile hurdle. All right. OK, there we are. Keep your picks coming in. Then I can see the, that the socials are building up nice and strong. Um, at the moment, 40 going to post in the, um, in the national. Let, let's hope that remains the case. Big props and to the reserve system. You know, we've had three of the reserves get in. That, that is, is that a first? Um, no, I think it's happened before. Walk in the mill one year was the second reserve and came in and then got pulled out because <laughs> he couldn't run or something. So the third reserve got in by virtue of the yes. second reserve not running. Something like that. It's, so it has happened before, but it's quite rare. Let's get to some grade one action then. Barry, North Lodge, is this a single trade as well? Uh, North Lodge, yeah. I'm going to back North Lodge win and play Dave, please. Um... At the moment, Tree Stripe likes your favourite at 4.6, which is 7 to 2, was 11 to 4. So a little bit of a negative for him. Walking on air is 5.0, 4 to 1. I think he could go off favourite. 6 8 North Lodge now. So we're going to back him at 6 8. We're going to have 25 win and 25 uh, place, please, Keith. Mm -hmm. He won first time up here at Aintree, actually, over two mile one. Then he went to Cheltenham in January when we backed him, um, Dave. That was the race where Hillcrest unseeded. But he stayed on really well that day off over two and a half miles. They dropped him back in trip last day to 2-2. Two, two. He was given five pounds to the winner, Nell's son, who re-opposes here. But I think the step back up in trip to two and a half miles is really going to suit him. He's very few miles on the clock, this horse. And I think he's got a horse of great potential. Um, and he, hopefully he'll put his best foot, best foot forward here. There is money for good risk at all as well at 7-6. S.A. Bell is 9.6 as well. The mayor, a few quid knocking around for her. But I suppose the headline is the favourite a little bit weak at the head of the market. Interesting. Three-stripe life then, representing that Ballymore form for Gordon Elliott, Davey Russell. Uh, seven runners in the national. Gordon has, of course. Uh, and um, all right, let's go through down the panel then. North Lodge is a horse that Barry has followed since we've covered him on this show. Where are you going, Roscoe? Uh, I am going uh, to the study uh, with the lead piping. Uh, I'm going for Colonel Mustard. <laughs> ah, very good. Um, First time hood for that chat. Yeah, which is my, actually my, my only concept. I was just thinking that was the one thing I didn't uh, try and uh, pull up a, a system. Uh, for, uh, for first time it's over two and a half miles because we, I mean Tom Siegel was talking last night about how he, he hates horses with hoods over uh, staying trips because oh, I'm with him yeah I mean you're putting, a, you're putting a hood on because the horse refuses to settle and mm. you're saying oh we've got a stayer on our hands two and a half miles maybe not not as, as worrisome as winter fog for example in the first over three miles um, but yeah I thought he was really interesting Colonel Mustard he, he, the speed figures are very strong. Uh, the form looks strong. Uh, I mean, he's got a bit to find, obviously, with uh, with three stripe live. But he's been running in the right kind of races, and I just thought the price was too big, um, based on the fact that he's you know he, he's the second best horse 
joint with Stage Star on, uh, on ratings. Um, and yeah, I thought you ran really well in the county hurdle. The county hurdle form's been let down a little bit over the last couple of days uh, by your, your first streets and your, and your okay. surprise packages. Um, but then we said the same thing about the Martin Pipe, and people last night were, oh, not sure about that, and party business, and that one's gone and bolted up in the first. So I think it's way too soon to be taking too strong opinions on those Cheltenham races. Um, but he ran really well in that contest. He's by McPhee, which is an odd one. A um, Guinea's winner. A Guinea's winner. Now, and I thought, oh, okay, I'm not sure about the stamina here. McPhee's got a really good record over two and a half miles to three miles. Um, 13 wins from 85 runners, 15% uh, strike rate, which is pretty damn good for a, for a sire that you wouldn't uh, associate with these kind of horses. I've had that many horses over those sort of trips over jumps. Yeah, I know, it's remarkable, isn't yeah. it? You don't really notice them, I guess. Uh, Lossy Mouth being the best one of them. Um, he really improved. You really have looked into this. Well, because yeah, I... are we still talking about Colonel Mustard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> well, because I really, basically, if I fancy a horse, I try as hard as I possibly can to, to talk myself out of it. it. Yeah, um, and yeah, I, I thought that he, the two and a half miles, and he's got loads of German stamina on the the dam side. So um, I think two and a half miles will suit him nicely. And we were talking about the sports book and the, all the extra ways you can play on Betfair. Yeah. I think there's five or six places on the sports book, and he was odds against to finish in the five or something, which I thought was ridiculous. But yeah, I would, I would play Colonel Mustard winning place. OK, that's Roscoe's pick. Uh, this has got a, right, a, you know, a, a mixed bag of SPs. Lots of favourites have won this, actually, in the past 10 years. Uh, my Drogo, you'll remember, last year took it out. Uh, but before that, Reserve Tank was a 20 to 1 shot. Uback won for Gary Moore. Back in 2013, you can picture that. It was a sunny day as well. 22 to 1. I'm taking a bit of a price on Might I. Get that out of the way. I could have gone for a handicap with this chap. I would have backed him, in fact, if he had have gone for the, uh, I think, the first target, which probably would have been the Coral Cup, because he's got that John Bond form, hasn't he, basically? He's got the Constitution Hill form as well. I like him a lot. Why are they going for this? They could have gone and won any handicap off 135, pretty much, couldn't they? A couple of horses there, but the same applies to Good Risk at all a little bit, doesn't he? He was favourite yeah. for the Coral Cup off this very mark, basically, wasn't he? Uh, or was it, or was it a, a penalty he had in the Coral Cup? I forget. But anyway, this sort of mark, he was favourite for the Coral Cup. And I hear a lot of people saying my eye is chucked in off that mark too. So it's interesting that they're trying the grade one instead. Yeah, I mean, would you be running out of handicaps now? That's the other... That would no, be absolutely not. Swinton next month. The yeah. Mm. 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 Doesn't get enough love, the Swinton. No, it doesn't, because it's in a weird place in the calendar. Well, but we could digress. It it's, it's coming up, isn't it? It's yeah, weird. You know, really it's May normally, isn't it? No, Sorry? it's May, early May. It's a week after the Guineas, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's early May. Normally. normally. You're yeah. getting ahead of yourself. Anyway, you love the Swinton that much, you're wishing it forward. Musselburgh, Newcastle weather on the Friday. I'm hoping that Harry Fry takes this out. Friday. Natalie Green. Yeah, I think you can get yourself a not looking at this. I can totally see the love for Mai Tai. North Lodge, absolutely progressive form, remains a major interest. Um, I am going to be a little bit boring and stick with um, Three Stripe Life. He's suffered slightly from seconditis, but seconditis to Sir Gerhard um, at Cheltenham was no uh, nothing to be disgraced about, you know. And Sir Gerhard won comfortably, but when you watch a replay, um, Three Stripe Life, was trying to sort of re-rally as much as he could. He's not as good as Sir Gerhard. Um, that was a really good Ballymore. And if you look at the Ballymore and you look at Cheltenham form, um, you have to think that that Ballymore form is the strongest form in this. Yeah. You, you know, it's, you can't really get get away from that. Yes, it, it, how can I be so confident back in horse that's had second, second, second? But I don't know, I just think that you like to see them get off the board. And I think if he's going to get a grade one success and a winning one, I'm hoping this is it for three stripe life. I love the horse. I loved <clears> him <throat> after his. Was he fourth in the champion? But he was, wasn't he? Mm. And with that, that, that dictating tempo caught him out. And I thought he'd be a star. I was surprised they kept campaigning him mm. over two miles. And of course, he steps up and shows his worth, doesn't he? Yeah, I'd, I'd... I'm hood. Uh, oh, Barry, come on. I'm I'm on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that, well, that was a perfect that was a perfect tee up there, but it, it, oh, it was it was coming in and I was like, come on, Barry. You've, you've been patiently it. waiting. Yeah. And coming. you are giving stage star a chance. I am. I, I, I was I couldn't believe he was twelve to one this morning. He's, He's had a rather good week, Paul, isn't he? He has had a better week side. here. And you know what? He, this horse would have been if he hadn't run on the slop in the Ballymore, he'd have been four to one for this, wouldn't he? he coming here from the Chalo. Um, I looked into his pedigree, his dam, she struggled whenever she met soft ground and it was really testing when he ran in the Ballymore, he pulled like mad as well, I think mm. that's his sire coming out to be honest, he's a fame and glory and they're all mad. 
Uh, but he's, uh, he loves to tell us. He's looking, he's looking a little bit jumpy in the paddock, and he's a little yeah, bit keen down the start. He got a bit before to Cheltenham as well. His That's first, why they were yeah. trying to hold him. His first well, time. Braves man games did. It's what Braves, brave man's game did yesterday as well. Mm. Oh, he 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 shakes at the start. Oh, so yeah, he, he yeah, he's, he's well, very, 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 very nervous. You're right. But Stachar is a bit of a paddock pick. He does, he does look very he's, well. He looks like a chaser for next year, doesn't he? Great to have a <clears> tall <throat> person with a so, stage. So stage die, giving him another chance. Yeah, I mean, on yeah. form, he really shouldn't be anything like double figures. So uh, I'll forgive that Cheltenham run. I think there's good reason to do so. So yeah, I, I thought he was far too big a price. For the magnificent owners group who took out the last race yesterday, didn't they, of course? A big day in the sun for them. It's a great syndicate. I know loads of people are involved in them. And um, yeah, well, I wish They say when you're at a race meeting and they have a runner, you're never more than a foot away from an owner. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, you're right. This is, this is 44, 044, so I'm imagining there are 44 of them in it. Uh, we haven't mentioned some horses. I'm amazed that no one's gone for walking on air. Yeah, I, he he gives me uh, the feeling of a of a Dusart or a, from last season in a sense that um, things haven't necessarily gone to plan this year. I think this might come a little bit too soon for him. I Nicky's think last winner of this. I love this bit. You know I do. Chris Have you had one since Simon said. Oh no, he hasn't. Oh, you guy. Well done. I will nice. get you today. I will <laughs> get you, but you've batted that one. That was, a, that, was, that was a bit of a swing, I'm afraid. It's annoying when he does this, isn't it? <laughs> Simon Sig was his last one. He's, I think he's had 11 since. I think that might be the last horse to do the double as well. He's a mm. good looking Hendo horse, though, isn't he? They all, he's got such, a, four, such an eye for a certain type of horse. They were getting smashed now. Favourites being back, four, really well backed. Four. No, four from four, Barry. Yeah, really well backed. How do they? New York Hills actually the last one by the look of things. What price then, Barry? Three strike live, going to go off? Yeah, 11 to 4, uh, 6.2 walking there, North Lodge 7, 8 2, good risk at all, SA Bell 8 6, and 11.5, stage start 23 bar. Yeah, that mark really, the mark has really money. swung towards the Elliot horse, hasn't it, in the last yeah. few minutes? Yeah. yeah, big time. LA Bell's in this as well. She's a, this is a classy race, isn't it? And that said, you can tie yourself up in knots. Looking at it, good luck wherever you're playing. Let's have some fun this afternoon. An alternate look, of course, at the day's card, your second screen experience, whatever you want to call it. This is Racing Post Live, along with Betfair, the perfect partner for us. And we've been having an absolute hoot this week. The fifth best um, race on the card. It's this, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. This is only the fifth best race we're going to cover today. Proper liquidity, Barry, on the first race that we're covering. Say again, Dave. Proper liquidity. Yes, uh, so far, uh, 1.2 million matched on this. Wow. Dare Amazing. I ask what we're at at the Nationals so far? In fact, they're going off, Barry. I'll let you do that afterwards. Um, another curveball. Did, don't need that just before the off. Good luck, then. Walking on air. Looks like he's taking a bit of a walk in the market. And away we do go. Roscoe, can I throw to you? Is that Absolutely, all right? Absolutely, yeah. Please, uh, please do. Uh, and they're off on the racing. Uh, and uh, settling into a uh, fairly uh, modest gallop in front it is Stage Star, who uh, sets the early pace with a keen going walking on air behind those. My tie on the inside. And the first is jumped by Stage Star out in front. Uh, slowest is Great Heart Jack at the, uh, the rear. But it's Stage Star from Good Risk at All. On the wide outside, we've got San Ricoeur. On the inside is walking on air, racing a little keenly. Uh, widest of all is Three Stripe Life. In fact, take that back Colonel Mustard is widest of all there uh, those two Irish Raiders are giving the outside to no one LA Bell behind those uh, on the inside of LA Bell is Captain Conby uh, we've also got Nell's son uh, in the simply Ned colours at North Lodge on the inside rail as well might I out the back uh, and I think that is uh, everyone mentioned apart from Captain Conby who is second last at the moment but it looks a fairly modest gallop Stage Star really relished the modest gallop and being able to uh, get on with things at Newbury uh, and he slowed it down I, we, we always debate when, when Batch uh, Post is in here whether that clock is correct but it's if like it is it's trolling us with the clock isn't yeah. it it's, like, it's, all, it's, it's always dirty when I look down I'm sure it does deviate if, if that's correct this is an absolute perfect <laughs> perfect pace for Stage Star it's like we know Dave Orton and his merry band will be watching this let's just you know, get one in that studio for them. Barry, they've adopted their positions then. Walking on there looks a bit keen to me. Everything else looks pretty much settled. Yeah, very much so. But the favourites come in again. He's into Ooh. two to one, uh, or sub two to one, 2.88. So 15 to eight in running for Tree Stripe Life. After that, stage start to, still trading at double figures. 11.5 on the exchange now. As a bell is eight, same as good risk at all. North Lodge into seven. Walk on air, your big drift at 9.8. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's keen, no, keen as anything. Look, I, I don't want to say too much in case it, in case it wins, but walking on air is <laughs> absolutely me, keen as me. anything, but also not jumping very well either. What so. are you saying, Matt? Uh, Matt, you can put a zero on the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Barry. Let's go for it. Maybe I'll 
The inexperience is showing, though, isn't it, for the table horse, that's for sure. Keith, how are you? You're out in front, happy? Yeah, and he's just about... I think Ross has hit it on the head there. He's going fast, just fast enough to settle, but still slow enough that he's getting the benefit of having that lead. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. He's jumping very sensibly. He's getting into the bottom of a few flights, but there's, not many, there's no mistakes being made. I've got to be happy with where he is. I'm surprised he's not coming a little bit more, actually. Out onto the far side we go, and it's back to John Hammer. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Stage Star uh, is uh, apparently just slowed it down to 22 miles an hour there. So um, really Ooh, slow. Very erratic, this clock, you know. Very Do you awesome. reckon they're listening to us? Uh, RTV, <laughs> they're, they're onto us. They're onto us. Quick, put another digit on it. Throwing in a rogue two there to, uh, to confuse <laughs> us. Uh, the, I think the nicest position, personally, is by, uh, by Good Risk at All, who um, is uh, settled mm. significantly better than half the field. I'm happy with my eye as well, I think he's going nicely out of the back. Oh, another mistake another from walking on here. That was Again, Lord's Lord Trot great there. He's just too inexperienced, isn't he, walking on air so yeah. far? And I think he'll be better over fences next year. But stage star out in front, good risk at all. Uh, Colonel Mustard, three stripe life is uh, is travelling uh, ominously well. D uh, Gordon Elliott had two winners at Ballet Robe yesterday to give them a, uh, a, a welcome tonic. After and he's jumped lovely as well. He has jumped lovely. Stage star's jumping really well. There. Mm. Yeah, three bad mistakes there. Uh, uh, Nelson, uh, my tyres dropped uh, well out the back, and Great Heart Jack has never really been involved here. But it's stage star, good risk at all. Colonel Mustard now coming into. It. He has been racing keenly in the hood, but uh, be interested to see whether he finds more with it uh, on board. LA Three Bell not great there. No, not fantastic. Ooh, Tom... not going to yard. Mm, no, no, he's no, not he's enjoying not this uh, at all. Coming around the outside, Sam Rickers running a big race. Um, walking on air, starting to struggle a little We're bit. Turning right in. Tight. Three Stripe Life has got the, has had the absolute perfect run through here, but I'm he's hoping. Evens now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised, but I'm hoping Colonel Mustard at least isn't he? it's nice. uh, lasts long enough to hit the uh, the frame. LA Bell's not uh, too far out of it, and to be fair, there's still the front two stage star and good risk at all. Natty, even money, you pick. Yeah. I'm very, of course I'm happy and he's still on the bridle he looks great lovely rhythm jumped brilliantly and yeah nothing to not like for me I'm here I'm tracking today. you on my tie I'm getting a bit hopeful with that Barry Cobb the worst in running judge in the business mm. yesterday yeah. so <laughs> perhaps I shouldn't I shouldn't be speaking but there's plenty of chances yeah, yeah Colonel Mustard yeah turning to the home straight stage star is now going up and down on the spot and it's good risk at all three stripe life really catching the eye Colonel Mustard coming into it will he oh, stay the trip funny. on the wide outside Captain Mundy, yeah, but it's my tie off. who made I'm a mistake cruising. early on Come but on. has a huge chance LA Bell Tom Siegel's oh, tip is also I'm, looking I'm, like he's got a big chance how does this not win three stripe because three stripe life I win that's why! I'm get you I win! No, you're not! No, you're not! No, yes, I am! Get I back, Orton! Get back! I feel like I'm in the middle of a family argument here, but it's three stripe <laughs> life. Three stripe life. Uh, it's three life. Uh, God, God, it North Lodge, and it's three stripe oh, life who has bed. absolutely taken this race to bits. Oh come on, John. North Lodge is going to get the thirds. He is. North Lodge is getting on the. I had the lucky fifteen, Barry. Don't know where he's come from, but it is three stripe life beating my tie. Probably North Lodge in third, although the cameras panned out, and LA Bell I think was in fourth. Absolutely superb. Thank you, Roscoe. We're off and running then. And I'd like to think we had that covered. All right, uh, now, really? combination tricasts. You're coming back with a winner. You said you were going to be insufferable. I can't, I can't Good luck to us all. It was a favourite, though. Well, uh, listen, it was a big What price did he go off in the end, Barry? Around about 11 to 4, was it? Uh, he went off at 3.39 at the finish, yeah. So around just a little under the 9 to 4, or just uh, the around 9 to 4 mark here. My guy traded low 6 to 4, running 2.52. And like you say, yeah, sneaking into third place was North Lodge, although it was four places there on the Betfair Sportsbook for our lucky 15. But uh, yeah, good start to the day for Davy Russell. So interesting to see the post-race interview here. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it will be indeed. Uh, and so listen, read. we'll get you the comments, you know, as they come in, quotes for connections, all that sort of stuff. Who had it? Who was with Natty? Who was with me? Ah. You, I mean, my time's been an days, absolute blinder. He has. Yeah, he yeah, has. He, well. he walked he through has. the last, but he was beat at the time, Keith, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was always going to be second best. Um, I had a look at those. Ellie Bell didn't finish on the telly. She lost a lot of ground late on. I, would, I hope she's all right, actually. Stage star, I will get my money I just lost back on him. I'm going to have it all on him getting a wind up before we see him next. <laughs> yes. Because he just cut out massively. He was going all right, and then he just dropped like a stone. <laughs> Uh, uh, so he's going to get. I'm hearing that LA Bell has pulled up, guys, and it's yeah. a suspected heart attack. I'm hearing as well. Oh, no. uh, ben, oh, oh, sorry, yeah, she did not. That she didn't. Yeah, it's, that's not great. She is was it? going to be third, and you, she didn't finish in the first six. Oh, and you thought that's oh, worrying. Third in the champion bumper, of course, behind Three Strike Life last year. Listen, fingers crossed for that, but it, it, it doesn't sound good, does it? For Dan Skelton's crack mayor. We'll keep an eye on that. Gordon Elliott being interviewed on telly at the moment with the masses packing. It was sold out ages ago. Gee, I mean, look at how busy day, that, that was rammed out today, doesn't it? Yeah, it is proper I'd far rather be in here, to be honest. I've, I've, I've been to one Grand National. Uh, and <laughs> Don't you like a scrum? I don't like too many people. 
Right. No, that is that is a lot. That is a lot. I mean, you've got to be a problem on your eye TV. You've got, though, well, see that see that bit behind Elliot's head. If you've got your press badge, you can get to that bit, and you can avoid the scrum. <laughs> and that's the only reason I would go. Yeah, I get to be in the paddock. No, it's just too many people for me. It takes us back twelve months. You couldn't even walk into a betting shop and have a bet this no, time last year, could yeah. you? You know, we, we, yeah. I felt a bit isolated when we were in lockdown doing this show last year. I remember it felt like it we was were... very odd. Yeah, it was mm. very odd. And obviously, a lot of people then yeah tuning in at home and yeah, trying to trying to work out what was was going on. It, it did have a very strange feel to it last year. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's absolutely ramp packed. But yeah, it's um, it feels a bit like it's uh, it's not. It's, it's touch wood. Is there any wood in here? Back to normal. Back to normal. My head. Unlikely. Back to Unlikely normal. to be any wood in here. No, it's actually. great. It's to another see the race that's falling crowds. apart. That, by the way, guys. Uh, isn't it? Yeah, they've gone. They've, they've ended up really strong out. Is that um, a worry for Florian Port later on? Do you think? Who's going to try and make it a proper test? Is he going to make a proper test? Well, I think he probably will have to. Why would Why would Mullins? Try, why would Because I think he's going to probably have to. Why? That's what I mean. Because I think he'll probably get taken on. I heard you having a debate this Well, the morning. one who will take him on is oh, Al. So. Who, which pulled, one? Ashdale Bob. They pulled him out. And he's, he's, he's not in it. Of course. Yeah. Not, just just the potential front, 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 front yeah. I reckon. Yeah. It's just really, it's not in Mullins' interest to, to, no. to, no. to, to make that He won't change the recipe. He'll just be up front. Absolutely mugged them right off in that race last time at Cheltenham. And if he can do it again, he will. I mean, a few things I would say. Can we stop... Is the cello the cello heard on grade one? Come on. Don't yeah. grab it in Keith. He, he's livid about that already. Well, that, it, 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 it seems to be, it's now become um, that is. A, a bit of a, a joke for the rest of the season now, the cello hurdle. Of course, goes on to win the cello, and you think, oh, okay, well, that's your, that's your race, mate. Done. It's a very small um, field. Isn't it? that, I mean, the thing is, that horse is, that horse is choked. He's. He's got. He was in front, and he's yeah. pulled up a furlong later. A good risk at all's falling in the hole, doesn't he? And he has. I mean, there was a couple of. I mean, the sectionals on the screen on RTV. You can't take them at face value, but there was a couple of sub fourteen second furlongs there down the back, mm. suggesting they did pick it up a fair bit. Um, and you know, those two horses were on the front when that was happening, so it might be that they've they've done themselves in a little bit. My size. Not that big, is he? And he's he, he's sandwiched by North Lodge, who will surely be going chasing. But also this bloke, Three Strike Live, Barry. Have we got any quotes coming in, Andy Postwise? North, North Lodge has gone right through the line. The there. future yeah. chaser that is Three Strike Live. Yes, we certainly do. Ten from sixteen for the Turners, and um, sixteen from twenty-five for the Stairs. If they stay that route with him, but uh, I'm sure he's for chasing. Yeah, he's massive beast, Barry. Now Turners looks like his race, isn't it? The North Lodge. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, maybe, maybe sorry. No, no three strike life. Uh, yeah, probably I would assume so. North Lodge might go. He looked like, advisory. A, like a brown advisor. Yeah, he he's brown advisor. a brave race, North Lodge, considering. He's Love horses yeah. that still find the line despite the fact they're off the bridle a long way up. Well, it's his fourth run, isn't it? I mean, he only made his debut on the yeah. 4th of December. I mean, he's so mm. inexperienced compared to the vast majority of He's a very likeable horse. Mm. He is, yeah. And, um, you get the, and Alan King as well this year, obviously, he's now switched his... Um, he's angled to the flat a little bit more, so you get the feeling he's been a bit more selective with the the horses he bothers with over uh, over jump. So I think North Lodge is going to be really interesting next year. Um, I agree. And, and the winner, he is a nice horse. Everything's gone right for him there. Um, that's the only thing I would say. And he will come. He's just going to come up against all the. It's a boost for. That was my next. Tavy. Uh, <laughs> did you see it then? Then the horse, ears, yeah, then yeah, the horse yeah, yeah, did a little yeah. spooky. Did yeah. he fell off? There are two boosts <laughs> in that race. One, of course, for Sir Gerhardt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who we are assuming will go over fences. Well, as I say, the high pitch. I mean, we don't, we don't even know what races they're in a week before. Uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> not, let's not play that game. But also, um, but, but I mean, old, Constitution Hill. eight year old next year, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But your Constitution Hill, John <laughs> Mai Tai. It's all, it's all working oh, out, isn't it? All tied in, yeah. The tenuous yeah. links are brilliant here because there's also a boost for uh, Edward Stone with North Lodge running well. Of course. Kingy will be, we're going into that next. Yeah. And the last eight year old to win the Arkle was, of course, Edward Stone Edward this year, Stone. since the size of Europe, which Sir Gerhard will probably, we think, be bidding to do, maybe knocking that one out of the park. North Lodge is, uh, I've had a look at his little pedigree, Blackjack Ketch sometimes up in there, which always gives me a shiver. That was a horse I thought was going to win absolutely everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, and not alone. His half brother, I think, is Winter Escape, who beat Apple Tard. There you in, go. In a great team of his chase. Yeah, he, 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 he was Alan's horse, and then he went over to Ireland. Didn't yeah, he? yeah. So uh, yeah, he's got he's got the sort of pedigree to take to chases next year. He just looks like a three mile chaser there. He's quite an exciting horse actually. Brilliant. We are off and running here, cooking with gas on National Day. Great to have you with us, RP Live and Betfair along the way. The sportsbook Lucky Fifteen is underway. A third place there for Barry trying to knock it out the park. We will be building up to the national at 5.15. Cannot wait for that. Great to have you all watching out there. Some lovely feedback this week. Uh, and keep your selections coming in. Let's have some shout-outs. Where are you watching it today? National Day. I might watch it in here. 
That's all right. If we let you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure. I see you've removed the pens. You're getting quite serious now. You, Colonel Mustard didn't really fire there, did he? I, I, we, don't give I, well, I thought you ran a... I mean, I, 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 the, 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 the trip was the thing I tried to... Tried to talk myself out, and I should have listened to that a little bit. I thought you were a really good race. If you stop the clock at about two two hurdles out, he's in line with the rest that of them. Pesky bit. Tom Segal, right again? Yeah, he? he was right. Yeah, and Stage Star Segal. as well. I mean, he, he dropping back to two, and I think he'll um, he'll might well be an Arkle animal next year. Mm. Yeah, I think right. Lorna and Connections will be pleased. He'll with, be eight. with Colonel Mustard because I mean, they're always pleased with his runs. But um, yeah, he didn't. Right, he ran a good race. He deserves he? a big pot. Colonel Mustard does. He that's does. For sure. Yeah, I just you get it. Big pot. Big pot. <clears throat> Absolutely, oh, no, that was delightful. You got it out there, didn't you? Yeah, I know, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> I've got Roscoe next to your friends. Just come out. Uh, so three o'clock is the next. Of course, it is the two-mile grade. The three grade ones we have, of course, building up to the national. We have that hour in between the national when we build up. The numbers went absolutely mental last year. I'm sure that'll be the case again because we will give you a word on every single runner. Is it still 40? I'm hearing that someone's saying that Commodore is out in the chat. Has he come out, Barry Commodore? Of the biggie, or is he still in there? Um, I think well, he's come out the four. He's still. come out the four. He's come out the the three four fifty. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, oh, maybe. that's yeah. probably what it is. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, All right, yeah. yeah, great stuff. That was a bit confusing out there. So luckily we covered it. He does still run in the National Commodore for Venetia Williams. Uh, Mi, who's been with us all week, great to have you back. I would have thought the brown advisory for three stripe lights looks a proper stayer. Tank through that, isn't he? I don't know. They try and keep them as short as they can, don't they? They do until the until they have to. Until they have to. Yeah. But, but again, I mean, it depending on what 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 the, what the other ones do. But you, you've, Mullins has got forty three hurdlers in that. You've also got you know your Manila Manila Kakunas, your Manila Krunas. Your, ah yes. Um, well done. Uh, yeah, well done, so Ross. That was good. But then it, we saw it, we saw it just a few weeks ago with the uh, Turners and the Brown Advisory. It gets right to the last minute before yeah. they make it. I mean, and don't know. forget as well. You, you know, if you've got a novice chaser, there's a there's a Grade One novice chase over two miles, two and a half yeah. miles, seven yeah. miles, three miles, six. I mean, it's getting to the point now. And then you've got entry, and then you've got punches there. If you've got they should just sit down three months in advance and go, right, you win that one, you win that one, you win that one. It's, it's getting, it's very, it's, it's coming socialist, the novice chase thing. It's like, <laughs> everyone gets one, everyone gets one novice chase to win, uh, which is a bit... Apart from this, all, the, all the same yards. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, it is, and that's the... Socialism that's... for the rich. Well, I suppose that Edward Stone is a great case in point on that. You know, yeah, well, the... and Lon, Lon Presse was good for Venetia. She wouldn't always be a, a, a festival winning trainer this year. Yeah. It's slightly different. It was nice to get Venetia... But even like Brave Man, it's like Brave Man Games gets a Grade One win. Uh, a Hoy Senor has a Grade One yeah. win. Long Press gets a Grade yeah. One win. Yeah. yeah, everyone have a Grade One Come win. On, everyone. Well, that's a, that, you're getting political now, but there is a lot of Grade Ones to go around. There are, there. aren't there? Yeah. Especially in spring. I mean, they proliferated all the Grade Ones at Aintree yeah. uh, about ten years ago now, uh, and you know, it, it, I think it was because of overspill from Cheltenham. Really, uh, there's an awful lot. If you look at the way it's distributed through the season, massive spike in, in the spring really at Grade Ones. So. If you've got off grade one horse, you want it to be effective on decent ground. No, it's, mm. Yeah. Does that make Or you win the channel. Are it pieces? Yeah, it's just falling out there. Is it? Yeah, don't, don't, don't lose it yet, Nat. Don't I, lose it yet. I nearly you've lost it. You've still got the, the commentary to go, Nat. I nearly lost the actual white bit in I my ear. I need to win one piece when we get to the Grand National Grand commentary. We can't wait for Neil Francis is asking for the Grand National top fours in the chat. And uh, should we stop teasing some of them, maybe, potentially? It's, it's, uh, let's have a look. We have got, you've, got us, you've got us teasing in like, drip feeding. You've got us yeah. doing four and then three in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Two, I, can, I can eke it out, that's for sure. We need to do this. We've got a lot of time in between the races. Did, did, did anyone hear us talk to Nick Schofield yesterday? I was here. I was... Uh, <laughs> I was... I was we think it was Nick no. Schofield, don't we, that, that, that came in. He was happy to be on. Let's, let's put it that way. It was a, a soundbite from Nick talking about his rides. He's obviously on Santini later on. Yeah. A lot of people fancying Escaria 10 out there. Well, Dave Lowe, our roving producer, shall we say, has been getting onto these jockeys. And uh, Adrian Heskin, I believe, comes up and gives us a word. Hi, Adrian Heskin here. Really looking forward to my ride on Escaria 10 in the Grand National. Looking forward to Good Spain in the biggest race of the year. Um, he, a horse that jumps very well, so we're really hopeful he should take to these fences. I thought the ground was quite good on the on the Grand National course, so the more water they put on, the better to suit him. Um, if a drop of rain happened to come, we'd um, be delighted too. But I'm really looking forward to the ride on him. Very lucky to have a, a lively chance in it and hopefully he can give myself and uh, the McNeil family a good run for our money. 
Absolutely. That was, that was a bit more lively, wasn't it? Mm. Hi, Adrian Heskin here. Oh, hi, Adrian. I've had him on a watch out, actually. He's a good, good chap, too. He was, very, chap he was a bit... Um, what was his name? The Simpsons guy. Hi. You might remember me from Troy such... Troy McClure. Troy McClure. Yeah. You might remember me from such rides as a Scaria 10. Lead pencils. Yeah, sorry? Tasty but deadly was a Troy yeah, McClure. Yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 Uh, if you're Simpsons fans out there. Barry, a Scaria 10, one of seven for a, a, a Gordon Elliott in the biggie yes. at 5.15. Delta Work's been on the slide all day. Run Wild Fred coming into my eyes for money. What about a Scaria 10? Yeah, Scaria 10 has been steady enough, Dave. Um, currently trading at 22. No, 22 from 18, actually, on the sports book. On the exchange, a little bit bigger than that. Obviously, it's a win only market. 27 on the exchange. Mm, okay. Davey has the whole family with him in Aintree. Oh, does he? Oh, uh -oh. oh Barry's been doing more. We're waiting for this, aren't we? we? If you're wondering what we're talking about, we, we, we are thinking that Davey Ross is coming to the end of an extremely. Um, well decorated career in the saddle and um, oh there'll be a couple of potential retirements we know for sure there. Noble Yates don't we well oh, we yes, know Sam. obviously Sam's retired we know the dentist that, is yeah is, have we got a funny a line for that yeah thank you so you're just too quick boom <laughs> get it there, there okay, absolutely yes a bit well, long in the tooth again another just shining filling. career we're just filling that's what we're doing. Hey, God, he's full right. of it. Very, very We're just good. bracing ourselves. Yeah, Noble Yates. Oh, look at Noble Yates, you liked him in the Ultimate, but you, I, we, I think we can not say anymore. He's not, you're, not, you're not anymore. See, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, I've, I've packed him for this before they really go and bought him. I thought oh. he was like a bit of a plot up. And to be honest, you know, Sam, Sam's coming to the end now, and he looked like a jockey who was nearing the end in the Ultima, to be perfectly honest. So I'm not as confident as I was. I agree. I thought it was absolutely like, well, we know he's plotted out for it. Um, couldn't find exactly how much he paid. I think it was up for like 290 then on Seoul. They obviously, they've oh, gone right, and so bought him. Bought him privately, they've gone right. and bought him privately. So I think yeah, they probably all, paid a pretty penny. They're all plotted well, out for it. it. Yeah, it's not yeah. like, so we go, oh, you don't go to January and go, should we go for the National? Like, you, you know, if you think you've got a national horse... He ran behind yes. the hoist and no, he I mean, need to qualify. No, but I mean, they've yeah. right. gone and spanked, and spanked a load of dollar yeah. on it. No, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but so did... His so so previous so order Darren Yates, and that didn't yeah. work out very well, did it? So Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's literally 15 or 20 in the yeah, that have been point properly point laid out. wrong with that? <laughs> Mm. I thought he was going to get gambled oh. because he was Emmett Mullins and he yeah. was playing like he was, a, he was a novice who was going to qualify with a bare minimum number of runs. He's the youngest, he's young as you can get for a national. It just had all the look of oh, Emmett Mullins is going for the national now. He's going to get punted. So, but it's not really worked out like that. Has Emmett Mullins landed a gamble this season? Was he under a winner this like season? A, one like a damp squid, didn't it? In the first um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> damp squid. Uh, damp squib. Damp squib. No, oh, I thought you said a squid, <laughs> like, squid. A, like a. Most squids are damp. <laughs> they tend to be. They're in trouble if they're not, to be quite honest with you. They're, they probably uh, are. Yeah. They're, they're probably calamari. Are. If it's dry squid, send it back. Send yeah. it back. All right, okay. Well, I thought Sam Wadey Cohen might have been announcing his retirement because Jet ran so badly, he was just so angry. Mm. That's it, I've had enough yeah, of this. Yeah, he looked, he looked a pitch as well, Jet, didn't he? Pre-Jet, he had had 36 rides over the national fences for six winners, six winners, four Incredible. seconds and seven thirds. Incredible. It's been etched on my retina all week, that has. Can he make it a seventh on Noble Yates? Get your national picks in then. Between 4.15, uh, which race is that? Oh, yeah, after a lot of people have been expecting Flooring Porter to follow up his stay as hurdle crown. After that, we'll be going everything national. All out of salt, and we'll be hearing from you out there. There's a social there. Oh, look at this. I like this. Oh. Peter Plus, Whaley Cohen has to jump the... <gasps> the root canal turn. That oh. is lovely. That I'm is... going to be well sick of this by quarter past five. This is... I like <laughs> this. I'm loving it. Right? I, I'm insufferably loving it. Peter Plus, absolutely marvellous. Well perhaps, done, Peter Plus. Perhaps the comment of the week, that, very quick. This is the piece, This is the sort of audience. We know our audience. We love them, you see. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why. I have to go a long way to match some of Ross's that he did for Racing TV. They were all very good. I've got them all written down here. I can, I'll bring them out. You name a horse, <laughs> I've got one for you. So it's, uh, it's fine. Name a horse. Name a national horse. Uh, okay. Uh, Fortescue. Longhouse Poet. Oh, hang on. Yeah, uh, Longhouse Poet. Okay. Yeah, see, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you enjoy this. Uh, Matthias, D's winner, could pay for your dinner. His chances are sturdy, like number six Valverde. There you go. <laughs> hey, very <laughs> good. Okay, very that, good. That was Longhouse Poet. What yeah. about Fortescue? Because that uh, can't have been easy. No, that was a tough one. Uh, I, I just had rock solid form, jumps and stays, could give his jockey a huge chance. I really struggled. That was a that Hugh was a Nugent. Terrible. Yeah, was a you, didn't th you didn't think he was going to get in. That that, no, I didn't that, that comment smacks of this. Oh, you don't want to? No, I can't do Dingo Doll yet. What? 
Oh, is it so good? Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation. Oh, I'll give you Lost in Translation. Bill Murray, I imagine. Uh, yeah. Elegante es cazador de rango uno coyos mejores de as estén detrás de él. <laughs> Does that mean he's going to absolutely be gasping for ear by second Valentine's? Uh, I can't remember exactly. elegant. Uh, I'll put uh, it into Google Translate for you. Uh, what is it? it oh, is. Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation. There you go. For the love of God. <laughs> it, badly tra it translates as elegant former rank one elegant. hunter whose best days are behind him. That's, that's elegant a very super, former rank it? one hunter whose best fan. Tastral it turns out that, that Spanish don't uh, they don't have a Spanish for grade one. The apparently. stock is rising, I have to say, and it's it's yeah. because of this here studio. That's because of sure. nonsense. <laughs> we got 13 minutes until Edward Stone tries to follow up the Arkle Barrier. He has been hot all day, although I didn't expect to see 1.7. Quite big to my eye. Yeah, 1.71. He was match for just under 200 quid at even money on the exchange, but and he has been traded. At a low, the last time he was into one to two at one stage, um, only for small money now, 1.56, 586 quid. So, yeah, he's he's drifting back out a little, just 171 now. Gentleman to me, 5.26, third time looking, it would need to be with Edward Stone, Amarillo Sky 36. I think there's only, uh, the market suggesting there's only three runners in the race. It's dismissive from Amarillo Sky. Out and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to look in the without market, please, Keith. Mm -hmm. So your horse can win the race, or if the favor wins and your horse comes second to him, you still get paid. So there's two chances of winning. And at the moment, gentlemen, to me, is 242. I think that's an eminently backable price. Gentlemen, to me, um, made all at Navin in, in a grade three, it beat Grange Walk 16 lengths. It was fives on that time, uh, and the time before that, in Turles, uh, just it was a nothing race, really, 134 lengths. Don't forget, he went off four to one favorite in Galloping Deschamps, um, um, Martin Pipe. So they've always taught a lot of this horse. He's really getting his act together now. And I think in the without market, we're going to have 50 quid on, please, Keith, at 242. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's only got third time lucky to beat in that market. To me, it looks a dead match in the without market. Edward Stone's carried all before him in this division. And really, bar he, the Cheltenham and a long season has caught up with him. I think he'll take all the beating. But uh, gentlemen, to me, without the favourite, I think is a really good better. Uh, isn't that interesting? Because, of course, this is this is one that, you know, as Barry said, long been well regarded, gentlemen, to me. Let's concentrate him for a second. Uh, I guess we did this yesterday, by the way, on the show, on paper. There mm. looks like you know, the on paper thing never really works out, Keith, we were saying, didn't we? But mm, on not. paper, there could be a problem for uh, gentlemen, to me, in the shape of for pleasure. Who only has one way of running, and thus far, gentleman to me, gentleman to me, has looked the gentleman, gentleman to me, that is to me, has looked very happy getting on with it. Because oh, he wins they, by they huge. Serve this up as well, well, he wins sorry. by huge margins. Like Thurlis was thirty-four lengths, Navin was sixteen lengths. Yeah, um, I mean, he's. Um, that was only because they were nothing races, Dave. He was twos on and fives yeah. on. Yeah. It's just kind of go on off and front. It doesn't have to make it. Yeah, he's. I mean, he was. Bear in mind, he was. He was all the rage for the Martin Pipe last year. He was all the rage, and we talk about the Martin Pipe this year, and people already crapping it after three runners. But um, it's because Willie Jean. didn't win it. Sorry, it's because Willie didn't win it. Well, yeah. Whenever yeah. Willie wins it, you know, it's, <laughs> everyone goes mad. Goes, well, it ends, turned out to be quite right last year, didn't it? Yeah. So. Well, Galloping the Shots and Langer Dan were first two, obviously, and they've. they've Langer Dan's done very well, hasn't he? Obviously. I mean, he, he absolutely hacked up yesterday, didn't yeah. he? But um, you get the feeling he's just taken a while. They've taken a while to kind of figure him out, gentlemen, to me a little bit. Um, and El Fabiolo yesterday. Mm. I mean, he's a very similar type. And if we was we were saying That's trends, stats, one. all this stuff, the one person mm. who couldn't give a monkey's about any of that is Willie Mullins. He, he just he laughs in the face of all this stuff. You think, oh, it can't win off the back of that. It's too inexperienced. It's too keen. It's only got whatever you throw at a Mullins horse, it never seems to stick. So that's the worry with with gentleman to me is that he's you think, oh, surely he can't go on and beat Edwardstone here, and it, and like you said, he has to front run, but. They always find a way. One runner in the last 10 years in this race for Willie. Who was it? I'm looking at the quiz master. Here. Yeah, I'm going to Come on, I might have him here. I think you've got me. I mean, it's bad now. Wouldn't have earned a soul, would it? No. Hang on. <laughs> give, us a, give us a clue. Give us a clue. No. Give George clue. Murray says, Discarama, get that, get Ross on that. It's priceless. We're in a minute. Okay. Yeah, and he, I also yeah, saw yeah. that Daniel uh, or, or someone said Ross makes these shows hilarious. Well, the guys in the gallery obviously like you a Duvan. lot more than they like me. Um, it was. Barry said one. Wait, Duvan. give us a. Duvan. Barry's it? got it. Oh, yeah. Well it done, was. Barry. Two to 13, he went off in 2016. Should we go through the route at a roll call of the Shishkin last year, of course? Mm. Uh, or Nua and. 
worked really well backed for Henry De Bromwich that year. Diego Charmille, what perhaps his last day in the sun that was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Sam Benedito before that as well for Paul. Mixed bag, Duvan Sizing, Granite, ball to success, mm -hmm. one runner in the last 10 years for Alan King, represented by... Um, Edward Stone, of course. Special Tiara, wasn't he lovely? And Sprinter Sacra back in 2012. Oh, I used to love Tiara Special was. Tiara. Yeah, he was lovely, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I used to love him. De Bromwich's got a really good record in this race, obviously not represented. So a <laughs> bubble is going to burst, awesome. whether it be record-wise, for gentleman to me who Barry likes and thinks he can maybe take on Edward Stone. If you're looking to take on Edward Stone, that's what you're after, isn't it? You're after a long season. He you couldn't, be, you couldn't be surprised if gentleman to me won this, would you? I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I wouldn't be massively surprised. I just, my own opinion on the race is that, you know, we keep... There's people who try and get Edward Stone beat because he's not a superstar, but he is a high 160s, very likeable, bomb-proof horse. He's, he's, he's hard as nails, really, this mm. horse. He's awesome. And he's having... You know, people are saying it's had a long, hard season, and you know what? It is, a, it is a reasonable claim to level at any horse. We see enough horses at entry that don't come up to it, but I would... Back this horse to, to stand up to it. He's hard as. Has he had a harder season he than soft. John Bond, for example? Who wouldn't, uh, you know, it's not like. No, because that, that, no, that head up rate for John Bond, that was hard. Brutal. That yeah, was yeah. brutal for John Bond. runs for him. Well, look at Edward Stone's last. Edward Stone last season had a hard season too, yeah. and he was still running he, well he by this point. He's a hard yeah, horse. Yeah, he's a, he's a hard he's a, horse. That's right, he's a hard horse. That's why I'm not fussed about him. I love his demeanour, like Edward Stone. He's so chilled. Like, for people obviously that can't, like, tuning into this show that can't see what pictures of the paddock. Edward Stone's really nice and relaxed, lovely. I've got to say, third time lucky looks exquisite. Well, it yes. looks absolutely stunning, as does Gentleman to me, to be fair. Those three all look, you know, really beautiful. Natalie is with Edward Stone. Keith is uh, with Edward Stone. Chased home by third time lucky. Yeah, uh, yes. By oh, the way, I'm well, going you're... Edward Stone the winner. Love him. Always loved him. Amazing arcle for me, that was. He jumped absolutely superbly. The hurdling form made a man of him. All come together over chases. He's jumped absolutely fantastic. And third time lucky, um, I think, could chase him home. Did you manage to do the notes overnight in your Hogwarts tent? No, I couldn't see. Didn't have a light. You were shivering a bit. Didn't even have a light. Was that the train on the way down? There? Extensive ne as ever, Nat. Never and, camping uh, again. You've got business, of course, with multiples. So yeah, I, I didn't think you'd be putting up a multiple anytime soon. Yeah. Or, or indeed an well, exotic no, it's, bet it's or anything fun, like that. It's more fun, isn't it? This is the day, like you say, the People's Day of racing. Like, don't just back Edward Stone at, at the price. Go Edward Stone, chase home by. It could be third time lucky. It could be gentleman to me. Go for it. It's, it's more fun. Yeah. And okay. You get a, so you the get forecast. A bigger bet. What's the forecast, Barry? For um, what, what, what numbers are there? Let's have a look because we know. She tends to pull these off. Uh, two to beat seven. Two to beat seven is 4.2. So a little over three to one. Yeah, there you but go. this is why it's so great with Barry and Betfair because you can see all the different bets that you can have. Like Barry's bet without when on Gentleman to me is a great bet. It's, it's fun. It's, people can learn, can't they? Not that it was in doubt, but you will be asked back. They you can learn about Betfair. Yeah, it's good. These. I like it. <laughs> he likes these. We know how to flex our muscles here. That's quite right. Uh, Roscoe. Uh, well, I mean, we're talking about. I mean, let's let's get even more convoluted, shall we? There's a three place market on this on Betfair. There's six runners. Um, you've got you've got two horses who've had hard seasons in Edward Stone and Third Time Lucky. You've got one horse in Gentleman to Me who could go either way. Um, the the Tizard horses are absolute masters of going. We we can't win this race. Um, we can't win this race, so um, yeah, Keith, if you can look at the, uh, the three. <laughs> Keith, <laughs> Keith, Keith, Keith is like this. Producers Keith, in his ear. Keith, like <laughs> Keith is like, what? What do I mean? Get the market 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 up, I so here is the three. Yeah, I've got the three place market. I, I here. thought initially he said, "Get out, Keith." He was like, "All right." Yeah, I, was, yeah. I thought it sounded quite so aggressive, what's Keith didn't done? it? No. Keith done. Um, so <laughs> it is. On, I mean, you, you fiddle on the roofs. So you know, last, year, last year they were even better at it. But your Eldorado LNs, you fiddle on the roofs. All these horses who go, you know what? We ain't going to win this race. But we will happily, happily mop up the prize money in yeah. the black tie. Uh, Amarillo Sky has pretty decent speed for he's, I mean, he's, he's solidly fourth in right on the tails of these. So basically, he will run his race. One of the others might well not. Um, and he ran a, I mean, it was horrible ground in that grand annual, and he was never really in a particularly he good position. He can't win this. No, he can't win it. No, but he's too. He's, he's you just, want to back him in the three place? He's market. 15 I to 8, I think. Right, about okay. 15 to 8 to play. Yeah, three. he's in fact a little bit bigger than that, really. He's 294. Yeah. I think he's, uh, I mean, that for me... Is, this is your way of looking at the race. It's very interesting. Well, for pleasure, we'll go off in front and, and, and probably bomb out. Mick Pass is not good enough. And, um, and one of the other... How many races... You very rarely see these races uh, where everything 
We've just Na- seen advertising forecast, you advertising three places. You know, yeah. you'll probably be asked to host this one time. You know where you are. <laughs> well, how about next week? <laughs> Yay, next week. All changed next week. We mustn't talk about the flat at this point, of course. Oh, my God, if I come in a washing machine. <laughs> what, with all the different what, ins and outs, you mean? I think you can do one after sleeping in a tent, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, who would sleep in a tent on, uh, on the eve of national night? Uh, OK, Edward Stone going down. How's he going down, horsey person, Nat? Yeah, no, he, he just doesn't get he doesn't get too um, exuberant or silly. Like oh, third time lucky was really, you know, trotting around the paddock, joggy, really expressive, and we got Kingy in pictures now. Ever so just doing his job. That's what I like about him, Dave. He walks around the paddock properly. He goes down to the start properly. He jumps properly. Um, even like Tom Cannon said, you just literally put your legs on and kick. <laughs> it's, it's a straightforward horse. It is. He's far from your typical Arkel winner in that he was a handicap hurdler and he's not trained by one of... Well, well it's, it's Kingy, isn't it? I've got to be careful to say it's because Kingy is a legend. He and is. Are there, not, there are two type, there are two complete types of Arkel winner, there, aren't there? there? There are your, my God, what an incredible superstar. Simon Sig, special... Uh, I was going to say Sprinter specialty Sacra. Uh, Sprinter Sacra. <laughs> but then, yeah, Duvan. The, yeah, but then you get your... Um, you get your... Uh, I mean, put the kettle on, is it wasn't... She's not a good arc of it. I know she went on to... Gosh, she sold well at sales, didn't grand, she? Wasn't Crikey, not said about that, wasn't it? It was a little bit... N- too much needle for me on that. What, what selling her? Yeah. yeah that was a bit much. Yeah, exactly. Give over. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, <laughs> that's it. Give over you, out there. Still, uh, other arc of it. They're not breeders, so... Yeah. What about for pleasure? Uh, he's mental, isn't he? He's just going to bump... But... For grade one winning trainer and jockey. Yeah, Alex that's Hales true. Alex yeah. Woods. I mean, this, this horse is... Uh, he really cannot... He, He's only got one way of doing things. Keelan Woods is just going to have to glue himself into the saddle and hope for the best. Well, uh, which he's yeah. quite good yeah. at, actually. Yeah. No, he's a, he's, and he does jump quite well. It just, it, it, I would be surprised if he can keep up the pace he wants to go all the way around. He, he's sort of trolling third time lucky wherever he goes, isn't he? Going, do you remember that day at Cheltenham? Do you remember that day at Cheltenham? Mm. When he couldn't catch me. He gave me too much rope. Third time lucky here. A few judges are going for kills this morning, of course, and in the scissors. If ever he's going to win a grade one, this is it. Basically, that was the case for him, wasn't it? And, uh, yeah, entry's, he's a fast horse. Entry's going to be his track probably more than Cheltenham is. Mm, um, he's fair. going to get the good pace to run at here because Harry Skelton a few times has just gone, right, well, I need to go now. Mm. Uh, but he won't have to do that this time. He's going to have to play pleasure bashing. What are they I getting? agree with Entry as well for um, third time lucky being more more it's sensible. Sure, it's I just don't, the problem with the horses. I don't, they don't know what to do with him every time. They, they went too soon last year in the county. They've, sometimes they go right. Let's put the gun to his head, and he goes on and he goes. I'm sorry, mm. I've run out of gas here. Sometimes they held him, hold him up. They can't. I'm, I know people say horses are versatile and they can do this and that and the other. But third time lucky must be a bit tired of being. Be going, what do you want from me? Mm. Yeah, Charlie Post, of course, who broke him in and ran him to finish second in his only point, which I love reminding Charlie of. Uh, he's up there this week and he's he, he's going there happily to back him and he thinks this will be his big day in the sun. But uh, uh, P- P- Post, he, he has been trolled by Dan a little bit throughout the season. He's like, don't run him in, don't run him in. You know, but he's going so well at home, they had to run him at Sandown, it flopped. And then maybe at Warwick, he w- wishes he'd come in mad fresh, which Skelton did, of course, for a lot of his horses. Mm. Looks like for pleasure, he's going to be happy to get a lead here. Whoa, yeah, well. they're mixing it up. They're <laughs> Where's trolling Graham Rodway? Where's Graham Rodway? Well, well, uh, no, well, yeah. no, uh, uh, <laughs> I think it's only a good luck, Keelan, if you think, if you think that horse is going to stick a lead. Whatever you do. Uh, OK, then. All right. Three o'clock. It's nearly off. Barry, what SP are we looking at, potentially? Uh, 174 at the moment. The money's come for a gentleman to me. 1486. Third time lucky in 23 bar. Thank you very much, Barry. All, all right. This is going to be fast and furious. Hold on to your hats. Roscoe, call them home. OK, they are off and they are racing away then. And um, we uh, we spent so much time on this show trying to predict the pace. Uh, and it's always uh, uh, very uh, surprising to see who uh, who goes on and uh, and leads. And it's Gentleman Demi who's now got a really nice, easy lead from Amarillo Sky, Edward Stone, third time lucky for pleasure. He's going uh, to uh, to try and change the habit of a lifetime and is held up. And out the back, Mick Pasta uh, is wondering exactly why he is here. Uh, and he's racing a little keenly. <laughs> he's, he's pulling, still a he's pulling. Pasta. No he's idea. like a tenth season novice, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's been around forever, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you think Edward Stone's experienced. Still um, only but, a six year old, man. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe he's only six. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Of course, he was the four year old that didn't quite meet up to expectations. Barry, gentleman to me, oh, I, really would be, I would be very happily backing him in running now, having seen that he's got his own way. Yeah, he's a bit sketchy over his first couple of fences, landing a bit steep, but he's, he's still 4.9. Your favourite Edward Stone, 172, 593. Time lucky for pleasure out to 110. Well, he's got a better SP anyway of 110 when he didn't lead. 
Yeah. Nick Pastor needs to just bog off because he's right on the heels of Edward Stone. He did run up against him. He there, really didn't he? did. I, I, I hate when yeah. I see that. And Amaryllis guy's jumping way too big. Don't forget as well that um, we were a bit surprised by Shishkin making the run in this last year. Um, we mm. also had Ornua make all on, uh, on, its, on the penultimate uh, run as well. So was, it's not I, a bad Andy, angle. And Andy Stewart Horse did it as well. Was it Tanner Pino or something about? Mm. 12 years ago. Oh, yeah. blimey. So it's not a bad little angle, and, and again, if the pack is to be believed. I which keep who watching knows. Keenan Woods on for pleasure, and he's like, come on, just let me go. Just let yeah. me go. Come it's on, fair. just let me go. He has, he's settled quite nicely. Maybe for pleasure's going off, thank you. Yeah. He has surprised me how well he's settled. I mean, he's not, he's not properly he's, he's settled. He's settled better than Edward Stone, if anything. This has been yeah, the plan all along for Alex like Hells, potentially. Look at Mick Pastor throwing mm. his head up there. How's Edward Stone going, Keith? No, he's absolutely fine, isn't he? If, if anything, he's over racing, but I'm not worried about it particularly. No, because if a couple are. He's, he's wide enough to get a look at the fences as well. You know, he, he, Tom Cannons is playing a very, playing a very canny game here, knowing he's on probably the best horse. Brendan Powell currently sits in second. For, mm. Good jump from third time, lucky there, but bold for pleasure, right at the bat now. Yeah. And bearing in mind as well, the um, the, the front runner in the two mile handicap as well, the uh, the Martin Brazel horse um, <laughs> finished second and, and ran a bit on my own or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think gentleman to me is having a, a, a right old time of this. And this I is, agree. Edward Stone's genuinely got a challenge on his hands. I'm here. surprised he's not a bit shorter by guess now. It's because Edward Stone's just doing everything nice and easy. Yeah, I'm just not worried. This is this is Edward Stone. Thousand um, for pleasure. I really, yeah. really it's a pleasure. Yeah. Really. He has, it's uh, back yeah, I mean, right. we're turning in. Then let's wrap it up. up tentatively. Yeah, it is. Amar uh, Sky on the heels of Gentleman to Me uh, behind those third time lucky racing still a little bit keenly on the inside. Edward Stone is uh, is wide and uh, is uh, is racing confidently. Mick Pastor's uh, pretty keen for pleasure. Four is not up. enjoying this. For Ooh, Gentleman yeah. to Me, all did not. Very bad at that. He copied the leader there, didn't he? I think he lost his stirrup. I mean, Edward Stone is looking at the wrestler and going, "This is. I'm the professional here. He should be winning from here." <laughs> you are the professional. The professional. <laughs> yeah, gentlemen, to me, Daddy's Amarillo home. Sky. You think he ought to be Stone. winning? Who? Edward Stone. Come Absolutely. on, Edward Stone. Yeah, yeah. Come he, on, lad. He's done everything right so far, but gentlemen, to me, still in front. Edward Stone. Oh, oh lovely job. Third front. time lucky back Travels in third. Right. Yes, he is a third time lucky. All of a sudden, oh, come on, Edward Stone. Oh man, gentlemen, to me. Don't forget, of course, he ran him over two and a half in the in the Martin Pipe last year, so he might have a bit of extra. Come on, my lovely Edward Stone. Third time lucky. Let's see what he finds. Come on, Edward Stone. Going through the gears. Gentlemen, to me, still has the lead, though. Gentlemen, to me, he's won. Oh, Edward Stone! Edward Stone, second! Third time looking at his third. Gentlemen, to me, has dominated! 16 to 1, Edward Stone. 25 to 1 on. He just needs to jump it. He just needs to jump it. Way over his head. Oh, oh, Best jump of the round. Gentlemen, to me, goes on to break Edward Stone's heart at Aintree. And, um, well... We could have a, uh, a champion chase challenger on our hands next year, gentlemen. It, to me, it Goes absolutely on. looks like we're going to, doesn't it? We'll get key thoughts about that, Barry. Uh, it looked all to be going plain sailing for Edward Stone backers, but he fell more, and around about two out, the spike happened. Winner gets a quote of fourteen to one for the champion chase for next year. Edward Stone hit a low in running of one point two two for one hundred and six quid. So um, just around two to nine for 106 quid, four is on for, for, for about 300 quid. Uh, bet for SP, the winner, gentlemen to me, 4.96. So just four to one bet for SP, Edward Stone, 177. And thankfully we win our charity bet. Well and done, we get Barry. A... Yeah, well done, Barry. And took on the juicy lay, wasn't it, basically, of Edward Stone with gentlemen to no, me. Bet, bet without. Bet without. Oh, was it bet without? Yeah, okay, it was bet without. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, Mark Walsh is. Uh, I bet he's. He always Keelan Woods a drink, doesn't he? You know, because That's because remark, of that. that uh, uh, listen, watch it back. We said, didn't we? I was like, I'd be happily getting involved with gentlemen to me now because the, the thing that worried you about tipping this horse was that he might get taken on, and we don't know how good he is. Now the question is for you, Keith. Has Edward Stone run his race? Judging on third time lucky, it's hard to argue he hasn't. Yeah, I, I would. I'm sort of thinking that I don't think he's certainly not run far below form. I would be surprised, you know, he ran to 165 in the Arkles. Have we got a right one here is basically what everyone wants to know. Um, he's not going to win the champion chase next year. There's too many good horses in the champion chase. I don't um, know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 he's, he's certainly not out of it. I mean, he's a, he's a late oh. bloomer now. He's really coming into into his own. He's 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 absolutely relished every, every inch of that. And a lot of the horses who, we, we're still trying to guess who's going to be who's actually going to end up turning up. Um, and the championship, yeah, I mean, there's You might have your Fernie Hollows and your My Drogos are coming, of course, and, and the, the, it could be an absolutely fantastic division, actually, next year. Um, and, of course, your Enigamines and your Shishkins again. So well, that's right. You'll be a blinder. I'm, I'm sort of thinking about... about yeah. Fernie Hollow. Yeah? yeah? I mean, he is fragile. Come on. What, 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 what? So fragile. You know, you'll turn up. <sighs> 
Oh, I didn't realise but that was annoying you that You need to... Uh, <laughs> yes, it was like my horse to follow, wasn't it? Oh! No. Gentleman to me needs to be... Not a pin tweet there, then. He needs to be 175, 180 horse to win the champion chase next year, is what I was sort of saying. And you're right, he might, he can keep improving, and he's going to... Uh, yeah, 40s just seems like the right sort what's of What's he on... If, if Edward Stone has run his race, what's he there? A 162? Oh, I'll be, uh, be, uh, be 170 if Edward Stone's run his race, yeah. but... He ran a cracker. Well, it's, it would be very interesting... Uh, who'll be doing that race? Which one of our handicappers? The handicappers, it'll be um, Johnny Pearson. Mm, okay. Ah, Johnny. Okay. Well, between us, we've got the one, two, three. Barry nailed it. Let's talk about some of the also rounds. And for pleasure, just hated it, didn't he? I thought it was going to pull uh, up again. To, horses that tend to go off in front and they try and hold them up. How often does it work? <sighs> yeah, it, 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 you are this, it's certainly in this kind of race. Like Rogers enough, would be would be livid if it, yeah, I think, it was well, one well, of those, for it? pleasure, I'd be having a word with him anyway. To be honest, but yeah, <laughs> put, put him in a put him in a novice chase at one to five and go right. Let's try and teach you to do something different. Fair enough, but I tell you what, it's asking a lot. That's one trainer I think we can all agree on is a genius. It's Willie Mullins, and he's campaigned this. Oh, he is because Edward Stone jumped way better than Gentleman to me yeah. in that, and Gentleman to me just powered on. Just yeah. The, thing, the, the, the ridiculous thing about Mullins is, though, that it's not like... It's almost as if he can envision the entire season ahead of him. And people are like, oh, the horses peak at the right time for this meeting and then other horses come out of the, the fray and you think, right, here's my Cheltenham horses. Like, we've had El Fabiolo, should have won yesterday, really, and Gentleman Demi, um, both skipped Cheltenham. He had an incredible Cheltenham and then he went, don't worry, I've still got aces up my sleeve for oh, entry. A record Cheltenham. Yeah, and but then but then the, the, your other trainers of of they're going. Well, we're going to have to throw the same dart at Aintree. Willie Mullins is going. Yeah, come on, mate. I've Here got we go. He's three more. So good. He's been with us all week. He had a couple of big place runners. Was that yesterday? He was, wasn't it? Of course, and uh, never pestered by for pleasure. Had his own way in front. That was absolutely key, wasn't it? And if you watching in running, uh, that would have been. Mm. I mean, hey, Barry, I'm be, I'm getting better at this judging. I think <laughs> in running potentially, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Barry's on another race. He's probably watching somewhere along the lines. Absolutely consummate professional, of course, Barry. We're watching Willie. What does that mean for the Trainers' Champions? He's going to have a stab, isn't he? If he wins the National, he's having a well, right on go. Yeah, he's got to win he's the National. Clear. He's got to win the National, hasn't he? It's the, it is the one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, They've the, all got runners in it, bar... Hendel. Has he? Or has Hendel Hendel's got runners in it. Has he got in the National? Oh, come on. Uh, hang on. Has he? Burrow Saint, Barama Bull. Uh, that's for Willie. What's Nick, what's Nicky got in it? Oh, Nothing. 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 Caribbean boys out as well. Yeah, so he never got Dan, declared. Dan and Willie have got. I mean, them. if Santini went and won it, he might be. Oh, I, I would <laughs> absolutely, I would absolutely love it if Nicky Henderson's uh, national winner oh. was for Polly Gundry. Yeah, and yeah. That would mate. be absolutely oh, magnificent. Is stories in the national. <laughs> uh, we're building up, of course. What are we? Nearly two hours away. From the greatest race in the universe. I've seen people on Twitter saying, "What is the greatest race?" Oh, in the I think race? Was, Come is, on. A, is there a good one on Mars? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, who, we might find out soon. I don't know. Is there life on Mars? Uh, yes, and there's a fantastic race in front. Like the your, the Mars your... Pattern Committee are absolutely nailed they it. They've got. <laughs> yeah, sadly, um, Dan Skelton, um, third time lucky, didn't fire there, and unfortunately, we did lose La Bell from the second, oh dear. which is oh, a great a shame. shame, isn't it? She was a. She was an absolutely beautiful Well, sending, mayor. you know, to connections, that's um, yeah. very sad. Yeah, absolutely. We see J.P. McManus then uh, inducted into the Aintree Hall of Fame, was J.P. earlier. And uh, he's talking to his jockey, Mark Walsh, then. And he, has he got a champion chaser for next year on his hands? 14 to 1, if you want some other sports book action there. That was a rapid quote, that was, wasn't it? Yeah. Of course, Energamine in the same stable. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. If Energamine's in the same stable, then Mullins will probably try to avoid him, won't he? Well, that's it. Exactly. He didn't go to Cheltenham this year, so will he even But McManus, even is the one, McManus is the one owner that can sort of pull rank a bit on Mullins, I think. Just about. Yeah. Um, you know, most, of, most, most of Mullins' owners are very uh, easy to persuade and not difficult because he's a very, very good placer of horses with Mullins on his own. Rights. Well, I mean, what, yeah. Why would you wouldn't go into Einstein and be going like, look, look, mate, I've got a problem with a few of your theories over here. So you, know, <laughs> you send over Mullins because you want. I to mean, there is a little bit of um, you know, Mullins keeps his horses apart a little bit more than if I was a runner in his yards. You know, yeah. I'd maybe sometimes say, no, you're only not running. You're only asking me to run in this race because you've got this for this race, Willie. Really. And then he'll probably spin you some story about how the other one's working better to try and get his way or something. Mm. I mean, there is an element of of maximising his own chances rather than necessarily doing strictly what's best for an individual. Willie's so. way works. Works for Willie. Works for Willie. Yeah. <laughs> www.com. <laughs> Very good, Nat. Again, you're sort of, you know... If, if I'm if, getting if, the hang of it. If you're coveting this chair... And I just, like, I just love saying Willie. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Willy works. Willy ways work. Well, oh, there I love we are. It. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, he is the man. <laughs> Let's not do it. She has a habit of doing this to us, doesn't it's she? It's just a great I'm word, looking at some, some socials down here, guys. Um, There'll be more after that. Way, <laughs> Let's move on quickly. The way Mullins is going with these two miles, he could do a Michael Dickinson in the champion chase. I love that. Well, well unless Shishkin's bone problem is really difficult, because I bet he could, could have the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Yeah, I, 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 I know Henson said, um, you know, mendable. That was a term, wasn't it? Mendable. But it's a bit of a worry, isn't it? A rare bone condition. It's a weird one. It's a it's a worry. It's, I mean, it's a it's almost a Henderson trait of a top class two mile chaser, isn't it? You have one season where something seems to go wrong, and then they re return phoenix like from the flames to Altior like Altior and, and Sprint Sacker, of course, obviously. Oh, Sprint Sacker, that was oh, that was just incredible. I mean, they they do, yeah, they're, they're, they're 2016 when he came back, that was amazing. He came back a stone less than what he was, but that was still good enough to win a champion chase because he's yeah. probably the best horse we've ever seen, best jumper we've probably ever seen. Any, anybody that can't remember Arkell. He probably is the best jumper I've ever yeah. seen. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, very, absolutely quite right. All right, we are, what, uh, around about 20 minutes away from the Liverpool Hurdle, Grade 1, Flooring Porter. There is your SP. Did you get with Gentleman Demi? Let us know. Don't forget to download the app. If you're not doing that, why on earth not? It's free. You can get everything. Live racing, fast results. Just search for Racing Poster, Apple and Google Play Store. Get involved. I said to say that a lot about downloading the app. Let's just assume everyone's got it now. Mm. Yeah, um, I mean, it's, 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 you only, yeah, it's well, only three or four apps I use, I think. Um, WhatsApp to message you, Dave, uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Twitter to, uh, to, to tweet things and then delete them, because I think, can I be bothered? No. Did you do that yesterday? Uh, I think I a lot of people would be thinking about doing that maybe after yesterday. I just, do, do, do you know, do you know I, mean, I am on Twitter and I enjoy it to an extent, but the amount of times I go, yeah, I'm going to share this thought with the world, and then after about a minute, I think, do I want the world to know that no. thought? No. Oh, I just go, no, I'll go get rid of that. Yeah, so, it's, it, no. anybody with a filter is just not going to get the best experience on Twitter, are they? No. Yeah, you're on Twitter, aren't you? I, am, I do far it. more looking than tweeting. Same. Quite. Yeah. I've never tweeted anything. I've liked a lot of things, but uh, you do like a lot of things because you turn up. I see your, I see your handle turning up. I'm not going to tell people what it is. Do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I am there. I mean, it's literally in your name, so it's really good for quick news. Like it's really good for. That's what news. you need it for. Really, isn't it? really good. And yeah, um, I, I like that side of it. it can but be I a bit of a murky place, though. Well, yeah. And before we... Wordle, what else were you going to do on the toilet? <laughs> Wordle. But you yeah. don't play Wordle. Yeah, oh, Wordle, Wordle, Wordle is amazing. Wordle like, is the morning, the morning constitutional, isn't it? Yeah, that is what you do. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I've never yeah, played it. Uh, okay. It looks. It looks yeah. It looks I'm, I'm going to get my ton up. I've got. I'm on 85, not out. Well, I'm going to get to 100 and then declare. I think. I, I mean, <laughs> I couldn't yeah. possibly do. That. I, lo I lost my. Uh, All right. My street listen, there's drunk. been some chat about Santini. This, you listen, that's the story, isn't it, with Santini? Nicky Henderson doesn't so have a run in the national. So that is cruel, isn't it? I mean, and, and listen, Santini was thought to be the worldie at one point. Mm. You know, he came up against Delta Work, didn't he? Of course, by on top of the game, we haven't seen Cincinnati RSA a couple back, and he just went a little bit. Well, he was I saw second. someone call him HMS Santini, which I thought was a little bit, oh, a bit harsh. The thing it? is, well, the, the, uh, I only bring this out when it's convenient because spoiler, he might turn up in the one, two, three, four somewhere. Um, oh, I've got a feeling but, he might. Um, the Gold Cup that he, he should have won, Albin Photo's second Gold Cup, it was a speed Gold Cup. They, went, they, they quickened it from about four out, and he still shaped like the best horse in that race. Would have won it in a few more strides, so he's not that 2019. Slow. Well, who was, who was behind him? He had Bristol Demai, Clanders Oboe, Ken Boy, Delta Work, lost in translation. I mean, it's, In the Gold Cup, yeah. yeah it, was it was a, a messy Gold Cup, yeah. that, wasn't it? And, and oh, this, this year's Gold Cup, he was, he was still going well in the Gold Cup this year until he just clattered four out as they were picking it up. So uh, mm. he still retains most of his ability. Mm. Well, those of you that have been with us all week, you would have heard yesterday Nick Schofer was ecstatic to come on the show and tell us about his Friday rides. Let's see what he's got to say about his big one. Great race to be part of. He's had a great preparation, done lots of jumping. Uh, he's got a nice racing weight at Levenstone too. Obviously need a bit of luck, but um, looks like the trip will bring out some improvement. He'll like the ground. Um, on the whole, he's a good jumper, and Polly Gundry's done a great job with him, so fingers crossed. Thank you, Nick. Uh, a little bit more lively than yesterday, I think. Oh, he's, he was, he's getting excited. He was on the diazer time yesterday, safe? wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of a line, wasn't it? A bit, a bit monotone, but uh, it's a good spin, isn't it? And can we, can, we, can, we, can we flirt with the fact that people on this panel quite like him to go well? Yeah, I'm, I mean, he's in my... He's in, I'd say I've got a short list of six, and he's definitely in the six, and I think he will... I think he'll run a big race. I th I, if he... It, it, your first sort of mile will be crucial, because he might 
hate it in a big field. Yeah, of not course. Much for that. But if he handles it and he keeps up for the first mile, he, I, cannot, I cannot see him finishing out the first He's, four or five. He, he was beaten 31 lengths in the Gold Cup, but half of these wouldn't even get oh, around. He, he, got, he got eased off from two out as well, didn't yeah. he? You know, we he was are, still in the frame jumping two, two out. Hours away from Santini. From the 2022. We're two, two and hours Santini, away. Santini, HMS Santini, setting sail. Yeah, on I the feel Grand like National. I've missed a trick. I've not really. Yeah, I, d I haven't got him in my top Coming four, five, or six. Bit, no. he's, he's got a good record. He's won a grade one at the track. He's, he's finished second to uh, Lakeview Lad. He's, uh, he's run very consistently over the past 12 months. He's a stone lower than he was last year. He threw it away behind Lakeview Lad, didn't he? That was the many clouds where they didn't that have any fences. That was one where they didn't have any fences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not San here, I mean, it, Santini was like, what on earth is going on? So mm -hmm. it's... Um, He's just a, he's a very well handicapped quality horse who is actually running up to his, his, uh, his level this season. And he is a bit Balco de Flo in the sense that um, you think, oh, surely he can't win the race, but he's got the ability, once he, if he gets into the rhythm, to keep on cracking. And yeah, he's, he's definitely run to a level that puts him in the mix. Barry Santini, if anyone wants to get involved, what is he on the sports book, please? Oh. A sports book for Santini. Number Let me scroll down. down, <laughs> down, down. Well, he's 40. 40. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you so got on you go. Santini on your didgeridoo? 13, doodah. lucky for some. Uh, I'm a digital dude. I just had um, uh, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Uh, just just keep on grinding, Santini. So what was your dingo? Do what was your disco armor? Will not stay the trip. <laughs> Will not, not stay, stay the, the trip. trip. <laughs> <laughs> Will not stay the trip. This is what happens in the Thursday <laughs> Fair, Barry. When <laughs> you come over <laughs> our local, <laughs> we're going to be singing and, and rocking and rolling. Uh, Barry, it's been a great week so far. How's the liquidity looking for the national? Then the biggie, two hours away. Yeah, two bang on, just a little over two, or just a little under two hours away. Currently, four point two million traded just in the win market, Dave. So wow. yeah, wow. you expect that to be double. Uh, maybe hit the rent ten million mark. Come uh, quarter past five. And um, uh, brilliant. On the you know, I'm, we are on the a Betfair exchange show, and I'm trying not to be too sort of uh, puffing up all of it. But it's remarkable that even in the Grand National, the the book here is 103 percent still. <laughs> wow. And it will be off time. It'll be 105. Maybe off time. It's the market, isn't it? As we keep great, telling you, it's a great show. Barry's going to teach you. You'll all be about coming back, it. Melrose. <laughs> you will now be coming back, Quizmaster. Quite right. Absolutely. Uh, it's uh, what, what are we going to get you back for? The summer plate. The uh, the <laughs> sprints in which you put your hat in for. I've told, I've told Russell to do sprinters this year. The sprinters. Are you? Yeah, yeah. because everybody yeah, else. You did the stayers last year, which is very much up your street. Yeah, well, no, I've got, I've got, I've got that, bored of watching two minutes of dawdling and a minute of sprinting. So yeah. I'm just going to do just the minute of the sprinting. sprinting. Yeah. Minute yeah. Of sprinting just has a five now. furlong sprint at <laughs> Thirsk is being replayed. And this grey horse goes out like a light. Mm. Well, as the, the, the front runner gets headed and comes back again. That's what I was saying to. Uh, yeah, front runners. I'm, 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 not, I'm taking notes all the time. I'm still. I'm not, we're not there yet, are we? I'm not quite. Can I give you a quote from Alan King? Edward Stone, Lee Motter's heads up there all week for us, senior writer at the Racing Post. Alan King says, I think he has run his race. I think we just found the winner. Gentleman to me is a very good horse and perhaps a fresher horse as yes. well. The best on the day is one, but I'm thrilled with Edward Stone. So you should be. A little bit fresher by, what was it, 5th of March, was it, um, Gentleman to me? It's a hell of an exam, the article, isn't it? We forget about that. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I think so. Well, Gentleman yeah. to me has had, he's had quite a few races this year, but... Only two of them really counted. The other ones he was learning, the uh, learning on the job. Shall yeah, we say. absolutely, and that's why <laughs> you know. Lovely. Like, that's like so many of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Then he got the job. You're the gentleman about that. All right, three thirty-five. <laughs> it is uh, from one Cheltenham favourite to another. Barry Edwards don't didn't pull it off. Can Flooring Porter do the double? Yeah, he's two four six at the moment, so six to four to do the double day. Time Hill four point one four six champ sire de brule, which we have in our lucky fifteen is twenty three. He's only a couple of lengths to find with him on running of the stairs hurdle in twenty twenty one. Sire de brule, and he was very unlucky in the fur temps as well. He got wiped out at the at the fourth hurdle and dropped right back to, to the tail of the field. I mm. uh, expect he'll be there or thereabouts, but he's in the lucky fifteen. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to take on Flora and Porter. Um, be a layer at two. We'd set our own odds here, actually, please, Keith. Looking to lay him at 240. He was 2.50 just a couple of minutes ago. So the money he is coming from is 2.40 now. We'll lay him at that price. We'll take uh, 100 quid of the backer stake out of him. Time Hill only has two lengths, a little over two lengths to find with him on the Cheltenham running. Champ is a grade one um, novice hurdle winner here. 
uh, over three miles at the track. And like I said, sorry to Boulay, not without a chance. So I think on this track, it doesn't play his flooring quarter strength in that, you know, he's not going to get a breather into him at the, at, at the way he did in Cheltenham. Danny Mullins at the top of the hill. And he's going to have to really go hard from the front here. And Molly Ollie's wishes could potentially take him on as well early doors. So uh, happy to be a layer of floor and porter here at the price. Yes, all right then, Barry. So we successfully got um, Edward Stone beaten in in the without market. Going for the juicy lay then of... Um, Flooring Porter here. Could he be taken on? There's a lot spoken about that, isn't there? And we said that there's a non-runner in Ashdale, Bob, who certainly is a heart in his sleeve sort of horse. And he was he was the most likeliest to take on Flooring Porter, actually. Um, so you know. so what is going to take? Is there anything? Is there anything that's going to take him on here? Well, this is the on paper again, isn't it? Let's mm. let's see what might take him on on paper again. I can't see anything really. Says, Maybe Molly Ollie's. Ollie's, yeah, Ollie's, 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 yeah. Ollie's. Yeah. You like Molly, don't I you? I do. I Would, do. Molly or Ollie? Could could they do something? Would you wish for? Eh? Molly or Ollie? Do you like Molly or Ollie? You're both you like. Molly oh, right, Ollie. yeah, wishes. I know oh, you've been yeah. in the tent overnight, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got the commentary to come now. It's sub two hours. Is there a possibility that? that. <laughs> well, I so, would. What section of the I course would. have we given Nat to commentate on? She's by the way? doing the one after Valentine's down at the Melling Road. Keith took this very seriously. Uh, I was watching Old Nationals this morning to prepare. <laughs> I was, yes, honestly. Of course you I were. Watched I knew you want to get me started. I watched Aldenity's National. Yeah. I watched Red Marauders yeah. National, and I forgot that Tony O'Hare's box wasn't working. And I watched, uh, I watched Amberley House's National as well. Oh, oh very my God, Amberley yeah. House. Oh, Liam Cooper gross. made a massive pig's eat of that. <laughs> Did you forget Little Amberley you? House. I forget, yeah, I've forgotten how, how, how uh, overexcited he got. Who else has been watching back old Nationals then? I must admit, I haven't really done it, but they're all, it's all up there. And how Amberley House came from out of the sky, that, that, was, that was just absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> Graham Lee, of course, riding that. Um, all right, let's go down the panel then with some tips here. Flooring Porter then. Will he be taken on? Won't he? Will he win, Ross Brightley? I mean, he probably should win. Um, he probably should win. He's he's had a, a, a bit of a... We're talking about horses with hard seasons. He's not had that hard a season, has he? This is only his fourth, uh, fourth start. He should have won at Navan. He was caught napping at, at Leperstown. They gave him a break. He's had three months off, and he came back and dominated at Cheltenham. I think he probably will win. Um, I think he is the, 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 the best staying hurdler comfortably uh, in, uh, in training. Um, but... Yeah. And, and you look at the others, you think Sider, Burley and Champ, they're good horses, but they're 10 years old and, and they're, they're priced up like they, uh, Champ in particular, like, like he, he might improve again here or something like that. So um, I've had uh, tiny little bets. The one I thought was a little bit interesting in particular was Kashari, um, who is a 10 year old, but I'd much rather back that one to sort of finish in the first three or four than be back in Champ or Time Hill at the prices. Um, it was a former uh, 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 Mullins horse, wasn't it, uh, to mm. Kachari? Yes, um, Rich Ritchie. We've, yeah. we've got a scarf, actually. We have got we? a scarf we're, there. But like, like, I mean, he sold him and we <laughs> chucked the scarf on the floor, so that's the balanced <laughs> it out. Um, but it carried a monster weight to win here at Aintree um, at, uh, at 80 to 1. Watch that stairs hurdle back last time out. Yes. a blinder. He does catch the eye coming into yeah, home straight, doesn't he? an absolute he? blinder. So yeah. I think that um, there's a potential back at a more suitable track on, on ground that will absolutely suit him perfectly. I think Kashani's going to outrun his odds, so that's the main each way play. But I do think Florian Porter should win. He beat a Day Sharaba, didn't he? I was yeah, trying yeah. to think how to pronounce that um, when he won. At, was it a November meeting, probably? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he's, again, I mean, he, he runs he, in the Nash. And that was his first run since right. November. So again, he's another horse who is a little bit fresh. And again, he's 10 years old, rated right 152. I'm not, he shouldn't beat Florian Porter in any, any reasonable universe. However, I think this track will, and this race should suit him. So I'd rather be hitting the frame on him. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm playing it pretty similar. I think Florian Porter's hard to beat in all respects. Um, I personally love the way he jumps. He jumps so well. A real classy mm. hurdler to me. He reminds me of a lion when he jumps for him, Paul, you know. He's he, just got that sort of No, he's awesome. Like. He's awesome. <laughs> I, I personally... I just can't knock it. It's just you two. You only feel I in there when you did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't forget, I know how to play a lion. And then he went, from, the lion. Then he went, he went from a lion to a, to a panther. I played mm. the lion in The Wizard of Oz at, We've a, seen at a capacity we... theatre. I can. <laughs> capacity. <laughs> the Wickham Swan, the High Wickham Swan. Thousand people watched me do that. Thousand you have a big people. Name. Memories. I, of course I did. I played the lion. You played the lion, of course yeah. you did. Just oh, no, the cowardly lion. It didn't give me a mean. I was a lion, but it didn't give me a mean. I don't even think they cast for it or auditioned. 
the acting line. could have been so good, you, 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 you know, you didn't even need in to. In a past life, indeed, I did that. I mean, to be you... fair, we've got we've got Dorothy in here oh, no, today. I have. mean, so we have. Uh, are you the tin man? Who's, I'm, I'm, the tin man. I'm very like, much lacking a heart. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> without question, the scarecrow. The hair is up. What there. did the scarecrow lack again? What was it? Green, I'm afraid. Was it? Fair. It's in there, but it's turned to mush. So flooring port is hard to beat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, and I play it a little bit similar to Ross, but um, you're what, Kashari, I'm actually on Molly Ollie's wishes. Okay. Each way, each way, do not think. For the forecast? Mm, maybe. Just but for the, mainly for the place? I just think opinion think for run. important okay. wins, but I think as a good each way, I do. You'd be playing Molly in the four places on the exchange, then, yeah? I'd be playing Molly. All right. Uh, Barry, I'm looking at the market, and it looks like that they, they, they are maybe on the JP thing, I don't know, but Champ's coming in for money, isn't he? Of course, he is, of course, winner here. Yeah, a couple of years back at Grade One, winning novice hurler, he was um, he's four point five. There was a few quid matched on him at five point seven on the exchange. Currently trading a bang on seven to two hundred thirty four point three time hill, two point three eight two three six now flooring porter. So the three at the top of the market are, are steady at that. I don't see any mad fluctuations between now and post time, and it's twenty three bar. OK, thanks, Barry. I'm, I, I, again, Tommy looks a little bit weak, of course, last year's winner. He came in mad fresh, didn't he, last year? I thought it was mm. a toss-up between the, you know, you know, the, the first two uh, you know, in the stairs, and I, I came down on him a bit. I think he's probably... I know he has run uh, and won at Cheltenham, but I just think this entry is a right he is a, He's win. clearly an entry horse, isn't he? He's clearly an entry horse. Well, it's just the way he goes about things is entry-like, isn't it? It's yeah. just... Yeah, he just... He cruises in and you try and hold on to him as long as you can, and then you know he's got a wee bit of speed. But I think he's a borderline short runner, isn't he? He's a what? Borderline short runner. Like he only just gets three miles, doesn't he? Time though. Well, I mean, you say that, but then when, in the, when he won this, mm. he beat Roxanne. I mean, he he pulled out plenty and he kept it's, on grinding for second last time out as well. I he, I think the thing with Time Hill that I don't think he has is an immediate change of gear, which is a three mile hurdler. So he, he travels and then you think, oh okay, and he starts to go through the gears. And it just takes him a bit longer than okay. it should do. If he had a slightly quicker change of gear, I think he would be a genuine. I mean, I assume I've people. never done the the numbers on it, but the 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 stairs hurdle there that was more of a test of speed, wasn't it? It was a very steadily yeah. run race. I mean, I, I just looked it, so I've never. I assume that's what it was. And I, I my sort of logic was Time Hill ran so well because he had that. He had a relative speed test at three miles and it helped him. But then I watched back the replay and I thought that was the case. I thought everyone else would be really like, oh, in another stride he'd be swamped for fifth or something mm. like that. But he wasn't. He kept going and going. And that, that, that was the thing that surprised me a little bit. Um, so I, I, I don't think he's... Anywhere else, I don't think he'd be necessarily good enough, but this is his race, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you know I think it's funny about this time of year, though? Like, I, I always say I just adore looking at them in the paddock, but, you know, because of the time of year and when the spring... I know we've had cold nights, but the spring weather's coming. Like, they all look tremendous. Mm. I always forget what a unit champ is. And so I then <laughs> see him again and go, he's a unit. I mean, he is so strong. Florian Porter looks absolutely cracking. We, I mean, we were talking about this off-air earlier. Oh, a bit buzzy, though. <laughs> about Henderson... I mean, can you name a small Henderson chaser? You never look at Henderson no. chaser and think, oh, there's not much scope there. He They're just always has monsters. Such a type. Like, you yeah. can you out? Like, they are so, um, yeah, refined. Um, a heavyweight. Feline, so heavyweight like, but they're, yeah, but they're just so, he's got so, they're all, they're all pretty, he doesn't have many ugly ones. No, no. They're, they're all pretty good looking, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're, they're all um, very uh, Muhammad Ali esque. Yes. Is it the only the big ones that he sends chasing? Is that. Part of the thing, because he he, he's famed no, more for his hurdler. Yeah, he's famed for his hurdlers. Does he not? He only sends a big one chasing, is what I assume. Yeah. Fair point. Yeah, you've, you've, he's punctured that balloon, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> has. No one's someone, arguing. Me. Someone in the chat says that Keith does indeed resemble the Tin Man. Um, Marco T out there says so. You, is you, know, if Marco you... T was commenting on my attire this morning. I check the comments, Marco. <laughs> we all read them. <laughs> it's a lot of Easter's out It's there. great to all have, to have you out there. The numbers are uh, absolutely superb today, and it's going to get more, <laughs> bigger and bigger and bigger, isn't it? Like the liquidity on the exchange, so will the numbers. And get involved. Let us know you're out there. You can do so, of course, on YouTube. You have to like and subscribe on that to get involved in the chat. Our regulars are out there. There's been loads of newbies this week as well. And great to have you along. You can do it on Facebook Live as well. And, of course, loads of those Twitter clips. Ben Blackmore clipping them up, head of the social team. Uh, Ben's, Ben's been uh, poking, poking at people. He, he clipped up the Sprinter Soccer quote earlier. 
you know, he... get started the race about who's the best. Ah. Because Ben knows who's the best to be always always gets it going. Yeah, quite right. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to be giving people... our top fours in the national as well, aren't we? Oh, we should really be doing fourth by now, Dave. I don't know. Do we want the top fours? We've got an hour. We've got an hour. We've got an hour. Should we save them for the fourth remember, I'm having um, Are you slightly, you're slightly worried just, just how keen Florian Porter is? Just well, the people that can't see the pictures. We're it's hone in on this, Nat, yeah. because they, this is what everyone... I mean. Yes, but people can't see what we can see, so just to describe yeah. to me, he's got his, he's he got his hood on, but he is pulling for his head so, so hard that it's not the dream. This is not ideally... Yeah, I mean, he's absolutely trying to run through his bit, and he's also got the bit you remember he won with the ring as well at Cheltenham so. last year, and then pulled up, of course, at Punchestown, didn't he? Behind uh, classical drinks, so a lot look, of people. That, 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 that hood's oh, coming off, that. right? Yeah, the red hood. Yeah, 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 yeah that's just. Am I go, am I no, going that's now? just they, oh, the red ones always like basically. So you can uh, watch like them, alarm it? bells, like hello, it's in the prelim, just to try and calm down with the ears on. It's not working, is it? No. Mm. May as well go in the bed in that one. Not working. Is Champ the hardest horse to, you know, in racing to figure out? Says Dugu Ixuru. Could so this one. track just suit him? Yeah, he's another Champ. angel. Yeah, he's yeah. another angel horse potentially. It's, yeah, it was a great ride. I know he was favourite when he won the Sefton or whatever it was, uh, the three mile novice. But it was such a good ride that day. I mean, that whole, that whole race was about him settling, wasn't it? Or, or was it, is he going to settle because he, he pulled his chance away a bit in the Ballymore? And he just he did settle that day, and that's the day he knew he was a steer. But um, yeah. it was a shock in Sefton, though. But still, it we're was watching the pure, replay yeah. of uh, the stairs, and he just goes away again, doesn't he, before him, Porter? Oh. But it, will, is he buzzing it away? Was the market? I mean, the best. So time going. Hill outstays. You know what I mean? Like in here, like yeah, no, he's he's off the bridle before they turn in. Yeah. So you're right. I think you're right, actually. I think he runs a massive. We're watching the replay race. if you're watching us. So we were just watching it. I don't know. I mean, on that evidence, you know, mm. Florian Porter, it is obviously not his stopping, race to but, lose. No, yeah. he's not. He's not stopping. But, but will he be able to time it like this around Angel? We'll see. Now the hood's off, he looks I mean, a little he, bit more tractable, doesn't he? he yeah. And he, while he's got a groom as well, uh, got hold of him on the lead rope, just saying, listen, you, he, he's, <laughs> take a chill pill for a minute, right? Yeah. I mean, basically, he, he, he's, Florian Porter, he's a bit of an all or nothing horse in the sense that it either, it either goes absolutely perfectly, 100%, everything goes to plan, and yeah. he goes, I'm the best horse in, in, in training over this trip, or... He, it's, he gets left at the start, like he'd be on Classical Dream, or he falls. It, it's never, it's never like, oh, he's gone down fighting and everything's gone to plan, but he's got beaten. Mm. If it goes, he either wins or he's got a viable excuse every time. Um, I have to quickly mention Thomas Darby as well, who's another one we should probably Whoa. throw into the mix. I, again, I don't think he'll win, but he was third in this last year um, and he sprang up a bit of a surprise at Newbury. And I, again, we're talking ground and track. He is much, much better at this kind of uh, at this kind of track, at this kind of year, on this kind of on ground. Mm. I don't think he'll necessarily win, but if he's ever going to get into the frame like he did last year, this is his. This is absolutely his race. Okay, there's a social coming up. Seamus Moore, welcome back, Seamus. He says, should be interesting after the last race. I think Champ will do it. Ten-year-olds don't have a great record in this race, but Barry thinks one of them will do it. Side of Burley, just to remind you. Barry, then, we've spoken. We've seen him down at the start. Where is he now in the market, the flooring? It, it's the exact same, Dave. 2.4 now, flooring Porter, what he was. That's the price we've laid him at. 4.4 four, Tyne Hill and 4.5 Champ at 22 bar. 21 now, Shard of Brule. Mm. Uh, Molly Ollie's which is at 20. Thomas Darby, friendless, out to 38. Is Tom O'Brien lining up to spoil this a little wow. bit? Wow. He's right at the front, isn't he, Tom? Oh, he is, yeah. Would they have thought about this? You don't think, can I just think about this thing? I think maybe... Uh, Darren Walker also on Champlet. Good luck, Darren. Four to one. Is Tom O'Brien as his aim just to make sure Mullins doesn't get it all his own way? Got to be. Yeah. You know, just he won't necessarily take him on as such. He'll just be like, no, you're not going to do that. You know, I'll get up you. I'll get up your inside. I'll give you a bit of a bustle. Mm. But it's a con it's a concerted uh, it's a concerted decision clearly isn't it? Mm. That's 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 a two it. four four off the back of the way mm. they're lining up here on the exchange for yeah. reporter. Yeah, because it is a you know a matter of conjecture. You know, a lot of people debating whether we will be allowed to dictate like he did two four in six. The I mean, okay. I've, I've put up a little, I mean, I've, I don't know if I've done my thing. I think Claudian Porter's going to win because he is the most talented horse in the division. But I would just have a wee. Did Barry, Barry, you quite like Sire de Berley. I, I think he might have a big run in him here because, uh, yeah, Claudian Porter, yeah, you've, you've heard the case for him. I was just putting in a wee word as well for Sire de Berley. I think they've not known quite what to do with him this season. They've never quite got his conditions, and he's a sort of horse that will suit a nice long straight at entry. He had a nightmare, didn't he, in the, uh, the attempts? Yeah, he's just not yeah, had anything for his way this season. No, it's not worked out. You know, he's been placed in a world hurdle, a uh, stairs hurdle. And, uh, he's only a couple of lengths behind Florian Porter. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So he's yeah. not. Uh, I, I think he's he's got a reasonable. I put him up in a tipping comp that I do because I'm way behind. 
Uh, <laughs> and I needed a, a six to four shot wasn't going to do me any good, so I put up the twenty shot. I gave a wee squeak to, uh, and that was sad to belly. So a wee word for him as well. But I think Florian Porter deserves to be the price he is. I haven't mentioned Roy Marge either as well. What Marge? Poor old Roy Marge, the horse, the, the fourth reserve for the national when the yeah. front three in front of him got in. Who beat Augusta Gold and the rest, didn't they? Yeah. All right, so they, like the they knew they're fighting. Away we go. And Florian Porter. <laughs> what we going? thought it'd be. Two legs clear. Yeah. He's, uh, he, 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 every time you think someone's going to try and spoil it for him, and Florian Porter says no, thank you. Yeah, see I know ya. exactly what I'm doing here. But yeah, Florian Porter's now got a, a length and a half easy lead out in front. Time Hill uh, is behind them. Ollie's Ollie's wishes. Uh, and uh, following those is the uh, the two JP horses. We've got the white cap of Champ is held up second last. And the, uh, the starred cap of Sire de Burley uh, is on the outside of Thomas Darby. Uh, on the inside rail is Roy Marge. Held up last is Kashari. Uh, for uh, Dennis O'Regan, who uh, again is um, a proper hold-up jockey, if ever you uh, ever you did see one. But Florian Porter, I mean, he should be odds on from here, shouldn't he, Barry? He just about is. Yeah, well, he did. As soon as the flags dropped and and everyone seen him get off to the front, got his two-length lead. He went into one nine nine. He's he's two o two now, so he's just around the even money mark. Four seven um, champ, five time hill. He's he's gone out to five from from four point six off the back of this, and it's twenty three bar. Molly Ollies is right up there as well, Nat. Happy with that? Yeah, ha yes, no, happy with it. It's funny, isn't it, looking at the different actions. Like, Florian Porter's just got that, like we said, jumps brilliantly, but got that real sort of smooth, uh, quick action. Molly mm. Ollies is much more about a high near action, which mm. we see a bit more on the, on the softer ground. But no, look, she's there. Harry's Harry's uh, tracking Florian Porter. So For a clip. Really yeah, they are yeah, 32 not, miles an hour. He's, uh, what, Mullen sort of picked up a little bit coming out of the bend yeah. just to get a wee break on them, and now he'll just... He'll, he'll just, yeah, this is what he does, isn't it? He just, yeah. he'll go up to, he'll go up a couple of miles an hour, drop back a couple, and he, and they kind of, it, kind of concertina in behind him. So this is the benefit of leading. There's something that yeah. beautiful that Ruby says that I'm not going to be able to, you guys might be able, because I've got a terrible memory, but it's something like so, uh, he says something so beautiful about, about being in the front because the, the, the cleverness of a brilliant, brilliant jockey is dictating the race, but knowing when to let your horse yeah. have a breath and when to ask it to go again and to always be aware. And you're the, and only, jockey that you're, you're the only jockey that's got the luxury of being able to do that when you lead a race. Yeah, and you know, the other jockeys don't have that. No, because they can't. Because the they well, can't. I think it's interesting that a lot, a lot of young jockeys get their uh, on the flat and over jumps. They make their name with well-timed runs from the back. Yeah. Mm. Because actually, going out in front, you need the to have experience. that experience. You need to know. Yeah. Uh, you because you know if you're running for example you can feel it in your own muscles whether you've got enough left you have to know in your nether regions I mean, well if you like yeah <laughs> I tend to I'm go not, I'm, that's no, when I know I'm, when I'm breathing out my legs normally in your lungs yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. coming into the home yeah. straight then for the first time and uh, well yeah he is just skirting around that even yeah. money mark isn't he Barry he's a bit under well, Molly's is there Time Hill just, I how well Time Hill's going Champ catching my eye a little bit as well it's it, it, still solid in the market Champ unlike Time Hill Barry yeah he's at 187 now uh, flooring Porter Hill is at the 6.4 but you know he's going to stay on 5 Champ and it's 25 bar with the favour 4 to 5 now if the, if, if, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about my Molly Ollie's wishes a bit here. I don't know. I'd be happy. Oh, yeah, I I'd don't be know. happy. You don't want to give the you know what we think will probably be the winner, Florian Porter. Now, mm. if put it this way, if gentleman to me right. owed for pleasure a pint. I think uh, Florian Porter is currently owing Ashdale Bob a pint for not uh, <laughs> not turning up here because <laughs> yeah. he's having a lovely time of it. But I mean, he's got he, he's got to be. I'm not going to say can't get beat from here, but there's a, there's only one bet in running, and that's that's you've got the best horse. Uh, in the race, comfortably, he, out in front, doing what he needs to do. And yeah, in his own way. In his own is way. Is anyone else just riding for second place then, right? It's, it, well, it feels like it, isn't like it? A little bit. Like it's, it's, it. it's really quite something to bring up. They know what it is exactly. They're, they're, bringing, they're, they're bringing it on themselves. Well, well, if, he, but, if he mugs them off again, they've only got themselves to blame. But if they come in, yeah, ha having eyeballed him and finished last, and, and that wasn't the plan, because you think, you know, I don't know. But what is the plan? What are you well, calling? They no, probably are riding to instructions. Ride for a place. Well, oh, I can't have. I don't. Think who was so. it saying? Somebody was saying yesterday. I think it was Keely. Was saying, Harry Skelton's trying to Harry's keep him trying, honest now. Yeah. Yeah. Keely was saying this morning, you don't want to be the jockey that eyeballs them. That's because, it. You know, it's your chance that's gone. You might have helped everybody else's chances, It'll but you've done for yours. Journey home well, for the that. Exact track. same thing at this part of the track as he did first yeah. time yeah. around. He's just injected it's the pace there. It's a plan. Yeah, he's, he's got the plan. Three yeah. miles an hour in a staying race. There's only wow, one. There's one jockey in this race with a plan, basically, and he's out in front. But it's still. I mean, they both died that little bit. 
Florian Porter, mm. Molly's Ollie's wishes. Time Hill is, uh, is looking a little bit um, uh, a little bit. Time late Hill's at the hating life, isn't he? He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's running fun. flat after he's Charlie. Uh, oh, Side of Burley, Champ, Roy de Marg, Thomas Darby, Kashari. But Florian Porter is. Uh, Side of Burley. Side of Burley's the one's going to chase. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Surely not. But anyway, Florian Porter's out in front. Side of Burley, Molly's Ollie's wishes. Time Hill going up and down on the spot. Champ, Thomas Darby, Roy de Marg, Kashari. Trouble steering. Yeah, try um, Thomas Darby's tacking the arm, isn't he? Yeah. He's going to go he's back, back on out. the bridle after being off. Florian Porter's going to go back out to even money here, and then in the blink of an eye, he's going to go into one to two. Um, uh, Florian Porter, you heard it early. here first. Absolutely, it happens all the time in these races. It's part of people are running panic and go, Thomas "Oh God, Darby he's getting closed on." Like, have you watched? He has no inner one or two. <laughs> now comes Side of Burley having a go, Ross. Yeah, but uh, Thomas Darby's the big danger, yeah. I think potentially. He likes this trap. Yeah, Side of Burley. Burley will oh, stay, my little Molly's Ollie's just giving. Well, that's right. He'll keep rolling. She's done her running, I think. And they turn into the home straight with three to jump. Trying to keep him honest. Florian Porter, Side of Burley, Time Hill, Thomas Darby. The travel's best, doesn't he, Side of Burley? I think this is over, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's one. He's Six to four on. He's one. Side of Burley's running Florian a blind. Florian Porter up. has had every inch. Uh, oh, he's at three. What? This isn't over. Burley back in second place. Oh, my Hill, goodness. Thomas Darby. Side, get him here. Come this on, isn't over. Maybe it's not over. Look at this. Florian Porter. Where are rubbing his hands? He's going to win this. He's picking up what again. This race. is going to be a great Turn tussle, this. Come on. This is going to be a great tussle. Oh, he's on the jumps. Come on. Oh, oh, he's on the jumps. Oh, he's on the got plenty left, I think. Here comes Side of Burley. Side this of is Burley. remarkable. Mark Walsh. Yeah, he's not Look stopping. Look at this. The hand's in the oh, air. Oh, Marvellous, Barry. Look at this. He's got him up the run a bit as well. Side of Burley. Side of Burley. Someone new out there for you. Who's done the lucky 15, then? The two miles clear of the, oh, champ Ooh. maybe just. Yeah. Distance, a where remote, champ, a modest from, third, then? you would say in the comments. Stewart's, but he's won two lengths, hasn't he? Yeah. He yeah. keeps yeah. it. He will keep that. Post, the post has See all what the, the runner-up did again, what, what he had done in his two wins in Cheltenham. He severely went out yeah. to his left. Yeah, After severely. After the last. Yeah. Erratic, isn't it? The quirk was there. We felt sure. He did get squinched, but he coming to two out, it looked over, didn't it, Barry? But when did the market start to know what you did pre-race? Stevens, your pick at one stay uh, coming to the second last. Um, Florent Porter hit a low of one point three zero, um, one point three zero. So three to one on for Florent Porter. Your winner had a Betfair SP of nineteen point three. <laughs> Tasty. And we get a winner up in our lucky 15. Yes, there it is. To remind you, North Lodge placed. Side of Burley, one. Espada Rome coming up at 4.15. And in the biggie, Longhouse Poet. Tom Siegel put this up, of course, in price wise. Loads of people backing it today. Barry Orr as well in the lucky 15. Nice one, Barry. That's absolutely superb. Yeah, awesome. OK, let's pick through the race then, uh, Keith. <sighs> it was a bit errant, wasn't he, coming to the last? And all that yeah, sort of well, we, we certainly know this horse is got his quirks as a euphemism. I mean, he's half a dog, basically, but he, he, he just threw his head again to the side. He had he got a good ride through the race, and the, the injections of pace, it wasn't as steady a pace as he'd set at Cheltenham, and maybe that meant he didn't have quite as much left at the end. It's not to say that that's compromised his chance, because it actually put him in the position where it needed someone like Sarah Belly to come and get him, but um, Sarah Belly is just a horse that he just rolls and rolls and rolls his horse. Um, so entry suited him nicely. As we sort of said before, he hadn't had things go his way at all this season, but you could tell he fancied it from... He ballooned the first hurdle, I think. But after that, he, uh, he, he just looked like he was in the mood. Um, mm. And from a long way out, he was the only deal challenger. Was the clue in the jockey bookings a bit? What do you mean? Well, Mark, Mark Walsh was obviously on, on, you know... John Joe and Hill Jr. We, 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 There's Mark Walsh champ last three, oh, yeah, okay. three times. Ah, no, he's, he's, he's had so. the ride on champ. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm just a bit surprised because, of course, Mark Walsh was on him, wasn't he, when he won the Sefton here a couple of years ago, and he was a brilliant ride. The clue was in the jockey book, and he wouldn't have gone off a 16 to 1 chance, I'll tell you that. Well, yeah, well, well you are quite right. And again, if you watch the potency, a lot of people with him, with Rob James claiming that magic seven, it just didn't go to plan at Cheltenham, did it? So, uh, well done, Barry. Okay, fair play. Some also rans in that, weren't there? Time Hill, Molly Ollies, they all sort of fell in the hole. Time Hill was the biggest disappointment, wasn't it? Never, never at any point did you think that he, he was enjoying life at all. Came into it mad fresh last year. He's rusty, wasn't he? Mm, and and I, I know I wasn't trying to be negative, but if I was like in running, I would have pulled out my Molly Ollies 
which is because you weren't keen, were you? No, because because she she got run off her feet, and I think um, if it was softer, it would have with that high knee action of hers, poor little thing. I mean, she tried, but she's clearly not going to be any match mm. <laughs> for Roy Portland's side of ballet, and that I was, thought she might pick up the pieces, but but sadly didn't. But um, no, I think yeah, Florian Porter with, with with the quirks, it's something to be wary of. I don't like that erratic jink out to the. I don't. I, it comes. I mean, it, it comes with that. We know that, don't we? We, we talked about. We've got an even more uh, striking example of a talented Fruit Loop in the three mile hurdlers division, haven't we, Ross? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's a talented Fruit Loop division, though, isn't it? It That's really why is. I quite like it. Classical dreamy, you yeah. mean? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it is a it's a bowl of Fruit Loops, isn't it? But um, <laughs> yeah. but it's quite. It's, that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. Who's because the up and comer in this division then? Uh, what one of the three? Well, there's what one of the three? No, the it was nice guy. Mullins, so, yeah. the nice guy. Mm. Nice guy. Yeah, and he's he, he he's getting on a bit as well, isn't he? Yeah, he was seven, seven years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could stay in the division, couldn't he? North Lodge is set to stay hurdling, by the way, I'm hearing. Is that what you said? Going to go down the handicap division and get that experience into him and do a sort of Edward Stone. Yeah, Edward Stone. Yeah, sounds like yeah, it. Yeah. What won the three mile yesterday? Well, if it's working as uh, well for Kiki, then... Of course, they're not chasing. Yeah, what Jolino, was it? Jolino Bello. Jolino Bello. Jolino Bello, you're <laughs> certain to go chasing, isn't he? All Side right. of him, he was just towering over them yesterday, wasn't he, Jolino Bello? Oh, who's a bit, def- who's a bit uh, deflated then after flooring Porter? Who had followed him, Barry? No, so what, so, 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 uh, what did I say pre the show when I saw Barry's picks today? I was like... You liked him. Yeah, I was like... A good Barry, feeling about I it. I did, I said, Barry's going to have a good day you today. You're about in the National Island. I've got a long house. He's part of your four. Yeah. All right. And it's not something I particularly Jeez. like, the sort of punters bookies narrative, but it certainly, uh, punters certainly seem to be on the floor a little bit with the last couple of results have been, haven't there? You know, we've got we've got two hot horses, and I'm not really one for short price fabs normally, but I struggled to get either Edward Stone or Florian Porter beat, and they've both been beat. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> and now we've got now we've, some certainty in the in the per temps to winner, was he? Poor. Things had a gun as <laughs> With way, the seven man. off his back, the win my wings seven. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. Rob James. He's been booked for Win My Wings again, you know, Barry. Uh, that's that's running in the bit is yeah, five, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was, it was the rain didn't help him either, did it? Um, at, uh, at Cheltenham, it was a it was a pretty. He was nearly brought down at the port. Yeah, but I mean, as in, like, it was pretty poorly timed for him anyway. They must have thought, oh, fuck. it helped your third wins on your Alpha Leaps, but there's some connection inside of Burley in particular. Like, oh, this is not this is not what we need right now because yeah. he is he does like a sounder surface. We've got a little bit of a wait until the, well, we're about half an hour until the next race to 4.15 with another hot pot in it. There is your bet, Ferris P, then, as Barry said, and there is a reminder. Really? Is he under 3-1? to one? Who? Chamblou. Yep. Did in the next me. race coming up, to a lot of people's eyes, looks a very tricky renewal. It's, it's the, a uh, great race. It's an underrated race. Mild, See if this wasn't on Grand National Day. It would, it would get a lot. Of, it's not even got a proper name, has it? It's not like got a registered name, this race. Future national... Winners run in this race. Uh, like it's don't, a race. Push it, yeah, yeah. don't push it. Don't push it. Run on it. Uh, I mean, that, Richard Patrick never made it to a national, but he was he was that he, sort of horse. Thomas Patrick. Thomas Patrick. Yeah, sorry. Richard Patrick. Kill the Sark. Of course, won this. Kill the Sark. Kill the Sark. Won it. Yeah. Happy go lucky national. last year was unfortunately ruled out, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. He could still be a national horse. Well, Snow Leopardess was battered out of sight in this. Saint R second in the Nash. Two. Can you? I remember it was etched on my brain that one. I I I took a lot of time to. Get that defeat out of my head. Shall I tell you why? Pinot de Ray? Mm, no, but you've got the right jockey. Oh, what was the other one? Um, oh, no. no. What was it? What was it? Who before? beat St. R in the Nash? Oh, I can remember it. Oh, it's St. R and R. Uh, that was well, that? I, oh, everyone loves Many Clouds, of course. Yeah, it was it Many Clouds, wasn't it? Except you. <laughs> Are you all right, mate? That's a long time ago. Oh, that's painful Seven memory. years Who, ago, that. Let, 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 let's do this. Worst national memory. Worst you national memory. You always say about the best national memories. Worst Sunny, national memory. Sunny Hands Hill boy. down, this is punting-wise, of course. Punting-wise. Hands down, St. R finishing second to Many Clouds. Yeah. I'll tell you why now. I sat <laughs> on the London Racing panel 2015. with Leighton Aspel. Yeah. Uh, Pre-Nash, it would have been the Tuesday or the Wednesday of that week, Kate Austin's great London racing panel, which Lee Mott said is the chair of. Loads of watchers uh, that we get out there watch this show. Um, a part of that, I sat on that panel. You might remember, I gave you Sirius Darius. Do you remember that? It was all going so well. I came off that panel buzzing after <laughs> Sirius Darius. When everyone was messing me, going, that was great tip, though. Uh, here we go. Uh, Marco T, the jockey, gave it a breather two out, and he should have kicked on it. Instead of the breather, in my opinion. Not happy with the ride, Marco T. Well, interrupting there, Marco, my very good tale about many clouds and saying, oh, I'll get back to it, don't you worry. Mm. 
Uh, do, do anyone concur with that? Or Danny Mullins did pretty much what he did at Cheltenham, didn't yeah. he? Okay. Yeah, I, 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 wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting much blame on Are Danny Are you going to get the stopwatch out for that bad boy? Uh, no. No. No, he's All doing right. the sprinters. No. Exactly. I, I won't need to do that until November. So, in... When did Many Clouds win? 2016? 2015. 2015. 2015. So, that, 2015, I sat on the London Racing Panel. Leighton Aspel next to me. First time I really met Leighton. And uh, I said to him, you know, Hemmings, Many Clouds, fancy it? Over the top, he said. Don't tell anyone, he sort of said just before we went on, over the top. In fact, I think he was quite negative on it, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I'm thinking, I can get that one beat, happy days. He lumped a mark of 160 to success. He did, yeah. yeah. Still yeah, the yeah. best in the last 10 years. Uh, the highest is. mark on the winner. That no, is that is, is 160. Is one, yeah. Tiger Roll 159, but 160. Yeah, yeah but Tiger Roll's performance when he won it in 2020. It's the Delta better. work mark this time better. around, isn't it? So he put me off it, three out. You can watch this. Oh, I remember. On your members club. I watched this. Uh... Paddy Brennan is looking round on Saint R, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I've got the lot again. I've got the absolute lot. And all of a sudden, coming to the coming to the last, Paddy starts running on. No, no, no! You <laughs> told me want... and everyone at the London Race Club, this can't win. You don't want they Paddy thought Brennan, he was right? over the that top was, after Chelsea. I, 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 I remember that. Really. I remember them jumping three out and I, Paddy looks around. Like he's clouds. confident as you yeah. like. I was watching Who it looks car, around in a national there? And I said to her, I said, "It's you, McCoy." I can't remember seeing St. Arnold going that well. He was going that well. Sh shut the front door was on was McCoy's ride, and he was tanking as well, wasn't the he? The two of them went clear. Oh, it's etched on my retinas. Yeah. I remember it well. Worst punting memory in the National. I don't, have that, many, I don't have that many bad ones in the National. I know that I've heard so many people that back what's up boys, and I still to this day cannot fathom how he didn't. He, he was scoring so well. But I didn't who did Neptune beat? Remind me who Neptune beat. Oh, that's yeah, got, that's yes. the worst one because I. That would be because it was well, to gauges for the photo, didn't it? Well, I was in. in, in you knew though. I was at William Hill Radio, and we were doing the National that day, and everyone. <laughs> Every single person in there had backed Sunny Hill Boy for, for weeks and weeks, and it was it was a it was a collective despair. Uh, every single person in that room went ah, and then <laughs> it was like it was like the, 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 the we'd all gone off a, a cliff or something. It was it was horrible. There was just dread. It was you know I, the only thing I can liken it to is we uh, I once was on a plane and we were supposed to be landed into Las Vegas airport and at the very last minute they had to abort the landing and go back into the air and it was like that exact same feeling where everyone went <laughs> <laughs> and everyone I you in that say studio you ended up in Arkansas or something like that instead of Vegas no we were inches away from the, the, the tarmac and we had to go straight back up and everyone sat there like <laughs> what's happening what has just happened what's happened That's it was exactly a really long photo call that one it was painful it? and everyone I mean I'd only had a, I had to have a bet on it because everyone else had backed it, but the my, my boss at the time had it for about I think probably about five grand or oh, something no. stupid ah. like that. Well, you, look, it's the race where you can get the Painful. riches, isn't it? Uh, worst punting memories in the national. Think, that would be mine. Then say mine might have been Kappa Blue when he was second to run his encore. I wondered got when done by Kappa Blue was going to get a mention. Sixes, you know, I, I, th I really fancied him, and he got Boston he got to win yeah, and he got, yes. got done to by you know, used to ride sixty six to one Your shot. Pal Burton. Yeah. Yeah, any, any... That was my best, one of my best Cheltenham memories, actually. Yeah, any... Um, near not, misses? Not re um, probably m my near miss or one that I regret the most was probably um, one for Arthur. Because I just... One of my best ones. Yeah, was it? Because, yeah, it's like... A, a lot of the family were all, oh, it's going to run up. Like, honestly, there's really good vibes back at the yard. And I... Why was I so dismissive? I don't know. I just... I couldn't... Get yeah. on the bandwagon, really. Every then, time that horse ran that season, it just improved a stone yeah. from, from out of nowhere. Yeah, but why did I? Just I just, missed, all over again, I just exactly, missed yeah. the trick with it, though. Like, and I was annoyed, annoyed myself, and I did exactly the same with Corrin Rambler. Darren Walker <laughs> joins the party. <laughs> Darren, good to have you back. My worst national moment, Sunny Hill uh, Boy. There yeah. you go with Ross. Though on Manella Times at 16 to 1 last year. And of course, as Barry told us yesterday, no surprise to see the money was coming. Was anyone here on Manila Times again. last year? No, no. Not me. We were all on an I backed him at Leopardstown when he yeah, got nothing. So was I. I was on an end second now. I, I can't. I just I was... couldn't have him stay. No, I know. Couldn't don't. have no, him stay. I, I couldn't. He'd only run twice on over three miles under rules before. I, I said exactly the same. Year. And then everyone, like, I got so many texts saying, oh, bet you back, Rachel, didn't you bet you? And I was like, that. Oh. Dan Walsh in the studio says, not for me though, mwahaha. Uh, of course, Sunny Hill Boy for the many. It must have been on Neptune, I, I guess. On Neptune. Oh. It's, my, it's my smuggest Grand National. Is it? I backed them both. <laughs> Did you really? I them both. Yeah, so I'm sitting there going, I don't care what went. I think Neptune's a very yeah, slightly better result, but I couldn't oh, care yeah. what went. Oh, yeah, who's had 
you know, if you bat four in it, like we're giving the top four, who's had four? Has anyone had the trifectas out there and things like that? Well, like I said to you, off air, I, I, the, the year uh, Comply or Die won, uh, Slim Pickens yeah. was third. Who else was in that? Oh, uh, second was King John's Castle. Yes, that fourth is. was. You've watched oh, it. It was Buddy well, Gerrity, it, it was an orange colours. That was Slim Pickens. And Slim Pickens was white and oh, blue. That, yeah, no, it was yeah. another horse. I don't remember, I've pictured the colours. Oh, it was, um, wasn't it a Whaley Cohen horse? Wasn't it another Whaley Cohen? That's good time, that was another, yeah, year. That was another year. Hang on, I'm okay, getting this, don't worry, I'm with you. He won the Ida, didn't he, pre-coming in, and he well, had about well, a stone on his well, back. Uh, King John's Castle was second. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, Slim Pickens was fourth. Oh, yeah, Beulies Berry was the horse. Remember that name? The yeah. yeah. Snowy Morning, wasn't it? Snowy yeah. Morning. Yeah. So, so basically, I, again... Well, he's just got such a good record, hasn't he, over those fences? Well, but my, my, my mum rang me up and said, oh, we're, we're around at your granddad's. Uh, we're all having a national bet. What do you fancy? I said, oh, I've had a really good bet on Slim Pickens. I think everything's right for him. She went, oh, right, well, your nan's picked out King John's Castle. I quite fancy Slim Pickens as well. You had the top four? My sister's my sister oh, went for no. Snowy Morning and my, uh, and my granddad went for the uh, for Comply or Die. Really? So they were, they were like, I was like, oh, great. Well, you know, good luck to you. Oh, maybe, I said, maybe you should have the tricast. Ha, 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 <laughs> And then they finished one, two, three, four. I think it was, I'm in the wrong job Something here. tells me you're a bit bitter about that. You're not telling it too fondly, that moment. Well, it's more, they, they, they wrote me up and went, oh, isn't that funny? And I was like, do you realise how impossible... <laughs> That four people can get in a room, pick one horse and have the first four home in the national. We could have been millionaires. I know. Yeah, all right, fair enough. All what right. did the TriCast pay? Did you have that up there? No, that was ridiculous. While you're getting that up, get, get, get that up, because I'm going to tell you, we've got a figure. I've been, I've been buzzed by Matt Gardner, our Ooh, handicapper. Oh, handicapper. Handicapper. He doesn't do the novice chasers now, it's now Johnny, but uh, he said that there is there is a provisional figure on Gentleman Demi. Go on. One, six, nine. No. Lower. He's put in one six one, five. One six five. Yeah. And the same as Edward Stone. Fair enough. Uh, the Tricast, by the way, paid. Yeah. That's uh, interesting, isn't it? It is an interesting one. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. So one of those two. Not playing the RPR game, by the way. Some of my fads. Trifecta. The Trifecta that year paid four thousand six hundred sixty-four pounds. <laughs> Just to wrap it in. All right, great stuff. No, 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 National big, memories. Really. They would have like uh, compared our seven one joint five. Seven twenty still got aggressive. Yeah. but I mean, still. I mean, you can. Good. Good luck. You're yeah. very oh, studious yeah. then, Nat. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't have any <laughs> internet oh, yeah. or 4G for... Oh, did it go down again? Absolutely ages, and I was just re-looking Bruce, yesterday, the results. Uh, Barry, do you remember? He was trying to back one, wasn't he? He couldn't quite get on it. I don't think it, it was. It was a long press. Long press. Oh, oh, blimey. Memories. Oh, goodness gracious me. Paul's had a great week, but Brave Man's Game. Loads of people phoned me this morning. What happened there? Have we had a, have we had a debrief about it? Did he say run his, he was ready for Cheltenham, wasn't it? Or something like that, Paul said, in our quotes, I think, about Brave Man's. Brave Man's got, yeah, he, Paul said he left his race at Cheltenham. About, I mean, Despite not running. Well, look, there, will, there will never be a... I get the impression, Nichols loves that horse, and I get the impression there will never be a day he loses where there won't be an excuse. We will be tuning in on Monday, Barry. <laughs> you have to ask Paul how difficult it is to get a horse ready for a day, let them down, bring them back again, that sort of thing, you know? We think that's what happens with Brave Man's. Yeah, I'll make sure the question's asked. It won't be by me, though. I'll be staying up for the <laughs> Masters, and I'm going to take Monday off. Oh! Yeah, to it. It's a very rare Monday I take off. It's usually a very busy day. I joked me, about but, uh, that. I joked about that yesterday. You actually were like, pretty good idea, Dave Vaughan. He does have them every now and then. Who will be doing it? Is it going to be Ryan? No, I'll get Kieran. Kieran O'Connor, one of our social team, will, will do it, hopefully. Okay, Ponty there you Fracton go. Ponty Windsor, and you're taking the day off, Barry. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ponty Fracton Windsor. They'll Windsor's round, coming back. They'll be round two of the Jamaican. They stay in series at Ponty yeah. Fracton, surely. Right inside oh, rail Jamaican bias. Jamaican flight. A Jamaican oh, flight, yeah. Oh, he could run international. He could have run international, couldn't but he? But you know what happened to Brave Man's game? Uh, we still digress. I'm trying to get back to the next race, but we'll get there soon. We've got it, 15 minutes. Well, well I'm, you keep going because mine's an on-runner. <laughs> is it? Yeah, see, not hers an on-runner, so I'm looking for another one. You crack on with that. Crack on. Let's digress a bit more. Go on, you're good at digressing. He's the fourth best horse in a four in a race. That's what happened to Brave Man's game. And I'm, yeah, I think he loves him so much that he I mean, is not. He the is. Fourth. If yeah, this I'm was, not having that. If this I'm was the Oscars, I think Paul would walk up and slap me. But uh, it's, yeah, I think I, it's, it's yeah, just. Maybe you could go and ask the questions. Look, I'd like to see that. I, still, I, I, I still don't fancy my chances. I'd still be. Uh, I still wouldn't be shocked if he really is our King George horse. Look, but, a, horse, but, a horse in yours beat him last year at Aintree in a Grade One. I you already rode a long press and got better ratings. My favourite horse and training horse in yours, I totally get it. But, I, but a horse ben in Blackmore's yours, not that would be, be loving like this King because George every horse, time so we mention Brave be. Man's game, it gets loads of reactions. Does it? Huge. He has just think, been that horse that season. I've loved him this season. I don't a, know what the down is. Though. The horse is a warrior. He's brilliant. A yeah, warrior? He's a, yeah, he's a warrior. I thought it's you meant warrior. No, he's a warrior. He's a warrior. With your accent, I was quite difficult to gauge. It's funny and it doesn't. 
It's not always... Take the difficult. Kempton race out of it. He's been itchy feet, fuels all raffies, raffles and Pat's fancy. Come on. Yeah, itchy feet. Come on. Well, hang on. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming round to that. I don't think yesterday was really his running, but I don't think Who's he's quite as good as he's... Hoy Senor. Yeah, once. Yeah. Uh, Pick Doy. Okay. Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee. <laughs> yeah, and also Gunsight Ridge. You know, horses like yeah, that. So yeah. no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Ball on with you. Maybe I'll be invited back. He, down. He no, I, I see the King George, but I think that does. Yeah, like I, like I said, I was. So, oh, I'm so pleased it pulled off for a hoisting yesterday because I was sick of people saying, "Oh, you know, he's just not like he's jumping and long press is much more like slicker and economical." I was like, no, ain't we flat track? Hoisting your, he's a big horse, right? Undulating, jumping downhill. Ain't really his bag. No, I think Cheltenham it wasn't for not, him either. It's not his bag. He's gangly and big and he can't... Lompras is neater, more nimble, quicker. Number one fan club you are, of course, of a high senior. Yeah, but I love Lompras. I love him. More economical and ni more nimble, more agile. You've got to just pick the right course. If, it, if it's soft, it's Lompras. Yeah, if, yeah. It's, if it's not soft, it's a high senior. Well, he was over the it. top, wasn't he, in, yesterday? Lompras is an absolutely classic over the top yes. yeah. performance, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. But he's still, but he's also the condition. Brave yeah. man's game is not. What, what the worst can we do? I, I feel like he will not win. Should we a top, ooh, a top class race next a year? Head to head. You yeah. don't think he'll get a grade one as a big boy? No. All right, right. That's it. Match bet. Even fifty. Done. Got it here. That's probably a ten. Uh, mathematically, it's probably ten. Please have better luck than G Rod. Please have better luck than G Rod. What was it? Why, what was it? Oh, Nicole just said he's going to down Royal. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the throne he can well do that, couldn't he? No, do you no, think he'd go to Betfair? He'll be no. He'll just be. He'll be given a really easy time until the King George. It's all about the King George. Well, all about the King George. It's all about the King George next year. I said. Yeah. So it might be Charlie Hall first. So or much to look forward to. Protector, I'll beat him in the King George. So much to look forward George. to, and Dan yeah, Moore says you've not mentioned the winner yet. Galloping destroys them all. It's a great, it's a Fair great, point. great era, isn't it? I think yeah. we can say could that. Could be, it could ready mail be. You know, it's, it, we could have a lot of good horses in that division next the year. The jump season, the appetite for it well. had never been wetter. We said that to Tom Park, who did the big jump off. It was his baby that Tom was on the show on Thursday. It has delivered everything. Crowds back. Here we are. We're loving it. Sam Davenport says, I agree with Keith. Oh, senor has the biggest engine by far. He's got Keith, a, who wanted him to go in and stay as Hurdle. He's got Sam. a big... He's, he struggles to... He's not the best jumper, but he's got a massive, stay massive Stay as Hurdle, he Yeah, you'll go Gold Cup now. How can you not go Gold Cup when you've got a horse that good? He he's he's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. I'm just saying, yeah. He, just, he still doesn't... I still think he's... I still think among the big boys, his Should jumping will crumble. Should like... I don't know. Could, it, could you have, like, a top-class horse do what they tend to do... You know, on a Thursday at Ludlow, oh, he's back over fences, oh, he's back over hurdles. They just, we never see that anymore, do no, we? No, we don't. Um, yeah. Why is that? Not unless they're trying to go handicap half of the national. <laughs> I mean, they only like to run them three times as well, don't they? Yeah. Most of them, so yeah. they're not going to do that, are they? But it wouldn't be great, maybe, to see a Bacchanal type individual. I think Bacchanal. Well, yeah. But why would you when you've got Proper when you've horse. got forty-eight grade one novice chasers to choose from? Well, that's right. That's, so the, had, that's the why. That's why we're chalking up the mentions of a Hoy Senor. It's at least three now, I think, and the Grade Ones. How many is that? You've meant, you had a little pop at the Grade I've, Ones. I've, uh, there's many mentions as there are Grade Ones. <laughs> Forty-eight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. We did digress. Hopefully enough for our betting editor at the Racing Post to find a replacement tip in the four fifteen. But Barry Orr, you're on fire, man. Where are you going? So Chamblou's your favourite at the moment at eleven to four, three point eight zero. It's seven point two T Clipper. Oscar Elite 9 4, 9 6, Captain Nord, Killer Kane 9 2, 12 5, Aspire de Rome, and a day team bar. That's the one I like in Aspire de Rome. Ah, was yes. matched at a high of 17, was into his about 8 at one stage, but probably finding its correct price now to top weight off 155. Five. Um, we're going to look to back that in the win and place market, please, Keith. Um, fell at the second last when looked to have Chantry House and Sham Blue beat in the in the mild May here last April. We've only seen him twice since. He was third to fiddler on the roof in the Colin Parker in October and then a bit of a break and he was third to Nutswell in the Premier Chase at Kel. So he's obviously a horse that's had a lot of problems, but he has got plenty of ability and just hoping that we'll be able to shine through today. Um, we'll take 25 quid, please, at 12.5 on the win. Happy to be a price uh, taker. And then in the standard place terms here, please, as well, Keith, um, which is oh, please, four oh, places. Please, yeah, please, oh, no, please, please, yeah, four sorry. places. Seven to four. We'll have 25 quid there as well. Don't forget on the sports book, it's five places to each way punters. And on the exchange, you can have um, standard four places, three places, five or six places as well. Very interesting horse, Barry. And uh, the third leg of the Lucky 15, which is alive. Uh, this chap, of course, would he have beaten Chantry House in grade one company? 
He was unlucky also last year. Yeah. Wrong company again. A lot of people thought, oh, yeah, yeah another great one. Uh, stats 43 mentions, you're five away well, from a bell, a, yeah. an, an, an award. Um, this bloke we thought would actually be running in Ryanair's or the Gold Cup, didn't we? Start we the did, we did. He's just not quite gone on like we thought he would. He's had a bit, he obviously has had issues of some sort. Um, he turned up, he's been a bit disappointed in both runs this season. I've actually decided in the end that he's a sort of sub selection. Obviously, he's not going to be as strong as seen, not heard. Worth taking a chance on because he has got that talent. We've seen mm. that. But he just seems to not have had a clear run at it this season. I, Kelso was obviously a prep for Ask something. Nat Kelso Green about his run this. You were there, weren't you? Were you there? <laughs> you were Nat Kelso. <laughs> <laughs> In body. Are you here? This is, it's the knock, tent, you knock, see. Knock, knock, The horsey you, Hogwarts. Anyone home? You're on the, uh, the it was, it was your plane, great interview with the Hamiltons, wasn't it? Nuts well race. Oh, yes. It was my great interview when I gave them a lot of credit for what they do with their small team horses. Spring and water, Ian, Yeah, Ian came back. What and he, was, I, said, um, I said to Ian, what's the secret? And he goes, it's the spring water. It's you a know, lovely part of the world. They, no, they fair. train them very, very naturally, like Christian Williams does it out uh, all the time. You know, do you they, ramble up that way? You, you you love a ramble, don't you? Well, well, he went, does like a ramble, don't you? It's a, a ramble. Yeah, it's a good walk around there. Good oh, walk around the borders, is. I tell you. Oh, lovely stuff. <laughs> no, it's great. I mean, they've got six horses. They've got six horses. They've won 230 grand in prize money this year. It's, it is I, freaky, isn't I, it? I, Tommy's I, Oscar, we go Jason yeah. as well, doesn't he? Well, so. I mean, look, Ollie Murphy has won 144 horses, has won just over a million. So he's got 24 times the stock and he's won four times the money. They are doing insanely well. They're yeah, so good. They, they've, good always, they've always been good with them. They've good always been good like that. They've just got the best crop they've ever had. Um, All right, so Espada Rome, where do we sit with him? David Bass, Kim Bailey, trusty team. He's a classy chassis, under, hasn't he? Yeah, he under has. Him? And, you know, Kelso, I just I, I wanted to see more from Kelso. He was tight enough in the betting. And, but ultimately, you know, it was a bit of a prep run. So I think on balance, I'm just giving him another chance. I'm a fan of the horse. Mm. Uh, and, you know, just... Uh, this is the replace. This is the sub. This is a sub tip. This is the sub. You're with Barry. It's not a bad place yeah, to be today. No, absolutely not. No. Um, no, it's, it's a good so place. It's, yeah, I, I just, he's worth giving a chance now, looking at the rundown of this race, looking at the field and the market. You know, I don't think Shambro's a proper three miler uh, myself. Um, I think he, he, he he's very enthusiastic. And yes, he has won a Cato Star, but that wasn't that never works out like we, we were saying that off here weren't we the cow star is yeah. never a race that really works out but like this channel it's a great really. one isn't it so like, have, a, have a go I mean, it's, it's been a great one since forever though I know, so, I know, I know. It's, it's not like it's not a it's not a Johnny come lately great but one a t- but it's a two it's a two season the, the jump season is two halves isn't it yeah, it doesn't yeah, work out to, the spring races are completely different mm. well that's right and the, and the big boys tend to get saved for these spring races don't they so um, yeah. Yeah. you're going through that today Keith aren't you look, more, yeah, well, more than Bruce how long have I got I've got an hour and a half still so we are going to we have got some to play actually, so it's you might worry, be able to run and go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, you're all out there. Let's Water. ramp it up. Come on then. All right, two for a spider Rome, the grade one performer in the pack. I'm going to go for, line it up, boys, Oscar Elite. I saw he played at Cheltenham. He was the horse for me to take out. <laughs> <laughs> I fancy his horse. Here's a negative for Dave, you. Dave, Dave, Dave's face goes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that ain't. Oh, that ain't. I hadn't great. obviously seen that. that. Oh, I'm back then, Dave. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Take no, no. it back. Keep the faith. Keep Get the faith. Get it off. Well, he doesn't like racing anymore, it turns out. Well done, Barry. Shut up, it's a razor. Shut up. Yeah, of course it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. But uh, this is the the chronic bleeder with loads of talent, but he doesn't like racing now because I think the bleeding's got to him. Whereas Oscar Elite was choking all the time. (laughs) And then he's turned up at Cheltenham and all of a sudden his wind looked all right, but he bled. It was a very, very funny performance. But again, he obviously, he tanked through that race. You said that with a smile, Barry. I love it. Um, yes, of course. Yeah, so look, a cheeky, a Oscar Elite for me, he went, he went very wide, Cobby, didn't he? Harry Cobbers. Uh, who, is it Brendan Powell back on him today? I'm assuming no, it's it is. Cobby it, it is Cobby. Okay, you're right. Of course, Brendan's on Killer Kane, isn't he? Uh, the other one who's really solid in the market as well. Oscar Elite. Has he run at this meeting as a novice? Something tells me he has. No, you're thinking of every other Tizard. He, no, thing, he uh, has. <laughs> was he, he was third to Ahoy Senor. I thought he said Trump. one. I thought he said one. We, look, the match bet's already over. Do you want to play I thought he said, has he won at this meeting? No, has he run? Ah, it's not okay. a warrior warrior. Yes, he did that run. run his oh, yeah. accent is clear, my man. Well it's dodged. Well my. Dodged, Ross. <laughs> my good man. <laughs> well dodged, that one. I don't have well a brain, escaped. remember. <laughs> you know, so. The scarecrow. Quite right. Um, okay, I think this has got a great chance. The Tizard's... I've had an all right season, haven't they? We've had some chat about this recently. Yeah, it's a little bit in and out, hasn't it? But it has been in and out, but it has been a lot better. Yeah. Thankfully, great yeah. to see as well. 
Uh, good firm. And I got in the National Fiddler on the, the roof. roof. We do. Uh, a horse that, as I, I was saying, I wanted a special market of to lead over the Melling Road last time. And I would have maybe backed him for that because I can see him running well. You think it could be gassing come three out? Just, yeah, I just don't know if he's got that. I don't know if he's got it in him to, to keep finding up that elbow. Who's excited? We're nearly an hour away from the 2022 Grand National. This time last year, you couldn't even go to a shop and have a bet. We couldn't go around to pubs and watch it, wherever you are, having a party. What are you doing? I usually have a party. I've been in here the last couple of years. <laughs> but I, I did used to do a party. You know, some people do it for, for, for the NFL. I'm going to a Masters party tomorrow, actually. Yeah, loads of people do Grand National parties. It's brilliant. I've been to loads. They're Pe great. People are finding out. Although I can't remember diddly squat by the end of the day of these parties. <laughs> when Pinot de Ray won, I didn't sleep. I went through the night. It was really? just that good, yeah. yeah and some people love it. We do a sweepstakes, all yeah, that sort of stuff. Cool. Uh, who's got any sweepstake at work? Let us know. Keep an out there. I know you're all out there. Look, Barry's lucky 15 on Esprit de Rome. Not Esprit de Christ. Rome looks Side of Burley, one. really lovely, doesn't he? I, I, Chamblou is tricky. Because Are you tipping this? Uh, no, I'm going on tea clipper I'm My train of thought with tea... Two for tea clipper Two for tea. Well, my train of thought with tea clipper Tea clipper. for two. Tea for two, tea for two National Memories. Did he run on a T for three? He was a national, wasn't he? <laughs> Why are you tipping T clipper now? <laughs> Tried to tell you, I'm going on exactly the same train of thought as my beloved Ahoy Senor because this is a less demanding track mm -hmm. in terms of undulations, in terms of the stiff hill at Cheltenham, and that is what I love. This ties in with everything we're going on about Brave Man's Game for the King George. Is what I'm going on about the Ahoy Senor. He's the best horse at a flat galloping track like Aintree. Showed everyone that he is in that sphere, T-Clipper, back at Aintree, like at, at this track. The Ultima was good, it was creditable fourth, it wasn't mind-blowing, but it was good, and I just think it's got a right chance in this. Yesterday, Bruce Bleu, Millington said to me before I tipped, or after I tipped Mac Totty, after I did that, he said, when you talk a certain way about a horse, Dave, I, I, I'm going to back it, and you uh, nearly talked me into, that was a very passionate case. Right. Or T-Clipper there. Tom Siegel, yeah. of course, put this up, he's I'd, mad keen on it. Did, I, did he nap it last night, Tom? Uh, the clipper. I, I did. Did he nap it or did he go for another one? I, can't, I think we he all fancied gone, him. Did we you? All, Everyone. Uh, I mean, he ran an absolute blinder at Cheltenham. He, he, was, he was the traveller of the race. Mm. I don't know if he's going to reproduce it. That's my worry about him. Why That's, not? I, I don't he know. He hasn't run six, but I think I'll tell you why, because I backed him in that <laughs> eventful race at Newbury, where, uh, yeah, the NASA oh, yeah. race. Uh, I've not forgiven him. Right. It's you barrel, that, isn't you've it? got a grade two winner and a, and a grade one winner who fell in unseated in that. And what I was going to say, actually... But he it, was he was horrible in that. But what terrible. I was going to say, in, Bar in, in Barry's credit, for example, I remember when we were in here for Kelso, he laid a spot of Rome um, mm -hmm. because he said this wasn't the right race for him. He, he probably needed the run. He was too short in it. And um, uh, the emotion has gone out of it today, and he's changed his mind because that run will bring him on. Sometimes you can get stuck on a horse and you're like, oh, I, I fancied him before, uh, and your heart hasn't quite recovered. But... From a, a, an actual form, kind of visual, speed figure, everything perspective, this is absolutely spot on. He ran a blinder at this meeting last year over hurdles. You watch that race back at Cheltenham, he travelled like an absolute dream. Yeah. Three miles one in that um, is, was just a little bit too far yeah, for I, him. I get the um, hmm. deflatedness from that Newbury because it was it was a mess, wasn't it? it? Made that mistake and then dropped to last. Yeah. And it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a mess. Nobody tipping Chamblou because, of course, this, yeah. is, this was, according to Paul Keeley, do you remember, it, 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 straight after the Charlie Hall... When he fell, because he fell three out in the Charlie Hall, this is the favourite in this race, if you're wondering who, what on earth we're talking about. Harry Skelton, Langadane Colours, who won the first yesterday. Um, he was left on the same mark, Keith. Yeah, you're not allowed to the BHA. What racing post rate did we give him for that? I think it was 170, but have a look. Is, is, he, is that a bit flattering for this? 166. Because the, the handicapper didn't thing. touch him after he ran well, in the, the run there. The handi well, the handicapper could have. I thought he was he... going to. I thought he was, this is my chance to yeah, get him. Well, he would have. Yeah, well, he would have been desperate to, but he, yeah. didn't, he couldn't could've. because the horse ran badly. Because he, 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 they had him quite prominent. He can get on with it, can't he, Shamblu? Well, he tends to. He's, yeah. He tends to go off in front. He's a great jumper. Well, that's the problem. I mean, Skelton is. Harry's Skelton is fantastic at many, many things, but he just needs to know when the race is won, doesn't he? He just needs to know when he's done when he's done his job, and he didn't on that day. Um, yeah. I just have a quick shout out. Someone's put it up on the chat as well, and I, I agree that um, we Accelerator Express is an interesting runner. Um, this horse won on good ground last year at Worcester, uh, but he beat yeah. Pink Eyed Pedro by 12 lengths. Pink Eyed, um, who of course was Graham Morbo's tip in the top, and very well, didn't he? He, he? he lost his second, wasn't he, to, to fresh air and yeah. live, love, laugh. But he was sent Not off okay, favourite back in October at Chepstow. Not okay. I don't mind. I quite think it's quite fun. He, he was sent off favourite at Chepstow, uh, and then Accelerator that race... Express is a much better name, isn't it? 
That is a proper name. Do you remember when we wanted you talked to? Sorry, Ross. Ross. They're off. They're off and They're racing. Off and but we'll I'm going to be commentating in a minute. Say. And that but will all, be a disaster. All I can tell you is Ross is going to commentate on this for you out there, those of you who haven't got pictures. And you're going to call mine over the first, Oscar Elite. Oscar Elite uh, is uh, is over the first in uh, in front in uh, in company with Wishing and Hoping, who knows uh, only one way to run, and that is out in front as well. Oscar Elite is uh, accompanied by Didero Vallis. Behind those is Killer Kane. On the inside is T Clipper, Accelerator Express. Um, what I wasn't going to say was that he didn't jump that particularly well, but he didn't jump that particularly well. Espoir de Tele is at the back. Espoir de Rome is at the back. Grumpy Charlie is also uh, held up, uh, the most Yorkshire name I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Sam Brown is on the wide outside in the company with the Hollow Ginge. Elsewhere, we've got Captain Ord in the pink silks. Uh, and we've Cockney, also got Andrew isn't it? Mel. Grumpy Charlie. Yeah, maybe, but it just, I just so met a lot of Grumpy Charlies <laughs> in Yorkshire in my time. Could it be Scottish, Keith? Grumpy Charlie. Sham oh, has got four behind him. Sham Blue is jumping very well, and Harry's obviously putting him there, got plenty of cover, keeping him calm. That's that's nice. It's slightly different tactics. Is that there goes mm. staying there? So let's see. Let's be very fascinating now to see how that unfolds. What is Wada Romy? No, no Shan Blue. Shan Blue. Yeah. Just plenty of cover. Nice rhythm, jumping well. T Clippers, nice. Where's yours, Dave? Oscar Elite. Yeah, yeah. just beautiful. Uh, the clam, uh, Desobo. I'm going to call that after this week. The perfect trip. That was amazing. It wasn't mm. it, Barry? Not that one out of the park as well. Um, wishing you hoping then, Ross, in front. You're, yeah. you're back. He's got the lead and he's fairly comfortable. I mean, he ran. Re he, he got beat by the uh, the Hobbs horse, didn't he, earlier on at, uh, at Warwick when doing exactly the same thing. Uh, he was disappointed at Cheltenham, but I, I don't think the conditions were up his street. And of course, he did win here back in October, where he made all, uh, and they didn't get anywhere near him. So um, I would be. Is he is he shortened, um, Barry? I, I mean, he, he always shortens because of the way he runs. But um, I don't think he's completely out of this now. He's got in the, on the lead. He had a better recipe at 30, and he's uh, training at 20 now in running. Um, Killer Kane at the 6.6. .6. Your favourite that went off a 4.2, a better SP is trading at 4 now. 8.8 eight, Captain Nord, 5.9 Killer Kane. He's the one they want to be on and running. Yeah, because he's, he's in his perfect. stable mate's position on the inside. I don't know whether there's something Oscar Elite doesn't look happy to me at all. I'm not I'm not having a good day because Watford are losing 1-0 to Leeds as well, and Everton beat Man United, but I'll get that one out of the way. <laughs> We should have known. Oh, yeah, find that funny, Barry. It looks like the championship for me. Champions League. It's all gone least. wrong, Dave. It's all, it's all, gone, Pete it's all going wrong. Pete Tong. I mean, as a Watford fan, you should have been tipping Wishing and Hoping, really, shouldn't you? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Wishing oh. and Hoping oh. out in oh. front. What's going to happen What's here? Oh, that's probably Romy. Nearly well. Great sit, Dave Bass. The eye, Barry, is continually drawn to Shamblu. Five to two now, Dave Shamblu. But will he get home? That's the question. Mm. Mm. Well, he's, 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 he's actually taken to the more patient tactics, hasn't he? Yes, he's not, a, he's not fighting it. It's fascinating. This has obviously been discussed and it's working well. He's not fighting it at all. He's actually very comfortable, isn't he? Well, it's because it's the, it's the impatient tactics that have got him beat. That's yeah, that's why. what you're trying to... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. That's what you're trying to say. Um, we shouldn't hope in Dodero Vallis, Killer Kane, Grumpy Charlie, Sam Brown on the outside, Oscar Elite, Captain Nord, Adramel, Espoir de Rome and Espoir de Tele, or... Uh, is that... Hey, I can't remember. Uh, I forgot that one. Probably should look at Espoir the... Um, de Espoir de Tele. Yeah, there we go. Uh, at the back, the Hollow Ginge, Accelerator Express. I was trying to remember him off the top of my head and giving myself got, a... Only got the National to go next, Ross. difficult job. Yeah, that easy. It's fine. Uh, and uh, T Clipper's only got three behind. He's, he's not been in the He's also getting a patient right. I wonder whether there's a decision to track Shamblu here he's on Tiger. Uh, yeah, that's why I might get a penis. I think he's pulling up Best yeah, 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 yeah. Every time yeah. he asks him for a jump, the horse puts down on him. He just doesn't want to jump a fence. Yeah. Mm. It hasn't been his season, has it? It hasn't been his season. They're going to have to draw stumps, and Espoir's going to get a P next to his name. Ah, the dream was a lie. I'm um, surprised Wishing and Hoping isn't a bit shorter in running here again. He's, mm. he's, he's gone. He's going to kick on. He won by about six or seven lengths when You're doing this. You're king of the North's running, all right? I think it's it? because he runs like so, like sort of neck out, and doesn't really look like he's too. I think it, well, he's got an wide. He's think? got an unfashionable trainer. He doesn't T look particularly flashy. He's got right to the way back, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's coming through. The, the, if there's uh, a troll winner in here, it's Adramel. Because mm. Keith was, I thought he was the cat that got the cream. Uh, but, uh, but oh yeah, well the ground sort of dried up a little bit for that, didn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. um, Oscar Elite has, has, has spat the dummy out as well. He, so he, oh, th 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 there's something physically not. In terms of the right studio, there, it's me and thee left. Me and thee. Me and thee. Thee Clipper. Come on, Annoying, isn't it? Come yeah. on. Which I think you've, you've got the silks on today, so I think it's Shamblu is absolutely killer cane or Shamblu, isn't it? Shamblu, I would be. It's those three, I've got isn't a P it? next to my name. Oscar Elite. Oscar Elite's pulled up. We should have hoping now. Single figures in running at that time. 
Sam Brown. I thought it might have been a bit yeah. quick Shamblu's for him. Shamblu's looking very good. I mean, very, not, very good. this this horse Shamblu's in front ain't going to stop. Swinging. Like I said, he was sixteen to one a second ago. He's now five to one in running. He's not. He's not a bad he's a strong horse in front. Stayer, isn't no, he? Exactly, and well. he's got really good form here. He, yeah, won, yeah, he yes. won on his ear here early in the season. It's, it's wishing and hoping. Killer Kane, Shamblu, mm. and T Clipper. Accelerate to Express coming yeah, from the back. Come on, Accelerate. Yeah, Accelerate Express is travelling, isn't he? Uh, wishing and hoping might go very short here, though. Wishing and hoping Shamblu, Killer Kane. Here comes T Clipper out the back. This is this Even Shamblu. I'd yeah. be taking that. Mm. Does he get? Well, yeah, but well, does he get he home? Does he get with he's, not, he's not answered the question he needed to answer yet. Wishing and hoping he's now two to one in running. Ooh, he does not stop. He does not stop. Accelerator Express coming wishing into it. And yeah, not, not as he should. As he should. Come on, Accelerator Express from the back. That's what we want. He's coming into it. He might at least. Coming away a little bit on T Clip. I'm afraid. Sean Blue's odds on. I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh, even scrubbing away a bit. Wishing and hoping. Shamblu, Killer Kane, Sam Three Brown. Out. Will you pick up? Will you pick up T Clipper? Oh, tight. They're closing a bit. Oh, they are a bit. Shamblu. All over is now. Sam Brown is coming. Sam Brown is not out of this. T Clipper. Me, yeah. Killer Kane to the other side. Nice run as well. Wishing and hoping. Falling in a hole. Yeah, he's well, got I, I want Sam Brown going Sam on. Sam Brown down. going on for Shamblu. Is he going to get out stay, Shamblu? It looks this like he's going to be a guy for him, isn't it, guys? He Sam is. Brown is coming well, through. Sam to Brown, another, Anthony Honeyball. Th 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 very fragile a, horse. Doesn't this need an utter bog? Well, he's a fragile horse, and that's why he need, his form's all in the muds. But, I but think he's gone clear. He has. Yes, Want to clear. jump if you're on the Sammy Brown? Sam Brown is well, well, well clear of Shamblu, who's running on fumes at the moment. I get past the second. Oh, and lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm assuming it's Aiden that's on. Uh, he usually rides him. Yeah, he's yeah. Aiden Coleman, yeah. yeah. He's won by half the track. Yeah, he's really still. Sam Brown still has absolutely bolted up here. Sean Blue's not really stayed, though. I don't think anything else for Biden's really, really come in. Um, what's, what, what's finished second here? Sean Blue's got second. Sean Blue's yeah. second. Killer Kane, Killer Kane, Kane and T Clipper four. So Accelerator Express. Than that, you got the, Wishing you, you, you got closer than most of us there. Okay, absolutely taken apart, Barry. You called it, actually, around about four out. I wasn't sure he'd act on the ground at all. Future national horse next year? Yeah, he pulled up in the National Trial in Haydock last time, didn't he? But the ground was atrocious, it has to be said. Um, Oscar Elite, or sorry, not Oscar Elite, you're, whoops. Killer Kane traded a low of 3.4 in running. Sean Boo traded at a low of twos on in running, 1.50. That's as low as he got. Sam wow. Brown had a Betfair SP of... 34, so 33 to 1 bet for SP for the winner. He lulled me in, Barry, as you heard him. <laughs> That's that amazing in-running judge that is Dave Alton. That's why I've got my compadres with me here, because I would have taken that even money as he was turning in. He's the class horse in the race. He, he, he was still answer the question he hadn't answered, and I don't think he did. I think... You know why don't the, the, the mark now is going to go up to what? What, you, what are you suggesting would have happened in the in the Charlie Hall? He'd have probably been wandering about like a drunk on the running, from what I've all seen since. You know, I, I, I suspect they're running a Paddy Power, wouldn't they? Because we've like like Paddy Power. Sure, I mean that, those those two mark those. those it should I mean they, they might be have it in their head that he doesn't like Cheltenham, but bounce him out in a Paddy Power. Wow, great rides, this Caroline. Aidan Coleman's one of my favourite jump duckies. Aidan Coleman? Mm. Doesn't do a lot wrong at all, does he? He is... JP loves him, of course. Jump so ball. So class. So it's class. A, it's a treble, isn't it, of course? Seems like a long time ago. And he never gets the too one. much. He's just like... He's like a... Aidan Coleman's like my Federer of tennis. He's not that stylish, is he? He's not... Yeah, he is. Aidan think... Coleman's not that stylish. Oh. I think he's lovely. I mean, he's a very, the, very good jockey. Joke he, joke makes, amongst us. he makes very, he just, he, he rarely gets it wrong, Colm, and that's why I like him. Because yeah, he's what you want in a jockey is somebody who makes few mistakes. Yeah, yeah. We're watching Coleman it back here then. Mistakes. Wishing and hoping. The, he went fab, didn't he, Barry? said at one point. And well, he should, I mean, he, he, a very he, mixed yeah. bag in that race. A lot of over the top horses, I think we can say that. I tell you what, Proper I mean. Proper race. I'm take, Accelerate to Express. If he doesn't win a big race, I, I mean. There's going to be a, a decent sp late spring summer summer race for him, um, and yeah, I thought I thought that's an absolute absolute blinding run from him. Mm. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, T Clipper, he'll T Clipper and Sean Blue will be in the same races next year, won't they? But then mm. we down a few. I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. Sam Brown, a crack at the national. He'll be eleven next year. That's yeah, he's not as many goals though, has he? He's, he's a bit fragile horse. And yeah. He's had a good season, actually, isn't he? Like a, a, bit, a bit of a clean run. He has the B last time, but that yeah, Warper guy, have, he, he, went, him out. he really pushed Warper guy, didn't he? Was that in the Peter Marshall, wasn't mm. it, of course? Mm. I would mm. say he, he pulled up uh, in that race last time out, and uh, so did Black Lion. 
and it's just the kind of it looked and it looked brutal, didn't it? That Haydock, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, you can. So I, I, I'm can just, bounce back, yeah. Well, I'm just saying the black light. I mean, he finished sixth last year, didn't he? And that's <sighs> that's a it's a boost for that form in the sense that if you didn't like if you didn't like it, it's a very different proposition today, isn't it? The teenager in the pack, Black Lion. Then uh, what are we? We are well, nearly 45 minutes away. Let's hope they get off on time. 5:15. The world's greatest race here. We will be covering on Racing Post Live. I saved Dave, Dave Orton. And he got my name wrong there. Ross Briley, <laughs> Nat Green. It's been a long week. Keith Melrose <laughs> and Barry Orr as well, who's having a really good day. What do we fancy in the biggie? What do you fancy in the biggie? Remember how the Irish dominated last year? Well, we got a word with our Irish guru earlier on, Dave Jennings, who gives us the lowdown on the battalion that have come over on the ferry. Hi folks, David Jennings here and uh, the lads have asked me to talk you through the Irish contingent in the Randox Grand National. So here's my kind of couple of minutes on the Irish contenders. Kicking off with Manila Times last year's winner, £15 higher. Hasn't had a good prep. I think it's a big ask for Manila, Manila Times. Delta work. He's going to be wide. He's going to need space. He is the class act of the race. He is the best horse in the race. He is a five-time grade one winner. If it goes well for his, him early and Jack Hendy gets, into, gets him into a good rhythm, I think he's got a big, big chance Delta to work. School by hours. He's crept in. He's really well handicapped. That Paddy Power chase form from Christmas looks really strong. I think he is a big, big player. I think he could be one of the plunge horses. I can see him running a big race, schoolboy hours. And he's second now, last year's third. So unlucky, almost brought down by the fall of double shuffle at the 12 fence. Um, he's seven pound higher. He's had a really good prep winning the Bobby Joe chase. I could see him running well as well. I could see him being placed. Is he going to win? He could but I think he'll definitely be in the first four. Run Wild Fred just doesn't win often enough for me. Obviously, Davy Russell has got a fantastic record in the race, but I like winners, and I don't think he wins enough. Moving on to Brahma Bull, 80-1, to 1, no chance whatsoever. Burrow Saint. Now, Burrow Saint, I think, is overpriced. If you stopped the tape, maybe two out in the Grand National last year, or, or three out or crossing the Mellon Road, I think he would have been very short in running. If his stamina holds out this time, I think he could run well. Mount Ida. Her jump and fell apart in the mayor's chase at Cheltenham. She probably does want to go the other way around. She's another one you're going to have to keep an eye on early to see how she gets on. But uh, I think it's all about the first mile for Mount Ida. And there's just too many question marks for me. Longhouse Poet, the Thiestis winner for Martin Brazel, who, of course, won the, this race with number six, Valverde. Um, I think this is a classier horse. And he's been trained to the minute for this race. He's another big player. Uh, moving down through them, Sam Crow. Pff, Sam Crow. It would be a Sam Crow thing to do. Gordon Elliott is very sweet in his chances. I'm not. Uh, moving on to Coco Beach, who'll travel well. I think he'll trade quite short and running. I don't think he'll stay, but he will give you a good spin for your money. And he is a great as well. Discorama ran well in the race last year. Is he any better now? I don't think so. Uh, enjoy Dalen, who is the buzz horse. What a story it would be for Kieran Murphy. Um, I'd love to see him running really well. I can see him running really well. I know Kevin Blake is really sweet on his chances, but uh, I think it's more of a place chance for him. Annabelle Fly, he's a 12-year-old. It's a long time since a 12-year-old won the Grand National, but I think he still retains an awful lot of ability. And if you're getting around 66 to 1 Annabelle Fly, snap that up because I think he's going to finish in the first six. Moving down to Freewheel and Dylan last year's 150 to 1 winner of the Irish Grand National. He got a real good rhythm going last year in the Irish National is he going to get into the same sort of rhythm here really good trainer Jeremy McLaughlin Ricky Doyle takes the ride but he's not for me Class Conti no chance uh, no, uh, Noble Yates is one who is well handicapped I'd say and I'd say he has a lot of ability he's another that could go well at a big price and Augusta Gold 80 to 1 not for me nearly there Poker Party <sighs> no no not Poker Party no Debt Duty Debt Duty has the back class course sent off a short price favour for the Albert Bartlett a couple of years ago. Bounced back to form with the Grand National trial win at Punchestown. He is well handicapped and he ran well in the ultimate to finish six. Just got a little bit out pace coming down the, t down the hill. I think the flat track and the trip will suit that duty. So don't be surprised to see him run the big race. That is the Irish contingent for the Randox Grand National. But I think... A home horse will win it because I fancy Fiddler on the Roof after going through all the Irish horses. I think he's well handicapped. I think the track will suit. I do think he will get home and I think his class will get him through. So at around about 16 to 1, it's Fiddler on the Roof for me. DJ's legion of fans will know that he very often does that. T tips Brits. Uh, but thanks, DJ, for that. Uh, we're going to try and get DJ over, I reckon, during the summer. That would be a crack, wouldn't it? 
Uh, great to see him with the live moniker behind him. There you go then, the lowdown on the Irish runners. We've all been out for a little break. Everyone good and ready to go? Have we? Are yes. we rumping? We, we did, we? we ran, didn't we? We're back, this is a longer we, show than normal. We I legged imagine it. Barry's done the same as well. Barry, <laughs> are we still there? <laughs> Hi folks, David Jennings here. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that was that was, a, that was <laughs> Barry. Are you there? Oh, he's not quite no, there. No, yeah. right, he's not right, as okay. quick as us. He actually, yeah, indeed. Th look, that was a little break. This is a longer show than normal, guys. Barry's Barry, house, you are there. <laughs> Barry's house. He's, he's had to run all the way to the West Wing to I'm get the. Still here. Right. I haven't moved. <laughs> no, the pro, the consummate pro amongst us. He knows how to. He knows how to train these things. Um, all right, Barry. One question that's come <laughs> into us. The biggest losers on the sports book. Have you got any idea about them as we get, what, 45 minutes away from the Big E? Here. So the biggest loser at the moment is Manila Times. After that, we have Snow Leopardess. Then we have Delta Work. You're into... Delta Work, you have any second now. Run Wild Fred, Fiddler on the Roof. Bingo Dollar. He's a big loser as well. Interesting. Yeah, he had been popular this morning, I noticed. I'm not going to tease it, but someone on the panel likes Dingo Dollar. Who could it Ooh. be? We're about to find out. Who could it be? <laughs> he gave it away by looking at them there. Um, right. OK, 5.15. It is the world's greatest race. If you were with us last year, what a show we had. Keith put his arms up in the air for Rachel Blackmore and Manila Times. And let's go down the field for you. Let's start having your tips in as we go along. The boys can build them up. Give you a shout out. That's what you want, isn't it? That's what you get here on RP Live. Barry will be telling us how the exchange is moving. The bet fair exchange, mm. the market that everyone is looking at right now, wherever you are. Okay. And uh, Barry, perhaps we'll get any second now. Manella Times, it looks like a JP5. I think we can say that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be one of his, either any second now or Manella Times. Probably at this stage, most likely to be any second now, who's 11.0, 10 to 1. 13 Manila Times, Snow Leopard has 14.5, 15 Rum Wild Fred, 16.5 Longhouse Poet. The same for Delta Work, Fiddler on the Roof, a Claire de Surf, 17.5, 22 Enjoy Dalat, and a 30 bar dem. And, um, over £5 million pounds in this market alone for currently traded on the Beffer Exchange. Um, I'm a big Longhouse Poet fan, Dave, have been for quite some time. We spoke about this race about three weeks ago, um, and I flagged it up. I think Martin Brazel, a very, very underrated trainer. He, he's trained a winner of this, and he's had a placed horse in it before as well of the Grand National. And this is a horse that re I really, really like when he won it. He mixed it with some of the best novice hurdlers back in the day. And w since he's gone chasing, he's uh, he's been a real revelation as well. And he, he accumulated the, in January uh, winning the Tiestes chase in Garen Park. It's a, it's a race interesting that number six, Valverde, had won. Yeah. Um, the year before he went on to claim a uh, English Grand National, so but obviously Longhouse Poets trying to do it in the same year that he won the Tayeste. So he's only an eight-year-old. This will be his six. He's had six chases. This will be his seventh chase. So not many miles on the clock, but he's a real touch of class about him. And his mark of one five five. I think there's probably a bit of a bit of weight in that for him as well. So yeah, Longhouse po Longhouse Poet for me. Uh, we're going to have 25 quid in the... Uh, I'm just going to back him to win, actually. We're just going to have 50 quid win. Because just being that that it's only he's only had six chases, my, my fear is that it could all be a bit too much for him. And if that's the case, I, I, he mightn't even place. So uh, it's an all or nothing bet here, please, Keith. And happy to be a price taker, 16.5, because there has been money for him. He was 20 early. So we're going to have 50 quid on it, 16.5. Longhouse boat for Darrow Keith, who's a... A real young jockey going places in Ireland, and he had a great spin in this last year off Chris's dream before he came down at the uh, the fort last in the national. Grade one winning jockey, of course, on Aplutard, wasn't he? Of course, uh, Dara O'Keefe. Then, yeah, for sure, more Ryan Colours, uh, Long House Poet. You're following in Richard Austin, who has snapped that in our spotlights. He's the king of the spotlights, is Richard. That is the nap. We always nap usually in the big race, Keith. Don't we, we often say that? Yeah, it, 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 I think it's just a thing, the spotlight's all nap in the National. It's an MO. Uh, it's, it's just a rule now. I don't know if it's a tradition or a rule, but yeah, the, the, the National's the nap. Yeah, OK. And it, and uh, as Watford go 2 nil down and we stare at playing Leeds next weekend, uh, uh, next year, sorry. Oh, blimey. OK, put yourself together, Dave Orton. <sighs> all right. It's a Grand National in half an hour, you donut. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, but, you know, 
We support the colours, don't we? There we are. All right. Is there any Watford <laughs> colours in the National? I'm looking down. That's why Romy was sort of Watford colours, wasn't he? I'll be chucking that out the bin. Well, as as right. a Watford fan, do you know what's going to finish 19th? <laughs> oh, Roscoe. Very good. Keep them coming. <laughs> All right. Let's ramp it up. Go down them, shall we? Yeah, let's. One word well, per we'll horse. Do we shall react. Do we'll do our best. Come on, Nat. Don't shake your head. You do one word last week, and uh, Keith wrote a book about a couple of them. It was, it was wonderful. Well, I tried, yeah. Who wants to hyphenation start? Was liberal hyphenation. You could write a book about this, couldn't you? Uh, who, uh, who wants to start? I'm going to bowl it to you, Quizmaster. Manella Times. Sum um, him up. It's too high a weight. It's too, the weight's too high. One word, you one said. Word. It's, it's one, one, one word. It's one word. It's one word. Again, words. last night. Again, it was so... It was right. a nightmare. Like, the introduction meeting we had about this. We, I mean, they were constantly so much on the map. I'm about this. Right, don't be stressed, Nat, because we, you can see whatever comes into your head pretty much. Well. Right, come on, I mean, Keith. One word. Go. One word. Manella Times. No. No. What? OK, let's, let's react to that. It's Can't... No tiger roll? No. Why are you nicking? For the, you're ruining my one word for the next horse. Delta work. Tiger. Boo, I would have gone. The only horse that's ever won at Cheltenham and been booed. Uh, top C's got booed, didn't he? Did it? Well, was it? Yeah, of course. I, sp I suppose so. The second horse then. He's a, he would do that, wouldn't he? All right. Manella Times. Can't do it then, says Keith. Delta work. Tiger. Can he roar? Ra. No, not here. <laughs> Delta, is he going to roar? It didn't work last year. It's not working this year. I'm having flashbacks. Oh, this is, this is, this but, is yes, last time. Yes, what price is Delta work? He can win. Delta work on the exchange is 16.5 now. He looked like he might go off fav at one point. What's going on here? I'm not sure. This is an interesting, interesting it's neck, just the market, isn't it? Isn't it? So it's just, it's you don't markers. really see horses that vie for favouritism. He's won the cross country. He outstayed Tiger Roll. Everything looks in place. And, and yet he stinks chance. in the market. All right, okay. Stink. I'm not sure Stinks is yeah, quite, quite right. Yeah, oh, I think it's Yeah, quite... that's a bit heavy. Oh, yeah. right. oh, all right, okay. He's, been, he's easy enough to back. All right, maybe Stinking is not quite right. You can probably tell him I thought we were... find that this, as you, you know yourself, Dave, these are the true prices now. Mm. You know, obviously the sports book is six places to each way punter, so there's all sorts of margin in there, but these are the, the true prices and reflective of the horse's actual percentage chance. And... In all fairness, that that looks about right, doesn't it? Fine. Okay. You're, uh, that that this is why Barry's on the show to tell you this. Uh, okay. What's number three? The, what's number three? Schoolboy hours. The reserve. Schoolboy hours. Schoolboy hours. David, if you just use the paper, you'll have everything I've in front of you. I've got the card in that, but I've got a lot going on here. I'm like my own sort of DJ here. <laughs> Go on. Bounce back. Two words. <laughs> Not if you Isn't spell it? it like I just spelled it. Typhoned. Ah. He just hyphened. Typhoned. Yeah, hyphened. yeah. Bounce back. We were chatting about this in the week with some of the brains at the Racing Post, and if he comes in, a lot of people thought this would be a lively reserve. I don't think he'll win, but I think he'll win a massive race. I think he's probably... The Paddy he's, Power winner. He's not quite good enough Strong to Strong form, that, isn't it? it? It looks like this has been... Like, obviously, they took out one of JP... Was it wow, two JPs yeah. to get this one yeah, in? Yeah, Easy does. land and another one. That's something that, you know, there's going to be a conversation about, I'm sure. But well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks a well-orchestrated plan once they, once they got the reserves in. Yet another demonstration of having all the horses in few hands being less than great for yeah. competition. Schoolboy Owls yeah. for Sean Flanagan and Noel Mead yet to win a Grand, An uh, Grand Annual, a Grand National. <laughs> Barry, any second now? One word. Time. That stumped me. What was the word? Time. It's, it's his time. It's his time to win. Is that right, Barry? No, he had his chance last year. Uh, oh, Barry, you're Seven very... pound we're more on... on his back, desperately unlucky. We're only four in. Can we do one sentence? Because uh, if we don't understand the one word, I don't... Well, <laughs> just, just then we, people are out there not understanding. We're helping them understand it as well. We're doing this with the viewers. Okay. Oh, don't be a party pooper. Yeah, it's, it's all it's very gross. cryptic, Ross, isn't it? I oh, know. I was just... Like the... I, I or Grumpy yeah. Charlie. Grumpy Charlie here next All right, to OK. Me. Listen, we know you're watching out there and the numbers are growing massively as they <laughs> did last year for this hour. We're leading up 5.15. We're giving you a word on every horse. Keith Melrose, Run Wild Fred. Um, loser. He's just, a, he's just a professional loser. The choice of Davy Russell amongst seven, the magnificent seven for Gordon Elliott, bidding to become the joint winning most trainer of the Grand National. Choice of six. Yeah. Oh, and had the choice what? for Delta work. Yeah, OK, yeah, fair. Oh, thank you, Barry. Uh, Bruce Millington put this as his fourth yesterday. A lot of people 
I think he probably wasn't at his best. He might have needed it at Cheltenham last time. Is this a second season novice, this chap, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I think he is. Um, he, just, he just doesn't win races, really. Um, I mean, he doesn't, but he's run into two grade one horses on his last two starts. And this, well, he has. This is a handicap. Oh, has, okay, yeah. that's right. He beat Far afraid. Class. Has uh, anyone got him in the top track. four? No. Got no. four with Longhouse Post. Yeah, and yeah. he's also got, I mean, and I thought Far, far Class was my what national What was the race he won? What, 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 what was the handicap? It was a Troy Town, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, okay, all right, that's one. That's Davey Russell. If he wins this, expect the big announcement. Tiger Rolls jockey, of course. Uh, Nat, lost in translation. Spanish. Elegante. There you go. There we go. Elegante. Unpronounceable. Uh, this one has gone, hasn't he? Uh, I, I can you think, do the whole thing? I don't think he can really well, do it. You want me to do the whole thing? Elegante, Calagante, Colcos, Colcos, Elegante es cazador de rango uno cuyos mejores de ellas están detrás de él. It's very good. Very, very, very good. good. And that was well very practiced. good as well. well practiced, My that. Spanish is dreadful. I mean, Café con leche. Look, I don't know if there's any Spaniards out there watching. I'm terrible at it. Dos pero. <laughs> I'm one of those guys that when you walk into a restaurant, I, I tend to Dos carbons. the accent. Oh, yes. La cuenta, por favor. La cuenta, por favor. I never say that one, Barry. <laughs> Dos Canyas. I'll leave that to you. More like Dos um, Canyas, I think. All right, Ross Briley, yes. Brahma Bull. Uh, old. Too old. Too old. He's eleven too old. year olds. Yeah. When was the last eleven year old to win the Grand National? A while ago now. Um, oh, it was Neptune was eleven year old, wasn't he? Yeah, Neptune sure I think it was eleven. You've asked uh, too many yeah, he's too old. He's too old. He's he's he's, he's third a, in the Lab Brooks Trophy. Needs to come back to that form, Keith. Yeah, and you know he's he's a, basically a summer horse. He's got a lot of summer form or like early season form, and he's, he's, a, he's a yeah, he's a summer autumn kind yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. Horse, to be fair. All but, right, um, okay. Yeah. Um, Barry, Burrow Saint. Burrow Saint. Um, wind. Won't get home, you think, in other words. Last year's fourth, believe mm. it or not, beaten Trey did that, Trey did that even money in running last mm. year. Did he really? Because he made such a bold sight, Barry, didn't he? Leg so weary. I wonder, did they do his wind, maybe? And he'll be laid out for this. Well, he's laid out for it, no doubt. And he's the choice of Paul Town end. And if they've tinkered with his wind, well, then you could see a different Borough Saint. The you second could, and the third in the top him yesterday, the mini national were trained by actually, Willie. He could actually, because he was so leg weary and then with the wind, yeah? Is he... it remarkable that he's this sort of price, Barry? I mean, well, what price is he? Because look, this is like, this is where the sort of like Saturday punter, if you like, or the people that go, well, it's just Paul Tannen and Willie Mullins. Yeah, he's 48 on the exchange day. 48? Uh, in, the, in the win market, yeah, yeah at the moment. I currently mean, trading a 48, which is a big price, isn't it? That is a very big price. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a 10 place market on the exchange, isn't there? And he's one of those horses that you think, yeah, he might not get home, but he he, he, ne he never makes really, really any mistakes. He stays to a certain extent. And he he's jumped the experience. fences almost better than anything, yeah. didn't he? He's though? one of those ones that you can just see him jumping round, so I don't yes. know what he is to finish in the okay. 10. But. We move on, that's number eight. We've got to get down to number 40. Um, number nine, Keith Melrose, Mount Ida. Wipeout. <laughs> she's going to take half the field with her. She's she goes to go, badly to her. She's going to take one. half the field with her. Wow. You wouldn't want to be lying up. Ding, 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 uh, ding. Imagine, imagine she's on your inside at the canal turn. You'd be absolutely you'd be, bricking you'd be, it. You'd be absolutely yeah. What was the last horse it, that took them all out? Was it Paddy's? Paddy's, Paddy's return, return or something. Paddy's return was it was yeah. Freddie Murphy's horse, wasn't it? Yeah, and it went across. You know the you know the horse he rammed into first of all was Amberley House. Was it? Yeah. And the 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 house that was Amberley, of course. Withstood it. Okay, we moved down. Number she 10. She famously traded at a thousand in the Kim Muir when she yes. won it that year. So mm. I thought they were pulling her up. It was too bad to be true at Cheltenham again, though, wasn't it? I thought she was going to. She, you know, I thought she, you know, please. But but Dennis O'Regan, who rides Mount Ida, for those of you watching, got in the sweepstake, or if you need, if you, you know, it's one of Gordon's, it's a big prize. Um, Dennis O'Regan has got, you know, fabulous record. You remember Black Apalachi, who used yeah. to ride for the yeah. late Desi Hughes? And they're putting on the pieces. Could she take to it? It'll be, you know, not the most famous mare in the race at the moment, but it would be Nickel Coin in 1951, the last mare to win the race. Number 10, Longhouse Poet, the pick of Barry Orr. Potential. Um, this is one of my top four. It's not a bad word. Or, I wasn't expecting that calibre of word. Were you not? <laughs> not really. Oh. Well, you didn't want to do this. You were, like, worried about this bit, weren't you? And you are actually rising to the top, as usual. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, this is one of my top four. I can see, well, uh, Barry's already said pretty much all, all my notes. Um, that's OK, Barry. But Barry's having a good day, so I'll be going him. I can't really pronounce the th th thesis He is in your top well. four. Definitely my top four. Just look Thiestes. short. Thiestes look sure to um, stay beyond that three-mile one. Plenty of potential. Great jockey on board. There's just so much. I, I, and I know 
it's, it sounds a bit easy. I've jumped on the bandwagon because a lot of judges are on this horse. Tom Siegel. But a lot are on this horse, but mm. I can just totally see why. When I went through it and through it, I was like, that is in my top four, 100%. But you didn't say winner. That's what Barry would have said if we'd have come to Barry with this. But let's move on to number 11. Be careful with this one. Fiddler on the roof. Uh, okay. Uh, duck. 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 He's going to duck. He's going to keep going. Well, if he has a chance of winning, he's going to duck. He's going to duck it. He's going to go. Gonna he's going to duck and dive. He did it last. He does it every time. He's, he's a got a lot of seconds next to his name. Isn't he's he? a, he's the choice of David Jennings. I mean, put it, he's another one like Run Wild Fred, like Burroughs Saint. They're, they're going to get round. They're going to jump. They're going to stay. They're going to keep going, but they're not going to win. They're going to. He's going to run a big race, Fiddle on the Roof, because he always does. But give him a chance to win. Give him an open goal, and he and he Ronnie Rosenthal's it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Watford's finest. Exactly. There you go. So it's it's the it's, greatest uh, miss of all time, of course, Ronnie Rosenthal. Oh, yeah, and and Fiddle on the Roof's a bit like that, but but he's a likable horse. And I mean, if I'm not, I I would say potentially that that second to Monkfish is possibly the best piece of form in the race. Um, so you know, he, he's going to run a big race, but I think he will duck the win opportunity. Okay, so duck for Fiddler on the Roof. Expect him on the premises though uh, for quite a long way. We think he's got the class. Number twelve, Barry Orr, two for gold. Chance. Hmm. Chance. A lot of people, good judges are saying that because he comes into this big stat in the National. If, you watch, if you're reading the excellent Kevin Morley's trends, which is the biblical trends race, say every year, this is the one they aspire to. Uh, you have to have had a Racing Post rating, your highest one ever on your final start coming into the race. Two for goals, had a hell of a season, Keith. He has, and he's got a... Uh, um, he's officially the best handicapped horse. He's, he's well ahead of his... Because obviously that Rascot chase second, which... Uh, I struggle. I struggle to believe the sort of the, that form and, at face value, even though your Fakors won the, the melling yesterday. I used to think this horse was a real steer. I'm not so sure anymore. All right, okay, Barry. We, we are down to what was he? Of course, we're down to number twelve. We're going through the card for you. If you're wondering it, tell us about the market as we're speaking because it looks like one-way traffic now for the five. Yeah, only second out, 10.514, Manila Times, Rum Wild Fred and Snow Leopard S, 16.5, Delta Work, Eclair de Surf, 17, same price as Longhouse Boat, 15 Fiddler on the Roof is coming in for some decent support and it's 24 bar. Outside of that, some of the big price ones, uh, Fortinet that got in is 36, um, that's coming in for some support. Santini at 42, we were also on the exchange... Annabelle Fly, another JP runner coming in for a little bit of support, is in to um, 90 on the exchange. I spoke to some of our judges about him, Barry. He's, he was second to, of course, um, album photo in a gold cup. He's made the frame behind Tiger Roll a couple of years. And I thought I thought the, 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 the judge that I was speaking to when we went through the race earlier in the week were going to say, nah, he's gone. But I actually quite fancied him a bit. And again, it's these JP colours in the Nash, isn't it? Yeah, he's a 12-year-old now as well, though, Dave, isn't he? But this is the race he's been laid out for all year, Um there was what there, at 120 there was 114 quid matched on the 110 there was 750 quid and at 100 2800 quid or yeah 2800 quid so yeah you can see why there's a few quid from really if he was come back to his best he's definitely got place uh, potential all right okay De all right fair enough annabelle fly mm -hmm. could be running on late into a place uh, number 13 lucky for some santini uh plods plods Boat. Plods, Boat, plods. HMS Santini, I saw. Uh, it gets, I, I think that gets overplayed. Well, it's very harsh. It gets overplayed. You now. do actually. Is he in your top four? Yeah, we're going to get to that. He's in my top but four. But yeah. we can look. We're getting, we're getting closer. We could say that. We don't even know in what order. But you've no, actually no. stuck him in your top four. Top You're not four. alone on this panel. I don't, I don't think, think either. So. I don't think so. <laughs> He's in mine. He he's is. in mine, bless he him. He is. Confessions of a punter, this is, isn't oh, it? Is Santini. You always feel a bit dirty putting up Santini. Yeah, honestly. He's, got, he's, a, he's a really off maligned horse. Not always fairly. You can't be, if a horse is slow, yeah, horses that have finished setting in the Gold Cup can't be getting called slow in a Grand National. We've been hearing from Nick Schofield through the week, and that is the right of Nick. Polly Gundry, and it would troll Nicky, wouldn't it? Big time. He's never won the, uh, never won the National, Nicky. Um, gone very close a long time ago, but this was an ex stablemate of the leading trainer. That would be brilliant. Number 14, Sam Crow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and you were worried about this bit. Unreliable. Flipping joke, you, 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 you'd, you'd run this horse around a, a national when it's not an amazingly good jump, but it used to be a superstar, isn't anymore, and you, you wouldn't run Tiger Roll. Don't get it. One word. That's all I'm saying. 
Which word? Which Unreliable. Which word should we take out of that? Unreliable. And obviously a ne very negative case from the RP Queen, Nat Green there. If you're on Samco, Sean Bowen. Uh, It'll course. win now. <laughs> Did Sean ride Mac Totty? Yes, he did, yeah, didn't he? Of course, did, yeah. yeah. Should remember that. Great. So he's he's won the uh, the mini Nash, and yeah, as we've heard during the week, Gordon's he did just can't let this one go, can they? Sam Crow. Well, neither would you either. I mean, he was he was basically had folk ballads written about him over in Ireland, but but he's he's turned out he had physical issues mostly, would not he? he was, he's about struggles with his wind, I think, and he's mm. got other physical. Well, he issues. was a star, but I just wouldn't. Who thought five years ago he'd be an, he'd be an eighty to one ish shot? In the national. Well, there was two Crazy. ways that horse was going to go. He's going to win two gold cups, or he's going to go off eighty to one on a national, wasn't he? he, he? he was, no, he was. He was that year's Bob Ollinger, wasn't he? You know, I mean, everyone was. The Sam Crow was the second coming, wasn't well, he? Not Bob Ollinger. Called that by Michael yeah. O'Leary, of course. Yeah, but uh, to be fair, when Delta Work was Delta Work was five to one for Grade Ones about three or four months ago. So um, when would if, if I'd have said to you twelve months ago, Delta Work will be second, third favourite for a national, you'd have said I've gone mad as well, wouldn't you? I'd have used mm. one word. I'd have used win. Um, Number 15, Ascaria 10. What have we got? Unexposed. Like that, because yeah. he's only had seven runs over fences. But he looks a bit weak to my eye. Again, we wonder, at one stage, Barry, Ascaria 10 was vying for favouritism in the anti-post books. Yeah, he was indeed, Dave. Um, he was around the 12 to 1 and 14 to 1 chance at the moment, trading at Ascaria uh, 10, trading at 36, can you believe? Unbelievable. 8 to 36, yeah, I suppose. Uh, I think it's the, probably the ground, maybe, but that's the only worry I have with him. Is that he's, a, he's all his best form. Not a lack of experience. Ground, that, that yeah. is a no. Well, yeah, there is that. Well. He pulled up in the Irish National on, on decent enough ground around this time last year. That One thing a, I would mm. say about him, that'd be great for his owner Max McNeil, who put so much into the game. Like I know that's a bit of a tried and tested. No, he's a good guy. He, he's just but such he's such an enthusiastic guy. owner. Yeah. Great guy. We love absolutely the McNeils. Awesome. Yeah. We love absolutely. the McNeils. And, yeah, and like you say, quite right. Absolutely. And Adrian Heskin, big ride for Adrian. Don't give up on him. They'll be telling you the market says otherwise. However, Barry, coming to you next with good boy Bobby, number 16. Good boy Bobby. Well, what can you say about him? No chance. We, we, we can put that as one word. No chance. Unlike I would have Graham Robway has got this guy on top. I would have gone left. I would have gone left because he's. He, there he, has been money for him, though, Barry, haven't they? He hates going right-handed. He's much flat track left. There's money. That's the only thing. Money for him because of the name. Anyone who knows yeah, of yeah, Bobby yeah. has an uncle Bobby or an, a friend called Bobby. They're having their fiver each way or quid each way. Good boy, Bobby, and that's the only reason. Yeah, yeah. Not the only reason, of course. I've been a bit harsh there, but. Yeah, I, I can't have him. <laughs> Do you no. think that was why Rodgers has put him on top? Because he's the name. <laughs> I think Rodgers has gone for the horse. That, how could? Yeah. Well, I think you maybe noticed that I, I, when I at Dex time on Thursday, I said, "Were we aware that Daryl Jacobs riding the wrong one?" We, yeah, and we have been told by Dave Lowe's quite close to all these jocks. He said it, it was Daryl's decision to ride over yeah. Gildersight in the same colours. Nigel Tristan Davis, two-time winner with uh, Earth Summit and Bindery. It's too easy. That He's watched them all this morning. He got up at 5 a.m. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> Weatherby, Hey Dog. I, was, I, I, did, I, I watched Aldenitis National, Red Marauders National, and Amberley Houses National today. Red Marauders yeah. National, I remember I came back from my travelling ex you know, experience haze. on that day. <laughs> A bit of a haze, and it was the year when you know was it Smarty? That was the only two horses. Time? Yeah, uh, uh, that must have been a surreal, blowing wind was a the fab that year. Uh, not quite fab. It was yeah, fab the next it, year. Yeah. Fab the following year. I, I remember. I remember coming in. It was terrible weather, wasn't it? And Red Marauder and Richard Guest, the old very famous salute for the sadly now lost owner uh, Mason, wasn't Norman, it? Norman Mason, Mason. Mason yeah. white character, uh, very sadly lost this year. Bottomless that year. It was. It was a it shouldn't was, have been run. It was a very that's, bizarre can be honest, spectacle. No, that shouldn't have been run. Yeah, uh, number 17, Roman de Senam. Social. Uh, he's there for the ticket. Oh, for the, for the day out. He's a social runner. Doesn't the owner like to do oh, this? He does, Wilson, isn't it? Judith yeah, Wilson, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fergus Wilson. Yeah, just very runs, famous colours yeah. of just getting him for a run. I mean, he's had a social runner finish fifth in the race, Sirium. But that's it. Yeah, you, that's the only. That's literally the only thing oh, you I can hang on. I thought you might on say P, even just a letter for this. Well, he, was, he, he, he probably won't stay. He doesn't yeah. jump very well. Huge price yeah. for the pipes, of course, who've won it with Comply or Die. Number 18, Coco Beach. Oh, again. On it goes. Oh. It's the jiggy. Do you get, not like the scarf? I thought get you would. You jiggy know. with the jiggy. They're my favourite colours. So I've got Coco Beach, have I? Yeah. Um, um, average. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Umbridge oh. has you been taken. Let me back it up. Average. <laughs> Creditable. Ultimate start. Below par, really, below form. I so, can live with average. So, kind of average 
it, it's form right now. Yeah, like yeah the race is going to be off. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, let's get through these. Good. Average, let's do it. I agree. Yeah, you but, don't. Uh, he, well, he, he's he's a seven-year-old who's had 13 runs over fences. We're talking about these horses who are inexperienced. Yeah. He's had many ho- races under rules as Brahma Bull. And um, he's the, the last time out was a... The, him at, uh, speaking of... Is he in your four, Coco Beach? No, he, You're in the six. You're talking as if he might be. In, the, be six. in the six. Be, right. He just didn't quite miss out. No, um, we are going to give you our yeah. top fours coming up very shortly after this. Let's get some form. speed up on this then, as we are around about 20 minutes away from the world's greatest race. Barry Orr, Dorasha Counter, one of two for Emma Lavelle. Ability. Yes, a Labrooks Trophy winner. Um, and yeah, again, good run back in the den, man. You yeah. know, that this good chance... One yep. off Clan de Zobo, of course, wasn't he? Of course, took out the bowl. So, uh, OK, we like that Adam Wedge. Big ride for him. And, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's the right rider. Number 20, Kill the Yeah, Killy, because not only does Paul Killy fancy this horse and put him top, but I think Killy's article in the wiki wrote about he backs horses that it would annoy him if he won in the national. It was a great column. And Kill the is a horse that very much applies to that. I backed him because it would really annoy me if he won. That, that sums I, up I, I, Keels as a point. I mean, Keels. he's a great analyst, but there is that time where he's just like, it's just like, let, let it go, Keels. It's I all know. right. There fine. is a party atmosphere building, and it's over to Nat Green with Discorama. Stamina. What? What yeah. was the What was the line? What we were singing? We'll not stay the trip. See, it's a little late memoir for Nat. Stay the trip. Baby. Does, Does not, not stay, stay the, the trip. trip. There you go. So if you're yeah. on him, Brian Cooper, massive ride for Paul Nolan. Bridal. Didn't get home in the race last year. Topville Ben, Keith Melrose. Oh, oh Barry Ross. Orr, sorry. Topville Ben. Ground. Wants it like a bog. Okay, so Agreed. too quick for uh, Philip. He'll be up there, that's mm. for sure. He's a front runner. Yeah. I missed you out there, Ross, but that's because I'm saving you up for one. Enjoy Dalen. Keith Melrose. Uh, Dark, because he's a dark horse, but I can't... Oh, Bought I by right. J.P. McManus for this very race. Yeah, I can, I'm can. i surprised. I thought he would be a wise guy horse today. He's not been backed as much as I thought he would. It's, it's Explain it's the a, wise guy thing. A lot of people don't get it. We obviously do. Why is it? Why do we say wise guy bet? Well, because he's got the horses of certain form lines that are coming in off a certain angle, and you can tell the sort of people that, you know, it's going to be people that think they're being smart by putting this horse up. And he's been campaigning like an old school national. He has, race, he right? has, absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. He's, right. um, he's, uh, I Part think he's really four? interested. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, right, I think he's really interested. Uh, Nat, come back to you with Annabelle Fly. Mm, um. Unsure? Um, um, placed. Placed, a big chance then of getting creeping back into it. He's third placing in the race, now a 12 year old. Dingo Dollar, Ross Briley, give it to us. Come on. Nah. 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 What? Nah. Stay not. second in the Scottish National nah. last year. Ryan Mania nah. won on. Uh, Aurora's Encore. Aurora's Encore, having nah. won, done the not Scottish good enough. Route. He's not good enough. He He's might good be enough good enough to, to get in he likes him. the top. Not good enough to win. Sit, no. He was best in that Scottish National, didn't he? I'm just, I'm just winding you up here, Ross. I don't... No, he absolutely cruised, didn't he? I thought he he looked for all the... Did you back him in money? You must have done. No, he no. He cruised I... all the way down there straight last year. They, 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 they went for it. All right. Dingo Dollar, Barry's been backed, you said beforehand. Is this, that still the case? Uh, Dingo Dollar, yeah. There was a, we saw a few quid from earlier. I think it was more just around the prices. On the exchange, he's 48 now as well with Ryan Mania, previous winner. Right? Yeah, the maniac then rides for Sandy Thompson. It'd be great to see Sandy win this, wouldn't it? Uh, number 26. Uh, oh, I'll come to you with this one, Barry. Irish National winner, free win in Dillon. Um, oh, jumping. That's the worry, jump is it? Mm. Yeah. He, he was a he was a two hundred to one winner, wasn't he, or something? Oh, Ridiculous. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty, because they actually had a little bit on didn't they, the connections. No one knew last year. Uh, okay, the Irish national winner used number six Valverde used to be the race, didn't it? Class Conti. Uh, rag. Number 27, no chance. Rag, I think. Yeah, my son pulled that out in the pub sweeps. Like, what was he doing in there? You, you could ask. Well, exactly, yeah. His godfather runs it, but when he came out. <laughs> That's a great six, question. Uh, yeah. They pulled it out, and I went, tear it up, son, tear it up. So you, he's, that's the sod's law horse for me. Well, yeah. It'll be an expensive dinner, that's for sure, when I get home. Uh, Nat, good one to come to you with because you really fancied this at Cheltenham. It's Noble Yates, number 28. Yeah, hyphen in, laid out, um, absolutely 100% bought specifically for the national i know many are but absolutely bought for this so that sam can go out with retirement with a win that's what they want they put so much into the game they put so much money into the game is it going to be the winner probably not i would use is the, it going to be the fairy tale probably to not. sum it up for a word i would say target with what you've said there. A target 
Number 29, Ross Briley, Mighty Thunder, beat Dingo Dollar last year in the Scottish National. Nothing gone right since. No. Um, uh, sink. Going to... Because, no, they've thrown the, the kitchen, kitchen sink. sink. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, I right. get that. Okay. That's good one. Tie, cheap everything. pieces, wind, wind up, up. three-month break, everything's changed for, for him. Ahoy, senor. Derek Fox, one I for like our other team. Yeah, yeah. Lucinda Russells. Uh, OK, Barry Orr, this time last year, cloth cap went off 11-2. to two. Sum him up. <laughs> favourite. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. He went off 11 to 2 chance, 11 to 2 favourite in this race last year. Obviously, he's down to 147 now. He, he has to be there or thereabouts, doesn't he? With a clear round of jumping and uh, probably uh, tongue tie and cheek pieces on him for the first time as well. We'll be cheering him on for Tom Park, of course, who was with Matty Batch on this panel on Saturday, uh, Thursday even. And uh, it was his number one pick for Tom Scudamore. Uh, got the pieces on, Keith. Has this been the plan? Do you remember Rodway came in about a month yeah, ago? No, he, I, I reckon he's burning up the gallows. I, 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 put, I put Rodway on him, to be honest, uh, because it was after <laughs> Ascot that I, I, thought, I thought he was going to... He was 66s, so back then then, it looked like they were going to just plot him up at it. I yeah. wasn't that taken by Doncaster. He looked like a horse that was still gasping to me. So um, I'm not as confident as I was. I'm on him. He refused, He's... didn't he, Ascot? Well, he did. No, he hurt himself at Ascot. Did he? Uh, he was doing well at the time. He was. Yeah. He, I, th I thought right. it looked like a really well executed plan until Donny. I thought you've got five weeks, lads, and he still looks like he's choking. So I wasn't. I was less encouraged by that. I think we'd all want this one coming up. Number thirty-one. One of the highlights of the RP season that we've had so far. When she won the Beecher, it's Snow Leopardeski's Melrose. Hey, stamina. I'm not sure she'll stay. Beecher winner never done it in the same year. Mm. The national double. It's Rob said last night, that, isn't the, it? The, the beach of form. She's got to overcome every stat, hasn't she? She does. Yeah. And it, she's the narrative. She's the story. She is the she? story. Yeah, she is the story. All right, being told we've got to crack on. Just seeing her in pictures now, actually, on the rug off. But yeah, great She's story beautiful. for Alice Plunkett. I think she'll literally collapse. I'm on her anti post, she but she didn't make my top four, which we're getting close to. Augusta Gold? No. No. Commodore Barry. Bruce Millington's number one tip. Was money for him. Are we worried about the Venetia Williams stable? One word about him. One word about him. Lucky. To get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been a bit unlucky this season. We've only seen him once, but he beat Mr. Fog Patches. He's a good, he's a classy animal. Uh, Daisha Abba, Keith Melrose. Nutter. Mm. It's Sandown. Sandown. Sandown, I would have said Sandown. Sandown. Love yeah. Sandown. Uh, the teenager in the party for Dan Skelton, Harry Skelton, bidding to go one better than Shamblu, Black Lion. Mud. Loves the mud. Mm. Beach a winner, though. Loves these fences. First time, first time tongue tie in his teenage years. Mm. This would be Can't some story if Darren Yates. I mean, yeah, a lot, lot of people said sneered at Darren Yates because the money he spends on horses. But That's this would a be a great story. We his money to spend, isn't well. it? Yeah. Uh, I'd think it's your money to spend. It was a great piece, it. wasn't it, we, uh, mm. that we did with him leading into this. All right, number 36. Poker party. Anyone? Flop. No. No, no nap hand there then. Death. Preparation. Prepar what, what do you mean, Barry? You are pulled, up in the, pulled up in the cross country. It's, uh, yeah. it's not an ideal preparation for coming to a Grand National, is it? In an ideal world, uh, this team, Henry de Bromhead has won two last year, of course. That was, what was the second last year in the colours, wasn't it? What was it Balco called? Balco de Flo. Balco de Flo. Yeah. It was a massive Balco. prize. I was, so on, I was on that. A lot of people just be backing Henry's runners on the back of last year, and they were supposed to be riding Chris's dream, weren't they? Now find themselves on Poker Party. That's number 36. We're getting close. The producers will be happy. Death duty. One word, Ross Briley. Uh, yeah, form. Back he's, class. He's got no recent form. He's got the form. He's out of the Thiestes. He pulled clear in the in the Punchers Down race, which is rock solid form. That Cheltenham race, I think, is a solid trial for this. I think he's actually that school by hours race as well. He's got all he's the, the, the form horse throughout everything. He's one of the ones that you can plot every other horse's chance around the chance of death. Right for Jordan. Mm, I think that uh, I'm not yeah. saying he'll win, Some but he's, judges like that. he's got Sam to be Hendry involved. on the news desk. He's a good judge. He likes him as well. Jordan Gainford, what a ride this is. One of Gordon's uh, magnificent brood. Uh, Domaine de Lille, Sean Curran, Harry Bannister, Keith Melrose. Uh, Beecher's is the one word I'll use. He was fourth in the beach and he gets held up in races. I thought at one point he could have been a sort of horse for this race. Um, and because he's such a, mag a huge price, he's a horse I loved an awful lot, I have literally had the two quid on. Uh, okay. Three figures. Have you? Yeah, because he, he will hunt out the back when he was. We saw Rhea, in the beach. Rhea would be the way. Yeah, Behind he, he Snow Leopard is constantly there. stays on. Like, yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah. Nat, a clear surf, number 39, the penultimate runner on this extensive list. I know, I can't think of a good enough word. Um, I'm trying to think of like some, like a right chance, a right squeak. Prominence, I would say. If he can, if he can, if he, does he need to lead? 
That's the thing. Is he extremely well handicapped on the win my no, wings he's, form? He's, yes. he's well handicapped. The I, wouldn't see, I wouldn't see. He fits into the... or die. Won the Ida for coming here and taking this out. He snuck in. They probably he caught the bookies on the hot Barry, didn't he? This chap because they didn't think he was going to get in. Yeah, they didn't, Dave. Um, but obviously, once he got in, uh, his price contracted um, accordingly off the back of that collateral form or that form of win my wings. So. Uh, at the moment, he's he's on a bit of a drift. Actually, the last time I looked, out to seventeen now. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I guess the, yeah, that's leveling out. Tom Bellamy, big ride. One of two for Emma Lavelle. She's also got Derasha County in there. I like his chances a lot. And number forty, Fortescue, late. He's got in late. He gets home late. Everything he does is 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 late. But it might just be on time. But it's always he's, he's going to do it a little bit late. Everything's just just coming just. At the right end of the, uh, the, the back end of everything. That is number 40, one of the reserves that got in for to skew. OK, Barry, we've heard, we've gone all the way through them. Anything catching your eye on that exchange? Uh, Snow Leopardess has come in for support now. She's into 13.5. It, it's a real mature market, Dave, and I don't think it's going to change much between now and off time. Um, Sorry, that was the eight way. She's 9.8 now, any second now. So that, that's come in significantly. Snow Leopard S 14.5, 13 Manila times. Delta Work has come in for support now into 13, having reached 17.5 at one stage. Fiddler on the roof, 17. Enjoyed that Alan is at 25. Some money, two for gold, is into 48 as well. So uh, 6.3 million match so far in the race. Thank you, Barry, and thank you for joining us out there. We know you're here. This happened last year as well. We never see numbers like it on any other show. There is no other race like this in the world. We're all going to have a go at commentating, but before we do, we promised you the top fours. Barry, you've already given us your winner because they've had loads of time to back your longhouse poet. Who gets the silver? Who gets the bronze? And who's going to follow on home for the frame? Yeah, so the podium finishes for me. Longhouse poet, as you know. I think Enjoy Alan will be second. I fancy Burrow Saint to creep into uh, the bronze place and then the last on the podium I think could be a clear surf. Boom, there you go. If you want to play around with exotics or whatever, if you want to, you weren't sure, you thought, oh, I've got a fiver left or something like that, that's where Barry thinks you should be going. Uh, all right, uh, top three Irish, of course. What was the silly finish last year? How many were Irish? Uh, it was, well, 10 of 11, wasn't it? Black Lion was the only one. Black Lion was yeah, yeah, the best yeah. of the British last year when he was 12. So much strong John Harding made a really good point on uh, on a Paddy Power show this morning. He said that it's a much stronger British challenge this year. It's not like Yala Enkies and people like, bless Yala Enki, but he's old and exposed. Mm. Look at you know, Nancy switching. A far colours. more, a far stronger and more I'm unexposed ready. British challenge this year. Right. I'm ready. Right. I'm having it. it. I, I'm ready. I'm having it because it's my top four. Are you ready? And yes, I love these silks. If anyone from the analysis department is watching this, they'll say, this is the pinnacle of Dave Orton's career because <laughs> they used to wonder if I had pyjamas of, uh, of the Giggins down because I just used to, when they first came on the scene, I was like, these guys are going to be big. And uh, I think being big and bold, my top four in the national, the Nash in this order, Delta Work, not worried about the drift, came back to life in the cross country for Gordon Elliott, bidding to do a silver birch, who did that double as well. Booze shot Bambi's mother, didn't he? Of course, when he saw off Tiger Roll, basically. But watch that back. You've got time. The further he goes, if you remember, Barry, when he came into the home straight in the cross country, Tiger went seriously low, didn't he? he? Looked like he had him cooked. And he showed a great attitude, which is what I wanted to see. Yeah, he showed a really good attitude. And obviously, you know, <laughs> the fairy tale was a bit party poop. But in reality, you know, they knew it felt to work with, with uh, Jack and the plate. He, this has been the plan all along. It's been, he's had a good sound preparation and, you know, he's, he's been supported accordingly. Yeah, where is he now in the market? Has he come back in a little bit? Yeah, he's into 13 now, That's yeah. That's it. Yeah. Come on, the silks are ready. Followed home by any second now. Have I got him on? To, uh, no. uh, oh, yeah, Claire Surf. I think he'll be up there all the way. Front runners in this. Wing my wings for him. She's what? How much higher is she than when he, got, when he was, was, was close to now? Something like 20 stone. How well, much? She's, is, oh, she's got, well, I don't know what she got. Went up for here. She went, she went up, up 12 pounds. and then up, so that's what? She went eight, eight for Newcastle and then how much yeah. for here? 
14. 14. Yeah, 14. 22 stone. pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a stone. Yeah. He still thinks it will win 22 the Betfred 6 pounds higher, yeah. 22 pounds higher. And the handicap of Wood Paul Moore on a clear serve. I think that's the one that's got in and is going to get... It's four pounds well in, isn't he, a clear serve? Any second yeah. now. We remember watching his show last year, right? We just couldn't believe how well he did to get back into the race. I just... I don't know. There's a big stat in the National, you know. Eight of the last nine have been seeing these fences for the first time. It's changed on its head, that. Well, the only one it wasn't was Tiger Roll. The only one that wasn't... And, what ha- the reason why you host, as well. you know. What's Mom basically knows. happened is that um, you know they, they used to get an advantage for having course experience, but you showed a little yeah. bit more of the handicapper. The advantage is not there anymore because the fences are easier. Mm. And Fortescue will be my frame horse. Uh, saw off Fiddler on the Roof, didn't he? Better the further he went. Again, it was a race we covered, and he he, he went high and running. It looked like Fiddler had him cold. He went really, really low, and he just got in. And don't mm. forget, he's also got form with Sam Brown, who took out the preceding race as well. Raw guy form, isn't it? That Peter Marsh looking a bit tastier now. Dave Orton's top four, headed by Delta Work. Right, who's next uh, on the list? It is Roscoe. Yes. Top four, please. I'm with Barry, I'm with Longhouse Poet mainly. Um, I think that I watched that Thiesti, there was a sigh in my, in my ear then, as if Barry went off, for God's sake. <laughs> the mocker's it. on it. But uh, I think that Thiesti's, I watched that Thiesti's race. Uh, before the race, I thought, this is a really strong renewal. During the race, I thought, this is brutal. Um, I think the form is, is, is strong, and um, I just really like the way he went about it. He really battled on, he found plenty for pressure, beating Franco de Port. I agree, the concern is that it might come a season too soon. Uh, 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 as Barry said with number six, Valverde, I wonder whether they maybe have got a bit carried away going this year. But yes. um, he, that, I think that Thiesti's form is rock solid. He's my number one. Um, uh, you've got to throw Iscaria 10 in off the same form, I think. Oh, okay. shuddering error early on in that Thiesti's wasn't really picked up or made that much of it. Never got really back into the race until it was too late. Used up all the gas to get onto the heels of them uh, and then faded late on. But like I said, I think it's good form. I think that is really good form. Um, Santini gets thrown in there as well. Uh, been consistently running well this season. Like I said, RPR's a 156 on its last two starts. A stone lower than it was last year. Um, Aintree horse over the normal fences. We were saying, oh, Santini this, Santini that. Uh, it's, it, he's been running grade ones and grade twos for, for, for God knows how long. No wonder he's been getting out of class. And the other one is Enjoy Delen, who, if he, was, if he had a nicer name, he'd be half the price, I think. Um, nobody wants to back a horse called Enjoy Delen. They want to back your Bobbies, they want to back your Freds, they yeah. want to back all those. Your snow leopardesses. Yeah, they want to back ones that are like, oh, I'm back this. You go, Enjoy Delen. How do you spell this that? This is that race, isn't it? Yeah, so I think, and he's. I fancied it. I thought when he finished at Leopardstown, I thought that's a potemp source. Uh, yeah. But obviously, then JP's bought him. They sent him over fences. He just runs the same race over and over again, and um, that might be good enough to win. There you go, Ross Briley. He will be doing the initial commentary. Is that Peter O'Sullivan? He's doing the O'Sullivan. You're doing yeah. the, the O'Sullivan. I'm stitch. leading you up to the first fence. I know. Peter, I to, oh, and as they approach on, the first, I, I can nail Peter O'Sullivan. Then they put a camera on me, and I can't. Oh, <laughs> I can't work on that one. Natty Green, the RP Live Queen, gives us her top four. Drum roll, please. That was a really bad one because my paper's in the way. Um, I'm just going to be brave. I kind of agree that Barry said his one word for any second now was time, but I'm going to stick with my my gut. Any second now is my first on the podium. Longhouse Poet, Solid you've already on, given though. lots of reasons why. I just think yeah, the potential of Longhouse Poet is enormous. Delta Work showed us what he's made of really in the cross-country race. I liked that. I liked a lot about the horse. I can see him absolutely hitting the frame. And Dinger Dollar is my big risk. And it is literally my kind of wild card. You've got to have a wild card. It's like every house programme. The, the three, three good properties and they throw one in. Uh, you tell me that and I'll believe you. Yeah, and I, and I love Dinger Dollar in the Scottish National when he got pipped. I was absolutely gutted because I was all in. And I, I loved that I performance. Like that Ryan's in great form. Sandy's frustrated this season. Uh, it'd be a real pick up if you hit the frame with this horse. Yeah, you know Sandy Thompson pretty well. I do, he's, a, oh, he's fantastic. He's, a, he's not frustrating me, he's had some great results, but he's just like, it's, it's, not it's, all going right. Isn't it because Ryan's riding more for Sue Smith? I thought Ryan was a really big help at that yard. Yeah. And that Ryan's now not there so much, might have just taken the wee, wee edge off. But Sandy's still a great trainer. That, that is a pretty solid list, I'm going to give you that. I thought long and hard about putting any second now on top, like this man next to you. Keith Melrose, betting editor of the Racing Post. Your top four in the 2022 Nash. Yeah, so four, it's going to be a clear serve. I think if he get, if he holds in good position for the first six fences, first mile, he's going to be right up there. He stays so well, he jumps very well, he tries dead hard. Uh, so he's third, uh, fourth in for me. Longhouse Poet, like that tie he stays for him, and he is, I like how the way he stayed on in that race. Santini, we've discussed Santini before. 
Uh, and I, I just think, yeah, he, he's actually punching down here. We, we slag him off. He's always been a bit of a bridesmaid. Yeah. But that's at Gold Cup level. You know what he is. I think we'd all stand up and clap if Santini won. Well, I certainly would. Let's, let's, let's get that money. balance right. <laughs> yeah. We like to and, have a uh, pop, and We your, love these horses. Your winner. Oh, hey, looky, looky, looky. It's looky. another JP. Come on, Michael O'Neill. Looky. No. For once, I'm with Ryan <laughs> It's uh, any second now because I was seeing that on the... Uh, well, it's sort, of ha it's sort of come true, although he is drifting a little bit. In fact, Run Wild Fred's favourite on the machine. What? But, uh, any second now, I said this morning... Oh, Betfair, yeah, he's on, he's on 10.5. Oh, well, they do it? call it the machine, people, don't they, of course? It's, uh, just, it's an affectionate term. And... Um, yeah, he, he stands out in terms of his profile. Yes, I thought after last year that was his chance and the chance had gone. I think we both said that, didn't we, Ross, after last year's running. But the Bobby Joe, when he, which he wouldn't have been fully fit for, told me that he actually always was a grade one horse. He genuinely did, was a grade one horse that any other owner would have probably won a grade one with. But McManus wins so many grade ones anyway, he doesn't need to bother. And he can even win the National again. And uh, I'm not that funny. Had he not been hampered last year, he would have... Let's see, if it, let's see if it... It was a remarkable run to get as close as he did. Don't even, you don't think he would? I think, we, 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 we all said that, didn't we? Won, yeah, I yeah. think he would have won too. We don't even need to get into that, though, because even if he dead heated with Manella Times, just say, oh, look, you know, Manella Times is £15 higher now and it showed yeah. nothing. Whereas uh, any setting now is seven pounds higher and has won the Bobby Joe. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Absolutely you fantastic. Go on, Barry. Give us the update. Where's it going? Come on. Any second now was out to thirteen point five at one stage. There he's twelve point five now. Run Wild Fred was into uh, nine point eight. He's ten. Manila Times fourteen. Delta Work fourteen. Fifteen. Longhouse Poet and Eclair de Surf. So I suppose the story is Run, Run Wild Fred. Uh, looks like it's going to go off favourite on Beffer SP. Wow. Is that the Davy Russell thing? Factor. No. I won't, no, it's didn't. Freds. It's how many Freds are out there back in the national? Yeah. <laughs> the best fear. The best Running fear wild, they are. They yeah. are. <laughs> run wild, Fred. <laughs> back him. Back him now. Run wild, Fred. Run away. It's great to see you out there. We know you're watching. Wherever you are in the world, let us know. Let's hear you out there. Lots of dingo dollars going in with that mighty dunder to win. Go Manella, says Julia Domagla. I love it. We're all out there. This is absolutely fantastic. They're asking if it started yet. Yeah, it hasn't. Don't They're worry, not yet. Down. Do not worry. I'm feeling so, nervous. Who would have thought Run Wild Fred? Well, maybe Bruce Millington who put it on his four, uh, 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 on yesterday's show, but I don't know. JS is watching in Portugal. Ola? I feel is nervous. It no, it's not Ross, Ola. Go on, Ross. <laughs> that's, bit, that's funny. I know how to say obrigado. Oh, ob everyone obrigado. knows obrigado. Go, Thank yeah. you. Quite right. Absolutely. I went to Brazil and that's the one word I could say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it worked out all right, actually. I mean, Run um, Wild Fred, let's, I mean, Run Wild, like I said, I thought far class. Farclass is going to be my national horse this year. He's not winning. Run Wild Fred battered Farclass. They're making a line, a guys. Players. They are making a line. Have we got this ready? Because we are taking each a little segment. We know you, some of you don't have pictures out there. Social comment up there. Keely Walton, the last one before the Nash. Any second now. Snow Leopardess and Run Wild Wilfred. Please win, says Keely. We will scream it for you, Keely, out there. Worry not. All right, then. Racing Post Live, myself, Dave Orton, Ross, Peter O'Sullivan, Briley, Nat Green, Keith Melrose and Barry Orr from Betfair all in on the way. Get ready for the ride. Barry, come on. You know, I'm fascinated with this. Is it now going to be Ron Wild Fred going off Fav, the punter's hero? Sorry, no. <laughs> I just you dropped out there. I was going to I was going to say, Barry, is he definitely going to go off Fav, Ron Wild Fred? Yeah, it looks like it's yeah. going to be a messy start, but Run oh, Wild no. Friends five, uh, yeah, ten point five, twelve Mount five, Ida. second now, Oof. thirteen five yeah. Delta work. Thank you. Here we go, much. guys. No, Good luck. Then here we go. Uh, Let's yeah. enjoy it's it. Peter O'Sullivan brought back to you in the guise of Ross Briley himself. Have you? Everyone could do. Oh, so. Ida's not, not going. Not going yeah. in with them just yet. Oh, what is going I'm, on? I'm with not them even going to try and do. I'm not even going to try and uh, besmirch the memory of Peter O'Sullivan <laughs> uh, by uh, by. There's a lot of people watching. Thank you, turn. Oh, here comes Mount Ida. Taking Mount, a turn. Mount Ida's trying uh, to join now. now. In 2013, when Aurora's uncle won, they changed the start. And ever since, it has been a little bit better because yeah. he used to get freaked out by the crowd. We're watching go down the Melling Road. Oh, I mean, are we ready? Do we know our places? Do we yeah. know what we're you, doing you, here? So, Melling Road, you go to... you uh, yeah. Fourth, fourth fence-ish to me. Uh, Just give me the signal, One yeah? after Valentine's to that. I was made for this. Come on, let's do it. So is everyone out there. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Made for this. <laughs> Honestly, this I've never seen someone so excited. This is amazing. Look, this is this is tricky to try and get four to Here we go. Yeah, Here yeah, we go. Going. And they're, they're off and racing. Yay! Yay! They're, they're off and racing. Yay! They're 
off. Goal. They're off for the 2022 uh, Adri Grand National. Commodore a little bit slowly away at the uh, the back, but uh, coming up uh, as they approach the first fence, a Longhouse Poet is not too far away. Freewheeling Dylan is not too far away Don't either. Look now, it's the first. We've also got Death Duty as uh, on the uh, the outside as well as we hand you over to Dave Orton. Okay, and it looks like it's going to be up the front one while free. Oh, we lost one. Oh, we lost one. Enjoy Dallin. Enjoy Dallin. Enjoy Dallin, I think. It was that Enjoy Dallin. One has gone at the first. Oh, my goodness gracious. He's always one, isn't it? And apparently they made it easier to jump, said Matty Batch. What else is up there? Looking for two. Lost in Translation is up there. Gone, yeah. On the outside, two for gold for Dave Bass as well. What's oh, this yeah. in the red colours on the inside? Oh, look at that. Longhouse Poet right up there as well. Winkle lost another goal. Oh, my goodness. Carnage. Oh, A couple word. have gone. What was that red, with the red, red and the green? McManus. Red Cat McManus. Annabelle Fly's gone. Annabelle Fly, Annabelle gone. Fly has gone. Twice made the frame in the race. Not this year. Let's hope he's all right. Looking for any second now. He's out the back. Just watching it. Burrow Saint getting a look as well. Run Wild Fred. Extremely well backed. Let's look for my Delta work. Where are you, Delta work? Let's have a little look. Give me this. I hear out there. And around the front is Coco Beach in front from two for golds up there too. Cloth Cap is prominent, as is Longhouse Poet up on the inside. We're approaching Beaches, so we've got to go over to Nat. Uh, no, it's over to you. No, it's over to me, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Freewheel and Dylan's prominent as well. Out widest of all, we've got the second. Kildas Art has taken a very wide route, as is Class Conti. Top view, Ben is in midfield and white. Iscaria 10 in a nice position in midfield. Dingo Dollars in midfield as he jumped Beachers. The leaders are all over Beachers, I think. They've all cleared Beachers. They have. They're all the way to Foyne even now, and we've still got, well, any second now is mid-division, in a decent position, looking comfortable. Coco Beach is in front now, two for gold up there, two Longhouse Port is in third and Cloth Cap fourth. At the back, what do we have there? Is that Mighty Thunder out the back? I think Kildas Art is... Deja was right out the back. He's been pulled up before the canal turn. Here's a canal turn, it's Coco Beach in front. This is a great Two for gold. Lost in translation, Provident. Whoa, he cornered that like a greyhound, didn't he? So we're going down out of Valentine's, oh, but we've lost one here. Death Duty, death duty has gone at the, at the canal turn. They're going to jump Valentine's now. Coco Beach clears it with two for gold. Longhouse Poet is prominent again and is now over at Natalie Green. David Bass is as enthusiastic and prominent oh, as ever. Gone, two it? for gold is jumping absolutely brilliant. Right there up front. Cloth Cap's jumping really well. Claire and a nice with My well. Dingo Dollars Claire hit a place no is also goodness. with ah. a big white cheek piece on. Dingo Dollars in it and riding a good race at the moment. Loss in translation is far more prominent than I thought it was going to be. Which We've lost Manella it? Times as well. Manella, Manella Times. 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 David Bass is still prominently at the front of us. We've got the grey as well in the hood, which I really can't say which number it is. Uh, cloth Cap running Cooker Cooker Beach. Cooker Cooker Beach. Beach. Cooker I said it wasn't very good. Um, yes, Cloth Cap still there running well. My Ding of Dollars running well. We've got... No, there's no, oh, there's really no Bill Yates. The uh, this, the Santini's in there. Is still there. He's creeping Santini. And he's across the Milling Road. Is Ross Briley. Ross. Thank you very much. As they cross the Melling Road and uh, they uh, they come around the uh, the bend, it is two for gold uh, on the uh, the inside or the outside, sorry, of uh, of Coco Beach. On the uh, the wide outside is the uh, the Minion Silks of Lost in Translation. Very similar on the inside is Freewheeling Dylan. Uh, Freewheeling Dylan is being tracked by the. Uh, uh, the Trevor Hemmings uh, silks there of cloth cap, cloth cap behind those lo longhouse poet who's racing very fresh and is in, uh, enjoying every single he's moment great of spin, this he? race. Yes, he really is having a great spin. He's enjoying his time in the race. Uh, Sam Crow is not too far away as well in the yellow cap on the wide outside of Sam Crow is Fiddler on the roof. Dingo Dollar not too far away as well as they come to uh, uh, to jump this one two for gold and Coco Beach. The very Scarama experienced seven-year-old is enjoying times as well. Yeah, we just Disco Rama pulled up says Barry. Disco Rama is uh, pulled. Up as well. Noble uh, Yates is nice on the inside. Yeah, right. Yeah, Noble Yates, Noble Yates is really coming into A last this. Last ride over these famous fences for Mr. Aintree and Sam Wadey Cone. Good boy, Bobby, hampered there. Badly yeah. hampered. Yeah, two for goal. Coco Beach, Longhouse oh, Poets, uh, Cloth horses. Cap, Loose, loose oh, Horses causing havoc for loss in translation. Romain de Sanam, Ascaria okay. 10's got a nice position. Fiddler on the roof. Circuit. On the inside, Noble Yates. And uh, and just behind those, we've also got Santini, who's going a great guns as well. Longhouse Poet, uh, oh, Dingo, we've well, we we lost a couple ah. there at the chair. Killed us Gone. Gone. Conti gone. Kill the sort has gone, uh, and at the back uh, we uh, might well have also lost. We've lost another one. Uh, Schoolboy hours, I think, has also gone there as well. As they jump the uh, the water jump uh, and they uh, approach the uh, the bend and come round into the home straight, uh, we have lost a few of them there, uh, and we will Russia clear that up in a second. Derasha Count is also out of it. Well. Deshaab is out. Yeah, he was pulled up the, the, the home side. straight. Right, let's tell you who's out in front. It is Coco Beach currently who's still out in front with two for gold behind those lost in translation. Ascari ten really catching the eye. Long out. Poet's been in a nice position. Santini down Pulling the inside. Pulling up Snow Leopardess. Yeah. Leopardess, yeah. Pulled out. Leopardess is out of the race. Too fast yeah. the ground for her. Fiddler on the roof, not Dingo too far Dollar away. Dingo Dollar dropping out. Cloth yeah. Cap is coming it? into no, it as well. Dunder, sorry, not Dingo Dollar. Not Dingo Dollar. Any
any second now catching the eye. He's gone favoured on the exchange and he's going very well indeed. Uh, and also at uh, in the uh, the mix as well. Uh, could well be Romain de Sonam. Uh, over to you, Dave Orton. Christ! Okay, I can see him on the inside. I can see him there. Black lines creeping away a little bit. This is where they start to step on the gas a little bit. Bypass the next. They're okay. going to bypass the next. Guess what the clock says? 30 miles an hour as they bypass whatever fence this oh, is. Santini doesn't like Santini that. Santini is loving life, isn't he, on the inside? But he's got to switch. Poker party nine out of it. Ascaria 10 creeping close. Look at lost in translation. A back class horse has placed in a gold cup. What's this on the wide outside? Freewheeling Dylan there as well. Who needs colours? Uh, Roman de Sinan, massive outsider. Social runner, we said. He's going really well, but at the moment it is day pass. Two for gold. Over to Keith Melrose. Lost in translation. Having a great spin in the Grand National. Who'd have thought that? Coco Beach and two for gold are still up there. Longhouse Poet has kept his position. He's been third just about all the way. Freewheeling Dylan is there too. Noble Yates and Santini have kept crept up the inside all the way. Longhouse Poet hit the one before Beechers. They're now coming to second Beechers. Fitness there'll there. be a big one here. There are still about 20 that could win this Grand National. Uh, Santini and Noble Yates continue to catch the eye at the inside. Dingle Cloth Dollar is holding on to it. Cloth Cap is again choked, I think, and oh, pulled dear. up. Yeah. So here we go to Beechers. Coco Beach oh, and two for gold over it. Great jump in there. Santini's over it. They're all over Beechers again. Yeah. Nothing has fallen at Beechers in this year's Grand National. Unbelievable, that might be the first time it's ever happened. They're on the way to Foyn even now, and it's still Coco Beach and two for gold. Longhouse Poet cuts the corners oh, again. It's another one. He has He's made a few right, mistakes. No. He's, He's made a few. Right. Will they tell towards the end of the race? Any second now continues to creep. Mark Your Walters now looking to try and get a position. It's tight. He's beside Fiddler on the roof. He's got Sam Crow is outside who's still coming. there. They jump the canal turn now. They both ping that. Noble Yates cuts the corner really again, as does Santini. They're now on their own to second Valentine's. are still. Dingo Dollar does not see in the corner. Oh no. And we've got the uh, Brahma Bulls getting pulled up at the back. They've all jumped Valentine's. Two for gold makes a mistake there, and it's now over to Natalie Green. Yeah, Lost in Translation is just getting such a nice time of things, getting a little bit of room, enough room. He's really getting him into a beautiful rhythm. Look Two for Delta. gold. Davis is Noble Yates. Away a little bit more. Now, Noble Yates continues to catch the eye and is just creeping into the race under Sam Whaley Cohen, who's just been there on the inside, put him in the mix a bit more. And every time he asks him to pick up, he is putting in a really fine round of jumping Come so on, Death far. Duty. Yeah, Death Fortescue Duty. Fortescue and Seats. Fortescue's oh, yeah. gone. Oh, Fortescue and Seats. Uh, the oh, good boy Bobby pulled up at the back. Is it back to you now? Oh, or Ross? It one is. more fence and it's Ross. Right, one more fence and then it's Ross. <laughs> Surely the one to beat here yeah, is he's he? getting some spin for no, Oh, yeah, absolutely tanking. Catching the eye in this more than anything else. Could a seven year old, the first seven year old since 1940, if Noble Waits can actually get this up? Ross Riley. Ross. Over to me, thank you. Okay, freewheeling Dylan, the Irish Grand National winner in front. The incredibly experienced seven-year-old uh, Coco Beach is uh, running an absolute blinder. Longhouse Poet now asks for an effort. Santini, Ascari, Ter. Black Lion pulls up at the back. Black Lion pulled up at the at the back. Uh, catching the eye is uh, last year's unlucky any second. Lost in translation chokes. We're also not completely out of it for Delta Work, who's catching the eye Delta. coming into it. Come on, Santini. He's coming seven now. or eight in with a chance. Uh, freewheeling Santini. Dylan. Santini. Santini Here comes tanks. Longhouse Come on, Santini. Come on, Delta. Santini. And uh, we've got plenty in I'm with. On the bridle. We've got plenty in with chances uh, here. Uh, Two out. We've got plenty in with chances here. Longhouse poet. Noble. Come Yates. on, oh, Here comes Delta. And Noble Yates. Yates. Any oh, second. Oh, come on, Noble. As well, Santini plugging on, but it's We're Noble all in Yates. With a chance. It is any second. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Noble Yates. Ah. and Bailey Cohen's last year's unlucky. Come on, any second now. Any second now. He's got this lad. Come on, any second now. Come on, Walsh. And Mark Walsh. Come on, any second now. Walsh. Noble Yates, though fresh. It's not the It's not the Someone's going to do it. 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 Someone's going to do it.
That is remarkable. He told us in the week after Jet, if you were watching the Fox under chase, Look the first everyone. of the races, he it flopped and he said, this will be my last race. 38 rides Sam Whaley Cohen has had over these national fences for five wins, six seconds and seven thirds. What an unbelievable career. He's such a good guy. He remembers long run. 50 to one then. Any second now. No, long run. Long run. He won the Gold Cup on long run. Do you know what? When they bought long run, they bought him for the national. They That's wanted, a, the oh, national, it's in your form as well, isn't it? The National was the race they wanted oh. to win with him, and they've done it. And you know what? One in the eye for me, because I, I was a fan of Logan Yates at an early stage, but when I watched the ultimate oh. back, I thought, Willie cohen has gone at the game. He's, just not, he's retiring, he's not got it anymore, and look at what that has done. He's just won a National. Well, Jet was just a warm-up, wasn't Things it? Things like this just around. don't often, like, come true. Honestly, I, I, imagine the party they're going to have tonight. Like... Th to announce, to, to be brave enough live on ITV to say, I'm going to retire after the national, to that get to buy dig, this horse, it? to then go to the Ultima. And we're all, I, you know, I, Dave, you know I loved this horse and I was on and on about Noble Yates. Yeah. And then, Keith, to be fair, we both, it was such an eye catcher throughout, really. Right. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this, yeah. The national. You'll be getting all your comments, of right, course, later on, 6 We'll try and give you our uh, finishing all the places we can. Let's so do we've it. got a. Santini's no, run a blind. Santini's finished fourth. Uh, he's finished fourth, is he? Yeah, he's no blind. He's noble, yeah, he's any second now. Um, Delta Death works. Duty, Santini. Delta, Duty, sorry, Delta, Delta works run yeah. really well. He probably just did Fiddle on the roof. Chelsea and left his mark and that that poet? Fiddle on the roof and long as poet at fifth and sixth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think. I'm pretty probably sure. so we'll, just, we'll just give you it here for the people watching, actually, because, you know, it goes down to sixth or seventh now. First, noble, yeah, second, any second now. Uh, third, Delta work, as we said. Oh, come on. The telly's gone away. Yeah, uh, the story of the 10 fell off the, out the back of the telly a little bit. Long as poet for a long way, Barry looked like he was going to get you the money, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He traded a low 130 in running, Dave. He's got it. He's given him a great spin. He just hadn't got that. Just hadn't got it when when push came to the shove. I think he's still finishing the places on the sports book. Uh, I think he finished sixth. This is absolutely fantastic. This is why we get out of bed and do this show for you guys. This is the day. This is the race. They're back. The Whaley Cones, if you don't know about them, they love the national fences or the horses they buy. They try and have to think about getting there. Obviously, they've you know got uh, like some very classy horses like Long Run. He's a good guy, Sam. So, uh, this, we, have we told the story about this horse coming into the Whaley Cohen's hands? Do we, we've told, you know, it was bought after the national yeah. entries came out by yeah. by from, from Paul Byrne. Uh, Paul Byrne. Have, uh, they got, this horse is only just qualified for the national. To qualify for the national these days, you have to have run six times over fences, finished in the first four over three mile or two mile seven plus. Uh, and this horse has done the latter once. He done it when he was second in the Towson to a Hoy Senor. Uh, he's only run six times over fences before today. He beat, and he's seven, which is a, the, the minimum age for the national these days. Yeah. He literally scraped him in as unexposed as you could possibly manage. Emmett Mullins has got a reputation as a shrewd trainer. What it means is he targets horses at races. And now he's he's landed the biggest one of all. I just you know if you follow the trends you can't back seven year olds in the national. But I've been saying this week the more they modify it, it's going to happen at some point. And they they I, I thought this was a bit of a crazy buy. I'm going to say that now because I just thought hang on a minute this is too soon for him. So Emmett Mullins has got it right again, hasn't he? Was it? I mean a novice winning the national as well. I mean, uh, well rule the, rule the world rule the world was a novice second season novice but he was a novice. Mm. He was a run Wilfred. He was a runner. There were yeah. some also rounds, but the snow leopardess just didn't turn up, did no, she? Well, sadly. I think she just no. wanted to be in front and pigging fences. Once she wasn't doing that, I don't and think she had much fun. No, she didn't enjoy it as I much. Didn't see her at the start, but now the times went early. You can pick away yeah, every failed. single stat and everything. This, this, this doesn't always happen. Like, I mean, look at his father. Like, this is ah, oh, makes me cry. It's so and on sweet. On Sam's final ever ride, mm. he bows out with a grand national winner. They will be oh. writing this into folklore. <laughs> we thought, we yeah. thought it was going to be Davy, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, to be fair to Sam, <laughs> he's used to people looking at him with their mouths open, but this is uh, for a slightly more yeah. positive reason, I think. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was the a canal pitch, turn, the root canal, the root turn, canal turn. Early, didn't we? It was a pitch perfect <laughs> ride, um, and he really held his nerve uh, throughout. So, you know, it's, it, yeah, it, no, it was, and, and any second now, just it channeled him into the right place. <laughs> he's got the gold. Absolutely. He's capped it off. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely capped off his career. But the he, dentist oh, basically. It was such a good ride. And, and I mean any second yeah. now, everything went wrong for him last year. Everything went right for any second now this year. He was getting and, and Mark, last year well, was his chance, wasn't it? Last year was his chance. Seven pounds less he wins last year and that's but Mark, hugely popular it, wow. with the he's one of the best amateurs we've seen, obviously, so, isn't he? I mean Mark, Mark, Walsh. Well, Mark Walsh, I mean Mark Walsh, I think, this year has come of age a little bit. He's been obviously mm. he's, he's struggled to find his place in, in the shadow of Ugarities and, and, and trying to get you know, he he 
won a grade one uh, on a big prize a few years ago, and then it's not quite clicked for him, but he's looked like everything has, has really come to the fore for him this season. He's become a very mature and reliable jockey on the, uh, on the top stage, and that was... He, didn't, he hasn't won the national, but that was one of his finest rides. I think he's done every single thing right. It was ballsy as well, wasn't it? It was, yeah, because he, he looked at everyone Rose and went, I'm not, I'm not getting involved in Jack this. Jack Kennedy thing. tried to do the same as well on Delta Work, who looked like he was there and just, just, just didn't quite get home. The seven pound more for any second now? Well, also, you've got to see with seven pounds less he wins. Um, and last year, we see he probably would have won without it. So last year, it turns out, was his, look, he's coming around absolutely blinding race. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Last, it turns out in the fullness of time, last year was his chance. There's your top four then. Who had it in the right order? Oh. We'll be picking the bones out of this next week, no doubt. People can keep letting us know. We're not yeah. far off going I on there. What an afternoon we've had. Noble Yates, the seven-year-old then beats last year's runner-up again. Any second now. Delta work. The cross-country winner, best of Gordons then, and Santini. I mean, the result that makes a lot of sense. I know it's a 51 winner. Yeah. But yeah, you know, no, it's it the, most, the least exposed horse in the field since won it. Well, you've got basically you've got uh, the least exposed horse in the field beating the horse three great horses. Horse. Yeah, Are we going to see yeah, exactly. more novices yeah. now aim for the national? Well, I think it's the way to yeah. go. I mean, what happened though? Emmett Mullen started his horses over fences in what September? Like he, yeah. it's, this horse has been running over fences for a while. We no, say novice, no, yeah, but he's had a, he's had a relatively busy novice campaign because he's had to. You have to get six runs in, and uh, he went off. He ran in the Paddy Power, didn't he, at Christmas? Yeah, he's running. So what he's done in that time, Mullins, is he's yes, it's a novice, and we say, oh, novice, this, novice. The horse has got big handicap experience. Yeah. He's run on a grade mm. two. He's run six times over fences. He's been at it for what seven, eight months. That's experience. That's getting experience. That is that is putting the well, emphasis on getting experience without. He's, Showing your hand. Despite the fact that he was so unexposed and so inexperienced, he's he's, he's number twenty eight. He's not number thirty nine, is he? You know yeah. what I mean. He's yeah, actually yeah. managed to get a, a, a he's good. He's managed to get a good enough level so that he's got in off a fairly light yeah. weight, but he's not absolutely well, he was, sailed off at the at the bottom of the weights. So. When he got when he ran in the tout and he was entered in a couple of races, and the, I think they did that to get a look at his mark. Uh, that was the last. Was that the last weekend before the marks could change? Probably was. Uh, and he just knew he had to. He saw he had one four six, and he thought, you know what, that's probably enough. 146 would have normally been in the 30s Fifth in previous set. years, wouldn't it? But this year, I think the, the floor was a little lower than the national this year, so 146 ended up being 28. I mean, <sighs> it, 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 you've made a schoolboy error there, because I remember at, at Cheltenham I was saying you were just following the car up ramble form off a cliff. And <laughs> so the winner comes from the Cheltenham Festival as well. Um, all right, when you were with him, Nat, and uh, it just shows you how it goes, doesn't yeah, it? So, yeah. Look, that's the story. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. You're yeah. going to be seeing the front page of the Racing Post. It's all about Sam Whaley Cohen. It's all about Noble Yates. What a race it was. Barry, it's been an absolutely fantastic week. What was the liquidity in the end for the race, just out of interest? Uh, uh, 7.8 million. Wow. There you go. The that turnover is, is back. Crowds are back. Aintree will be absolutely toasting this tonight. They'll be going Oh, they're going to go mad. Mental. They're going to go absolutely mad. This is great. We're going to go History. mental as well after this. It's, be on the it's been a long week. It's been a great week. It's been thanks to the boys in the gallery, Dan Walsh yes. and, uh, and Dave Lowe as well. We've had Will along the way, Kieran, all the guys. And Ben Blackmore doing the social today. Jamie yesterday as well. Barry, superb stuff. All changed now. We switch our attentions. But tonight we'll just be thinking of those famous colours and Sam Whaley Cohen. Yeah, fantastic result. Great to see. Uh, delighted for Emmett Mullins and delighted for Sam Whaley Cohen, who's going to obviously retire. Uh, we won 425 quid over the three days for retraining of racehorses. So we'll put that in the bank and see if we can add with over the coming, uh, uh, over the coming shows for the month of April. Brilliant stuff, Barry. The Big Hitter will be back with us every Saturday. If you're new to the show, you're wondering, this is where you get your race reactions. This is where we tell you about the Betfair products, all the sports, but that's the more traditional bookmakers on. Of course, the real market, seven and a bit million matched on the exchange today. How many of you had Noble Yates? Go and have a drink if you did. Barry, well deserved. Enjoy the Masters on your day off on Monday. Quizmaster, great double stint. Great to have you down. Oh, it's great. And you know what? It, it... What Watch the National was, just having those two horses up the up at the elbow. Uh, when was the last, well, Pleasant Company and Tiger Roll the last time we had that? Mm. You know, a real, and that wasn't even a scrap as such, that was Tiger Roll, Dawson and Taunt and everybody, but great to have that, to see them, a real National where there's two at it right at the finish. Yeah. Oh. We'd have been livid if we'd have backed any second now this year, though, as well, even, even more so than last year. Well, I did. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. I did. Well, well, they had him on top, didn't you? We close, livid. but no cigar now. Yeah, but the, I don't care. This is like, this, this is just the best. I'm so, I, I'm not even bitter. Yeah. It's just amazing. Absolutely buzzing. Nat, thank you for leaving Hogwarts and coming down and joining us for <laughs> the day. I've got to go back to Hogwarts. You've got to go back now. <laughs> 
Well, let's hope it warms up a little bit before you'll be seeing that very shortly again on our screens, as you will, Ross Briley. Yeah, uh, I'll be in your uh, your seat next Saturday for you whatever are. whatever that is. But yeah, um, I can't remember what Easter meetings are on. Saturday, so Musselburgh's on. Good Friday. Isn't it the Greenham? Champions. Newbury. I know it was on Friday, but Saturday. Yeah. God knows. We might see a guinea sauce. Newbury, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but um, but yeah, where I mean, better place to watch it? It was like, yeah. doing all your homework. Yeah, I mean that was. I mean it was a great race. It was um, uh, so many of the right horses were in the mix. Your Ascari attends your Longhouse Poets. Your, your your Delta works. All the right horses. Any second now. Yeah, it really was, wasn't it? Yeah. Apart from last year's winner Manella Times, you, that, we did that good. Was the only one. You really we did all right, didn't we? we Santini, Santini in the mix as well. Yeah, what he's had an absolute blinder. Yeah, he's been he's been he's exactly. Tell well. you what. I'm, you couldn't have run a race more like what I said. You just got outpaced at one point and kept going, didn't you? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm to Santini. You ran a great race. Well, Aintree, done and dusted for 2022. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that. And so you can get involved in the chats going forward. Join us next week. We'll be switching to the flat, would you believe it? But for now, watch it back. Enjoy it. Hats off to Sam Whaley-Cohen and Noble Yates, the 2022 winner of the Grand National.